working is it working oh dude what's going on shout out to the vod gang Woo! Sheesh. what's going on boys you already know it's 420 and we're going way back with retro psas from the past big up to the straight hype i need everybody to make some noise right now for straight hype like for, seriously um straight hype thank you dude he sent us many, many gigabytes of files of retro PSA commercials, musicals, movies, insane amount of international content. content. And so much stuff so that I think is going to make its way into a Djibouti dub. He says, oh, you stop it, you guys. I had to do it for the best content on Twitch. Give it up for this guy. He's, he's right here. Straight hype the man. But not only that, wouldn't be possible without you. Shouts to Dustin as well from the Discord. Look what I got from straight hype. Woo! Look at that. I got it, Straight hype. I think you actually took the copy I was trying to get <laughs> Justin for so Christmas. Dead. Or his birthday. <laughs> That's so dope. This is so cool, man. Thank you so much for this. Your boy's on a Grammy-nominated goddamn album. And now I got the physical copy, Mon. Shout out to the big straight hype. Real copy. I'm going to cherish this uh, forever, dude. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one in the family right here forever. This That's is, so cool. This is really flipping cool. I, I don't know why my dumbass didn't even think to go get it myself. I, I tried. Like, they sold out instantly. I always thought vinyls are so hard to find. I just... Yeah, dude. This is insane. Man. Nice. Also, a little shout out to Lenny Pep. Why would he do? What the fuck is this? Whoa. Shout out to Lenny. Send us some Connect games in the P.O. box, dude. What is that Hulk Hogan's main event Connect? Yeah. Hulkamania running wild, brother. You wrestle Hulk Hogan and <laughs> you're, you're Connect like... Oh, brother, come I'm here, gonna kick brother. his fucking we got ah! Hulk Hogan's main event. We have Minute to Win It with Guy Fieri. Oh, please. Oh, my God. We need to do that. And we have that hole in the wall game where you, like, got to make your body fit the hole. Yes. Dude, this is going to be incredible. Uh, we're planning a connect game thing with the Harry Potter game. Right in time for the dry spell of gaming. All right, boys. Woo. Sheesh. Let's get it going. It's 420, dude. So we got to get. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Dude, am I tripping or is that the tryptophan? Whoa, dude. dude. I think my gummy edibles are kicking in right about now, bro. So, guys, we got to get in here and we got to just see exactly. Oh. Hell yeah, brother. That blows like, hold on, boys. Freedom. All right, I'm collecting names to report you all to the authorities. No, Captain Blotto, we're all good boys and girls. We're going to watch PSAs on anti-drug campaigns from way back when. Hey, they said that those cowboys used to smoke some of that uh, devil's lettuce back in the day, brother. Because they're good stuff, brother. When you go back in time, you don't know what you're going to get. You never really know what you're going to get. Buddy Chill, Xandar's here, it's quite a bit of a magical narc, so everybody chill, dude. Do not freak out, do not adjust your uh, TV sets. Xandar, we have a question for you coming in from my boy, Raul Lativity asks, will Justin score another dub in Mario Party tonight? Okay, let me think here, I'm looking into my crystal ball. Um, I would say concentrate and ask me again some other time. Oh. Yes. How many points was that? Thank you, Xandar. Thank you, thank you, Xandar. Raul, oh, knowing. I, listen, when you put the points in, Raul, you got to make sure you're concentrating, man. Yeah, you didn't think about it enough. You didn't you concentrate didn't think, enough. You, did, you weren't thinking, yeah, man. Yeah, Xandar kind of gaslighted him a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> He kind of gaslit him on his uh, his question. Hey, man, Magic 8-Balls all say that, and I always thought that was bullshit too, man. <laughs> Concentrate and try again? What does that mean? You're just going to sit there all day until you're doing it, and then you're doing it. Oh, my God, you guys. Pog! It's flipping Yu-Gi-Oh. Yo! Let's, uh, let's start this thing off. I don't know how loud Again, this is going to be. Shout outs uh. to the straight hype. I've got volume control here. Let's get it going, dude. Happy 420, everybody. Let's get it, dude. 
Oh, that's coming out of my TV. Hold on. Let me fix that, Pause, dude. pause, pause. Don't. Hey. Kaiba, you activated my trap card, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you <was>. fucker. <laughs> you fucking betrayer of the brethren. Your Use volume. all the pieces of Exodia. Your volume. Oh, no. Exodia is coming out of my TV screen. Let me make sure that's coming out of here. All righty, then. There. That should work. Okay. There we go. Boom. We're in. We're locked in. Let's get it, boys. I know marijuana is harmful. I know it can't improve my game. My friends and I have faced many battles, and we have always dueled without drugs. I wouldn't be the world's best duelist if I smoked marijuana. It would disappoint my friends and lower my concentration. Hey, his mouth's not even moving. Yo. What kind of cheap fucking shit is this? Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't talk. It couldn't even animate his mouth? It would throw off my game and make my friends hate me. <laughs> I'd misplay and use my mana incorrectly. <laughs> we found out over 50% of Yu-Gi-Oh players smoke marijuana. <laughs> this guy's hair, man. I was always amazed Kaiba! by it. It would disappoint my friends and lower my concentration. <laughs> and losing control with drugs Blue is White Dragon! I don't want to have. Sir! I must magician? stay healthy and keep my friends close if I want to defeat my opponent's monsters. <laughs> Defeating monsters of my own. <gasps> Blue eyes, white dragon, and the dark magician. Just I will never no. dishonor myself or my friends dishonor. by using drugs. That's playing a game I can't win. Honor, my anti drug. Yeah, Whoa, yeah, was part yeah, of that yeah, yeah. campaign. They actually got him, dude. They got a cartoon character to hook that bitch up. That is pretty lit. So Yu-Gi-Oh transforms into that other dude, right? He was like a two type of person, right? Yeah, he's like a different, like different guy. Yeah, God, he just... transforms into Yugi, and then he becomes Yugi. Oh, is that what it is? No, I never watched the cartoon. <laughs> Yami, <laughs> I just never understood what the fuck was going on with his hair. I always thought like those front bits were like gold, like actual like mm. crown or something. His hair is—he's got cra the craziest anime hair. I think. It's, yeah, like it's... who's got hair that beats that? It's like fucking three different colors popping off. It's frosted tips. Honor myself. He's got fucking Guy Fieri anime hair, dude. And wow. fingerless gloves. Yeah, I mean, he's I just mean, awesome. And a dope voice. Honor myself or my friends. By Sobered you up? Yeah, how are you feeling after that one, chat, huh? Yeah, you want to play better? Uh, <laughs> what do they, do they play Yu-Gi-Oh! the game? Yeah. Screw the weed. I have honor. It's just a ripoff of magic. <laughs> yeah. Let's be real. Scuffed, Scuffed magic? Honor. Scuffed magic without his my cool My drug <laughs> Ever wonder what a bag of crack looks like? Whoa. In the last two years, over 5,000 people in Canada and the U.S., have died from using crack or cocaine. Do yourself a favor. Think about it. That's what Yo, crack, crack comes like. Bad. They crack. They put crack in a big bag like that. That's a bunch Dude. of crack. That's like fucking three hundred pounds of crack. Dude, you would make so much money off all that crack. Oh my god! <laughs> they had to get a stretcher to wheel it out. Oh man. <laughs> You go, look at all this crack. You zip it. Oh no, Grandma! Do yourself a favor. Think about it. Yeah, these are all international uh, PSAs too. So I have Canada. Dude, Hong Kong has some fucking crazy PSAs. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. Is this uh, a $5,000 crack giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy J. Lock, thank you. And Crack Smoke uh, coming hey! in. Oh, that's bullshit, he says. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it, Craig Smoker. Think, Think about, about it. it. Just one time. <laughs> Andrew Hoot, thank you, dude. Glizzy. Latin Warrior. What up, man? Shout out to chat. Happy 420. Mrs. Pops. What up, dude? Hey. Son, Santa Lula. What was that? What did that say? Public service announcement on drunk driving. Okay, yeah. Uh, We're all about safety uh, today, chat. Yeah, be safe out there. Is it a high school film this? <laughs> <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. Careful. Gonna knock that glass over. <laughs> That's a weird cocktail. Well, hold on. You're, spill you're spilling. You're making a mess, little Trevor. Is he gonna drink that? I hope not. This is kind of ASMR, huh? Hey, when are you going to realize that drinking and driving do not mix? Oh, it's like a mixed drink. Uh, yeah, I don't want to see Badlands try to chug that. Oh, to be fair, I got to back up on the 405. It would be a chug that would end up like Jackass with Ryan Dunn and then yes, fucking ass. 
at a butt doctor. If you sold this at like a NASCAR event, that cocktail would sell. Sell man. out. Actually, true. The comes Jim with Bush or was it like a Dale Earnhardt Kyle? car in Kyle there? Kyle Bush special. comes with a. No, you don't want Kyle Bush. That won't sell. Comes with you gotta a, have Dale. Comes with an exclusive Hot Wheels. You know, you don't know which which one you're gonna get. I would drink that car. Uh, car drink. I'm not too sure about like, are those rims made out of lead? You know. That's old point. <laughs> well, now I won't drink and drive. Oh, no, I'm good, dude. Dude, don't do that. They don't mix, dude. Get an Uber chat. What are you, nuts? Yeah, yeah. Just don't drive. Now, back in the day, I don't know how they did it. They just got drunk and drove. But now we got Uber, dude. But then we were also, like, uh, you know, smoking during pregnancy, and we thought, you know, a couple glasses of red wine during pregnancy was okay. Uh, doctors were smoking as they were examining you for <laughs> lung cancer. I mean, it was different back in the day. Dude, someone's riding that. Hi, dude. Someone's getting it one time. Sure, beeps a lot. Breaking it down. What PSA do you remember the most? Gift and then Master Gerda dropping five. What up, Master Gerda? How the hell are you doing, man? I see you, Plywood. How you doing? Everybody's God here today. Damn. Couch yeah. Company. You guys already know. It's a place to be. Hey, thank you guys for joining us. The one I, I remember the most. Which one do you guys remember the most? Uh, I, I, I kind of I pre-screened uh, 99% of these. And the one that scratched an itch for me was a shout out to the um, the late Gilbert Godfrey. Oh. oh. But he was the talking uh, fire alarm. Whoa. He goes, hey, kids, you got to look out for fire. <laughs> you know? And there was a, the intro song was like, be cool about fire Whoa. safety. That's a that lot of gifted, gifted subs. God damn, that's a lot Yo! of gifted subs. Yo, Tro, Jen, Demo. Thank you, dude. Genji, what up, man? I don't remember that one. Thank you very much, Trojan. Everybody enjoyed them, them emotes right there. Show that man some love. He gave you a sub. Pops, can we hear more of your Gilbert Gottfried impression? It was like, close. What, what do you want me to say? Good. Do you want me to do, like, shout-outs? Say, uh, well, hmm. he says a lot of controversial things. I don't know. I'll, the do, one, uh, I, I'll read one of somebody's uh, dono. Here's all my blood money from the brain, dra brain trauma I've had. There it is. Well, that's pretty good. There it is. Not bad. Pretty damn close. The one I remember the most is the girl uh, sunken in the chair. Oh, yeah. That one yeah, got yeah. me as a kid, and it's like, ugh, you Ooh. get fucking deflated if you get high. I like also, the one where the dog talks to the girls, oh, like, yeah. you're not the same anymore. Yeah. The one that always Sad. caught me off guard was the two kids. I think they're, like, in, like, their dad's office, and they, he goes, hey, check out this gun. That, I remember that one, too. Bang! That one always caught me off guard. Oh, that one made me really scared. I'm never touching a gun ever. It didn't make me afraid dude. of pot. It made me afraid of guns. Yeah. I'm never <laughs> touching a gun ever, man. I didn't even think about that, that they were even high. That was the whole point of it. Is I was that, just like, oh, you touch a gun and it, it can just go off. If you don't pull the trigger, it can just fucking go off. Yeah, yeah a lot don't of, touch it. A lot of these PSAs misconstrue, like, bad judgment with, like, Drugs. doing something dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yo, Joe Bucks, cardboard. What up, dude? Thank you, thank you. Oh god, this is scary. What the fuck? Is this Power Rangers? Hold on, wait a minute. Is that Frieza? What the? Who the fuck, fuck is, is this? this? This Frieza, but he's like. I don't like, know what it is, but I want to know what that mouth Frieza is. Frieza IRL. Gross. I hope this isn't what aliens look like. Astar. Damn, the full squad. Astar that got booty. ass. Look at that ass star right Ooh. there. <laughs> no! Yo, this is sick. Yo, this makes me want to do Astar, drugs. A robot. I can put my arm back on. You can't. So play safe. Wait. Oh, play safe, because you could lose your arm if you jump through a clock tower. <laughs> what the Big fuck stuff. kind of commercial is that? All right, people, don't play around in uh, in wood mills and uh, grinding clock towers. I don't know if that one's going to click with a lot of kids. I think this one just makes me go, robots are cool. This makes the, the show that it's on really cool if they got, like, traps like that in the yeah. show. I've never seen anything like Amputations that. Amputations of Canada. is a Canada end. Also, shouts to Canada. Canada, by far, bar none, best PSAs. I don't know if they just had better, uh, you know, creative behind it, but <laughs> they just put a lot more money in. Like, they were just way cooler. They're just investing in them bitches a little bit more, huh? Yo, Anyone else? Hi. Yo, Ha, think of the five gifties, my man. How you doing, dude? Thank you very much, Ha. You can't, so please safe. Remember YouTube credits? 
Ja, Mann. Windows Media Movie Maker. <lacht> oh, hey, you. No. I'm gonna steal your car. No problem. Some guys, they're not so nice like you. Check this jerk out. He's got that stupid bar on the wheel. To move that thing, I'd have to break the windshield, maybe. Wake up the neighbors. You know. And this sticker here tracks cops like flies. You see that light? And that sticker there? A real jerk owns this one. He don't share. But he you, don't share. you're a nice guy. You park where it's dark. You make it easy. I don't know. I kind of trust him. He seems like a nice fella, you know? Seems cool. Park where it's dark. Kind of looks like you uh, make it what I think Crumbs looks like nowadays. Park where it's park where no, it's dark. Crumbs is a dad now. He's park chill. Where, He's cool. Park where it's dark. <laughs> you make it easy. But you're no Santa Claus. It's no problem, because I work fast. Damn. Oh, yeah. If no one wants the parts or nothing, you might get it back. Someday. Thanks, pal. Be smart. Get smarter. Stop auto theft. I don't know. He kind of made stealing look real easy and fun. And, like, he's a nice guy. He didn't seem like he was being a jerk about and it. And he wasn't about, like, you know, just robbing Stop. you and, you know, exploiting you. It's like, it, well, you could get it back. I'm just borrowing it for a little bit. Like, as a kid, I would say, this, be like, oh, all you need is, like, a giant screwdriver? Yeah, and this, this, <laughs> you can just get anything you want. And also, like, this PSA kind of does a good job of, like, uh, finding the cars that are stealable. Listen, yeah. man, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to steal a car. <laughs> Show you step by step how it's done. <laughs> Look out for the red light. <laughs> See this thing? You'll break the window. Don't do that. Yeah, he's kind of teaching a little bit more, huh? Yeah. It's like a mentorship <laughs> program. <laughs> yeah. Be smart. Get smarter. Stop auto theft. Stop it. Manitoba. Yo. Arkham, thank you, dude. Myself out on marijuana. I took a, a wood burning kit, which is similar to a soldering iron, and I burned the word alone into my arm. Oh, oh my why would you do oh, that? Man. The pot made him do it, dude. I accidentally burned myself with my soldering iron once. Not a good time. And I saw a guy who like had a tattoo, like a brand as a tattoo. Yeah, know? yeah. It never looks good, dude. Mangled flesh? It looks so bad. It looks like someone's hurt, and then you look close and go, Oh, it's a design. Oh, it's one of those Stussy S's. Oh, it's charred <laughs> flesh. I don't know, dude. If you're gonna, dude, you got so infected, bro. <laughs> get a tattoo if you want a permanent Just get mark. Get a tattoo, man. Going into my arm. That's how like sick I was. That's how lonely I felt. Damn, I just want to give this dude a hug, Bree. Like, bro, it's all right. I think this dude. guy has depression, not uh, you know. Like, oh, dude, weed made him do it. Weed? That's what he said, right? What? Burnt myself out on marijuana. He did too much marijuana. Burned it out. I'm sorry. I don't think weed can make you burn a hole in your arm. What does it say, Louis? This is real, dude. That He has mental issues. I don't think that has anything to do with the weed. Yeah, this is dude. more like a, a depression awareness. Real, what dude. The fuck? It can destroy you, man. Make you start cutting yourself, bro. I think this oh, he was, needs he to go to a it? He was slamming the weed? No, that's not nice. how you smoke weed, dude. Put alone into my arm. Like, Just took an I edible. Don't... Woo! See you guys. See you later, man. <laughs> Enjoy the trip, dude. Some of these might scare you. These, these are designed to scare you, so you got to proceed with caution. We get this one coming out of the left ear only chat. Let me know if you guys can hear this one. Usually left ear, I think you guys are good. Well, that is it for another creature feature, my darlings. I hope you had a merry... Who's yeah. this bootleg-ass Elvira? <laughs> I'm not quite Elvira. It's good. Okay, cool. Booberella. It's Booberella. Christmas oh. time with Booberella. For another creature feature, my darling. Creature feature. I hope you had a merry Christmas and have an even happier New Year. Remember, drinking and driving do not mix. Friends do not let friends drive drunk. True. Drinking and driving can kill a friendship. If you it's get like smashed drinking, Elvira. don't get smashed driving. I am this here, Elvira. Are you say Elvira? <laughs> Aloe vera. Aloe vera. I am aloe vera. I am the aloe vera lady. Please do not drink and drive. It's bad for It's bad friend. for you and bad, everyone else. Bad for your friendship. Bad Christmas story. It's so bad for your friendship. Now for right. our next film, <laughs> It. A butt in Costello. Right, Mr. Snacks. You say con. Oops. That is a different subject. Just be careful, my human creatures. I want creatures. to see you next Friday night at 11.30. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Yo, Elvira really was a lot better than that lady. 
to be fair, I mean, the accent is kind of doing it for me. It's blowing and cranking? I don't know, dude. <laughs> doing a bad European accent. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, look. <laughs> look out. Ah! Look out, Chad. Oh, my God. It's killing us. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Too much cocaine. Oh. Oh. Cocaine can strike back. Dude, if you had that much cocaine, you wouldn't have issues. You would just define the buyer. It's raining. Doo -doo -doo. Time to clean up all those dead bodies with a shop vac. Good thing you got the wet dry, huh? It got me. I looked at it too much. Whoa, bro. This man is about to be rich. Hey, my little stay little my little friend. And Just you keep see, secret. you see this much coke, and you hear this kind of music with the do 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 do. It's not the party. I just think reminded of, me of like blank check. I just see money. <laughs> yeah. You don't do it. You just get a bunch of money. In the movies, it's how it works. But once you start doing it, then it goes bad. Yeah, don't do coke. Man, it's bad. Yeah, I've never done it, and I never will. Everyone wanted the bag for what it could get. Power, position, a chance to get high. But when you push aside friendship and loyalty to get it, the power can corrupt your spirit. Damn, jeez. Blow your dreams. Rots your flesh, turns you into a skeleton. Whoa, was that a... Could have been anything, though. Could have been salt, could have been sugar. Could have been... But it attacked back. It clapped back, dude. And also, what'd that lady do? The, 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 the housekeeper? She's there to just... Fucking, she's gonna need more than one she's vacuum. She's gonna collect all that coke, dude. Huh. Gonna need Sir. a bigger vacuum for sure. Coke oh, yeah. bleaches your bones? Asbestos. How do you know that? It's a hell of a drug. You hear about Mark and Jennifer? I mean, you wouldn't have been. Check it out. I Whoa! Oh, okay, I know your producer. Yo. I get it, your producer pops and all, but this guy, though. Look at the drip. I don't know, Chad. Who's coming? <laughs> Who's got a better fit? Who's got the better fit? I mean, come on, dude. Put pops, your hands pops on with the me. Invisible with the skin tight jeans. With the invisible interior? I mean, actually, you can just disappear just like that, dude. Go off, Pops. Yeah, flick the hair. There it is. Go on. There it is. Crafters, Chris, Arkham. Thank you, guys. Mega Chris, Dr. Roxo, all sham, no wow. That's what I'm talking about. Happy holidays, boys. Woo! Woo! I give you a seven. A seven. Maybe even an eight. Or a nine. Ooh, a nine? nine a half. He's getting hotter as he gets up. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the jeans getting all bunched up at the bottom, dude. And the little man purse? Over the shoulder? Oh. Three. Oh. Two. One. Zero. He's a bad boy. Ladies, did his score go up or down for you? Smoking indoors. Hot systems. He says, don't drink, smoke, and drive, please. There you go. There's hey, a there you go. I agree. Have fun, but be safe. Zero. Smoking, equals zero. Smoking in the mall. It's crazy how, like... What, yeah. 30, 40 years ago, people were just smoking indoors. Now, if you see someone smoking inside of a, a mall or a public place, people freak the fuck out, right? Yeah, and they'll get, like, arrested. Yeah, it's against the law. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Now they're vaping at the mall, right? Mm-hmm. Just blowing bubblegum, uh, scented bubblegum, you know, cookie smell. I used to air. rat people out for uh, vaping in the Dave & Buster's. I'd be like, hey, that guy over there, I'd go to the security, be like, that guy's vaping in here. Can you talk to him? Oh, man. <laughs> Were you a narc? Yeah, dude. I was, fuck those guys. I'm trying to work. I don't want to get fucking secondhand vape freaking banana cushion in my face. Banana flavored cookies in the air. French toast like, vape. That's for mm -hmm. me to do on my break. I want to do it when I want to do it. You don't tell me when to do it. Wow, Louie. Yeah. Smoking because you're just in case you're keeping score. Brought to you by your friend. The Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Salem Presbytery. Oh, there was an image behind drinking when people had drank that they looked older and sophisticated. I was 11 when I lost my virginity to a guy who was 17. I was drunk. Sometimes I'd sleep in the Fuck. woods. If I didn't sleep in the Those woods, so I, many slept, layers. If I didn't sleep in the woods, I slept on the corner. If I didn't sleep on the corner, I slept at someone's house who I didn't even know. Hey, yo, alcohol is a drug, and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. If you want to be somebody, have a family, have a future, just say no. Say no. Just say, say yes no. to your life. Just say no. Hey, man, don't do it. 
don't, don't do it. Today we're going to talk about what do it, do it, do it. Today we're going to talk about what we'd like to be when we grow up. How about if each of you tells me what you'd like to be? When I grow up, I'm going to be a computer analyst. <laughs> <laughs> this is so chat. When I grow up, I want to be in the chat with my future booty show. <laughs> yeah, look at look at the eye level. Look at the eye level on this. <laughs> uh, start them chatting in the Djibouti Show chat yeah. early, huh? I'm watching Djibouti Show right now, Twitch. When I go up, I want to be a mod for the Djibouti Show. <laughs> <laughs> Making me proud, goddammit. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. I want to be spamming emotes in the goddamn chat when I grow up. I want to be an XQC mod. <laughs> How about if each of you tells me what you'd like to be? So, Chad, when you heard that, what were you saying in this, uh, what is this, third grade? Yeah, second? what were your dreams and aspirations <laughs> as a nine-year-old? What was yours as a kid, man? How about if each of you tells me what you'd like to be? What would you like to when be? I grow up, I'm going to be a computer analyst. Bullshit, dude. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Fucking Power Ranger. Yeah. Like, come on. You're going to say a computer. What do you say? Computer engineer? Computer I'm analyst. I'm yeah, what does an analyst do? Analyst. Computer analyst? You don't even know what you're talking analyst. about, kid. You're going to hate... Th- Come on, man. I want to be man. an analyst. Marine biology. A lawyer? Really? I want to be Superman. Fido pilot? Fido. There you go. I said I wanted to be a computer programmer on my sixth grade yearbook. There you go. Wow, he's, he aims I probably, so low. Probably said something about making cartoons or some shit back I in the day. I think I wanted to be an architect. <laughs> Fucking Spider-Man. There we go. There's a winner. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, Gifts. Mm, good luck. Keep working on that Spider-Man thing. Whoa. Yo, William, think of the five gifty subs, dude. Is she I doing an up? operation on a child? What the hell? <laughs> this kid's in the back of this the class? This is public school. What the fuck? This kid's ahead of the game. He's in the back of the class. Ahead of the game, Justin. Look at this guy. I wanted to be an android. When I grow up, I'd like to be a brain surgeon. Yo, I don't want that kid going anywhere near my fucking head. I'll tell you that or much. Or my kid. Yo, this kid wasn't even asked to do this, and he started working oh on God. people's fucking brains. Master Gerder just coming in, dropping a goddamn. He's 420, boys. You already fucking know how it goes. Get it. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank dude. You, Master Gerda, the legend himself, Happy coming by. Coming by, say, what's going on, boy? You're 420. You already know Yo! how we do it around here, boys. Keep that Massive. thing. Keep that thing rocking, boy. Cheers. Thank Thanks you, thank up. you, thank you. Woo, good vibes. You feel the good vibes in the chat? <sighs> yeah, I'm on. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Woo! Jeez, Super Saiyan Turtle right behind him. Oops, pass surprise. Le, 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 le. So, so I, want pop. I want to be Pops when I grow up. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you need to aim higher than that, man. Should we do a campaign? <laughs> don't be PSA, Pops. Don't be like this. You don't this... want to be Pops. You want to be XQC. <laughs> <laughs> this gung, 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 is Pops. This is your brain on Pops. <laughs> yeah, he looks cool with his outfit, but deep down... I'll show you, show you in a dark shit. room. I'm so low. Alone. Eating tahini out of my pocket. Eating tahini out of a thrift store pocket. Mm-mm. How'd you wash that thing? Oh, my God, dude. So you see the, the jean shorts? Yeah. These have little rhinestones on them, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. 99% <gasps> of them came off in the washer, so, like, my washing machine sounds like a sandbag oh, went off in there. Oh, no. Fuck, the self-love, though. Oh, the man. things I do for content. Yeah, gotta do what you gotta Sorry, do. Sorry, pops. Sorry, pops. Oh well, a five thousand uh, dollar, you know, washing machine. <laughs> the lessons to be learned. Uh, rhinestone. Rhinestones. PSA. Rhinestones. <laughs> fucking rhinestones. Don't wash your rhinestone stuff. <laughs> Great sacrifice was made. <laughs> See, you don't want to be like me. There you go. I enter who? I want to be Broly when I'm older. When I grow up, I like to be a brain surgeon. I would be so nervous with this kid just sitting next to you. In fucking, like, fourth grade? What's with your cranium? I like the way he's looking at my head. <laughs> you know, as you can release some of that stress with a couple holes inside of it. What's up with the DBZ silk shirt? I'm saving it for a special occasion. Oh, Get that yeah. thing washed, though. I got oh, a well, great... I'm definitely getting it washed. I yeah. kept it sealed in three separate bags in my house. I got a Dude, place. you want to wash it because the, 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 so the fermented dead. mold is going to sink into the fibers. I got a place, Lou. I got a place. All right. I got a really good cleaner. Get okay. it done, man. 
um, Galactic Friendly Reminder. Don't drive stoned, people. Be dink and stay safe, y'all. Wow. There what a is. homie right there. Thanks, dude. Exactly right. Love you, Brycey. I would like to be a carpenter when I grow up. There's little Jesus over here. Aww. Well, haddly ho. I don't trust him with the rusty saw, but <laughs> who gave this kid a giant saw? Oh, I keep jabbing my fingers. I think I got the tetanus. These are all dangerous. Grow yeah. Up. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. Aww. Don't let drugs ruin your future. That kid in the front left already smokes weed. Joe Mullet. <laughs> Young Joe Mullet. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be Joe Mullet. I want to scam people out of their social security. <laughs> Got a cigarette, Jesus. kid. Oh, you fucking want to work on people's heads? You're the fucking crazy one. That's brain, for goddamn rocket <laughs> brain searching over here. What's wrong with your fucking head? Hey, give me that saw. Give me that saw. Holy oh, shit. Holy shit. Jesus, dude. Oh. Super Saiyan Turtle, what are you out of your goddamn mind? Oh. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a Super Saiyan Turtle! I love turtles! Yo, Turtle, my God man! Damn. Holy fucking shit, dude! Thank you very, very fucking much. Happy 420, everyone! Dude, Mr. Turtle, man. I don't know oh, what to man. say. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Super man. Saiyan himself? Yo, the turtle came through? Yo. Whoa. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, 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 yo, very, yo, very, very, yo, very, yo, 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 That's yo, incredibly, yo. incredibly, incredibly generous, sir. Uh, we love you, Super Saiyan, man. We're going to keep uh, making you proud with this content coming out here, dude. But, wow, that is a lot. Holy and hey, oh, shit, thank man. you for the five gifted subs. My God. Yeah, man. You dropping that. Woo, sheesh. Sheesh. I want to be a turtle. Dude, I want to be a turtle, too. I want to be a turtle. Cheers to you. Good, Yo, sir. Cheers, everybody. everyone. Happy everybody riding that everyone. high. High be on life. Be safe out there. Be high on life, dude. You got any more of these uh, mango cards? That was mine? Yeah. I didn't know I had them. There's just one in the fridge. I was like, oh, fuck it. Hey, drink them if there you go. Them. There you go, dude. Holy smokes, dude. I'm sorry I drink your mango cart, Justin. That's all good, dude. It's I'm sorry, good, dude. dude. You want to be like Justin part. when you grow up? Oh, you don't want to be little Joe Mullet? <laughs> Drugs ruin your future. You guys are insane. Thank you so much, man. Oh. Students from the Prospect Elementary coordinated by the... Yep. The Governor's Initiative. Can we get more Richard. danks in the chat? More danks in the chat? Thank you. Little Richard. A little Kiki Chanel action. Oh, Little here. Richard, huh? Heinz and We the People. Thank little you, dude. Richard. Purple asses popping off. What would that be for us? If, by the way, tonight on Mario Party, would that be six or five in a row? No, it's not five in a row. I think it's like three in a row. I think before. Dude, maybe. I have a theory that the game is stacked towards Wario. Would be four? No, because we did the we threw up the W's last time. It was for three in a row. Wario, three in a row. Louis the wild card though. Uh, Louis, Dude, I... no, I'm not a wild card. No, I'm no, a no. guaranteed loss. No, 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 no. Here's how Louis the wild card. He throws the other games into a different way that you can't predict. Yeah, it's true. The board, it's true. The, the the mini games when he's your partner. He's a wild card. Either he pops off big, or he just sabotages himself. Little Richard. <laughs> You all know me everywhere, don't you? Is Little Richard high? I think he yes, was really into cocaine. High. You all know me everywhere, don't you? I'm so glad <laughs> to be a Oh, is that he started playing? What is going on? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Master Gertz says we're all going Super Saiyan. Let's go. What's going on, dude? Oh, what's going on? Make some goddamn noise for the master gainer. Yeah, baby, yeah. Jeez, you guys are nuts. Wow. Absolutely nuts. Master girder. Holy crap. Cheers to the big girder. Mm -hmm. Someone well, that, got their tax that return. Good, that was a good voice acting right there. You think I could be in Dragon Ball Z? I think so. I, I tried. That was my best up. Super Saiyan. We're all going Super Saiyan. Oh, my God, dude. Thank you. That's Hi, massive. High on life. All going Super Saiyan. We're trying to get on Lil Richie's level here, Master Gert. You all know me everywhere, don't you? 
I'm so glad Popping off. to be a part yeah. of the World Music Video Awards. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm just so glad World Music here. Video. But you know what? I'm anti-drugs. Don't <laughs> use drugs, anti -drugs. drug skills. Don't use. I want to let you know that the grass may look greener on the other side, but believe Hell me, yeah. woo, it's just as hard to cut. Thank you. Thank you. Like hey, Richard, 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 Change my total See, view Louis, on that. See, Louis, just like that. That's all I needed. You Public just said he was just drunk, and it's, it's totally his fault. There you go. Yeah. You owe to yourself and those you love to find out everything you can about getting it and not getting it. Not getting it. We should watch the um, Beauty and the Beast live-action movie with Ron Perlman as the Beast. Oh, I've seen Whoa. that, dude. It is so bad. Whoa, really? He looks I so didn't... fucking weird. Wait till you see this. Pops are going to pull it up right I now. didn't like any of the fucking live oh, action dude. Disney's. I remember watching this in uh, oh, my preschool. Oh, my God. That's real? Yeah, it's <laughs> like <laughs> hair metal. Oh, my that's God. That's awesome. Sarah Connor? Oh, it is Sarah Connor. Let's see. Do I have anything I can pull up with that? Boom. She has sex with this dude. Wow. On the video? Uh, well, I mean, they don't. I mean, it's acting. It wasn't makeup either. He just got stung by a bee and kind of worked out with the timing of the film. And ew, I don't like that like, butt crack. Up the his little lips. little lips thing. This butt is like lip. this is like a furry's dream. Dude. Oh my god! Like, oh man, oh, that's what I they mean. Want. Oh, but shit. if you were to be beast and be hot, I mean, like this is the closest you can get,
all about the color blocking. She's wearing a big old yellow with purple pants. Student drug use in our communities and schools is worse than most adults imagine. Even if this student doesn't take drugs, chances are over half of her classmates will. And many of them will get those drugs in school. Maybe you thought there was nothing you could do. You don't get them in school. You get them after school at your friend's house. Come on. Jesus. Dude, that's like a triple OG gram. I'm just going to talk this triple OG into my fucking gym shoes. Nothing you could do to protect Do people still smoke joints? Maybe you... Would you smoke a big old doobie as some guys use gym shoes? Yeah, a lot of people just buy the pre-rolled joints at like the, the weed store or the clinic, depending on which area you're in. Because mm. they're cheap, and uh, I wouldn't recommend them because it's usually like the shake. It's like all the nasty weed at the bottom of the thing. They put it in a shake? No, so like <laughs> when you buy Shamrock weed, you want to get like the buds and stuff. <laughs> Shamrock shake. And like at the bottom is just like all the crumbs of all the other weed. They just over. mix it in a big pile and then just roll joints up. Oi, oi. I feel like uh, I haven't seen a joint in like ten years. Yeah, only it's all up, about man. blunts now, pops. You gotta watch how high, and it brings all back all those memories. Yeah, to protect the kids. Maybe or like back in the day, see like a super old lady. He's like, I have glaucoma. It's like the biggest, <laughs> skinniest joint. This is how we <laughs> She rolled, they'd roll it up like a '50s cigarette, like the long boy. Yeah, why you know? the long My and thin? Glaucoma. <laughs> Yo, Master Gerda, they were the five, dude, and Lang. What up, dude? Hell, you're Yo, good. thank you, guys. Master Gerda with the five. Thank you, man. Master Gerda, my man. Maybe you thought alone you couldn't make a difference, that there wasn't a program or any way to help. Oh. What well, the fuck was now that? There is a was Wait, that a what? bunch of m and I'm just going to fucking put help. all my drugs in somebody else's pocket. Help. Well, oh, he stashed it on program. someone else. It's was that fentanyl? Without drugs, the challenge. And with your efforts, I can't tell you how many kids we sent off to juvie that uh, <laughs> wrongfully were accused of having a big old batch of uh, M&Ms and weed <laughs> clumped together in their pocket. I am Willie J. Beignet. Kids <laughs> going to jail for a uh, travel mix. <laughs> travel efforts, mix weed is a big problem in our school district. School Do you know what's in your kid. kid's pocket? It's not hard to find out about. Just make a free call to an 800 number. Well, like a, find out oh, like a narc line? Oh, you could tip him off. So you're going to send some kid to jail yeah. because he Why has... not just tell his parents? Dude, narc I him. don't know, man. He's a bad influence on our little Johnny. Like, I would not tell the cops. I would tell the parents. Narc like, line. What the fuck? How to slam the door on drugs. Forever. <laughs> Call 800-541-8787. We'll send you clear, practical program sounds information. sounds like Garfield. Yeah, you're right. The Late Show, Channel 2. Think about this. If every one of us gave just five hours a week to the causes we care about, it would be like mobilizing more than 20 million full-time volunteers just to tackle the problems of our society. We could all but wipe out drug abuse, juvenile crime, illiteracy, all those things we keep hoping will go away without our help just five hours a week but it has to start with somebody so give five what you get back five hours a week's a lot yeah that's a lot of time that's like i'm busy <laughs> you want me to dedicate five hours of my life to ending childhood over <laughs> overeating five hours what, what the do you do go door to door tell them hey stop eating too hey, much fatty children. quit eating all like, that what candy the fuck? Only we mobilized everybody all at once for five hours. What you get back is immeasurable. That's a part-time job. Irresponsible. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Now listen. He's... So what's the uh, boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. boo? Boo. He's boo gonna this man, disgusting. Chat. He's boo gonna be man. in a lot of these folks because he was uh he was big before the boom. You and know? uh you know I, I don't know if it's ironic is the right word but uh, often talks about drugs so it's like the context is very skewed yeah. ladies hide your drinks so yeah don't leave your drinks anywhere that's another lesson to learn from him yeah right? don't like leave your drink i wonder out. if he has a psa about that oh god. you need to hide oh, your god. drinks especially what i'm about you'd be surprised how easy it is plant something in there you know? someone okay. more devious than you think yeah. not for real though watch your drinks oh, yeah. especially if you're a lady oh yeah party dude. or something fucking spider your cup too yeah. dude. Uh, anybody I they honestly call this the spider grip dude spider. make sure you always go out with like a friend who's gonna be responsible more responsible than you, you spider. Know? Spider. buddy system spider your cup homie <laughs> like find yourself a jeff 
like the responsible oh, friend, yeah. you know? We all need Jeffs. If we dedicated <laughs> five hours of our life to being more like Jeff, we would all be better. <laughs> the trending Jeff. Check out Jeff's YouTube channel. It's awesome. There Psychology of Living. This is Bill Cosby. <laughs> the hearing problems can be helped surgically, medically, and through hearing aids. Yet people still suffer This guy's a fucking needlessly. square. This guy's a fucking square. Boring ass square. Look at this fucking guy. Needlessly because of lack of information, misinformation, and vanity. So, if someone in your family, especially a child, appears to be having a hearing problem, insist that he or she get a hearing checkup. Get a checkup. Listen up. Listen. <laughs> People need to listen better. Fucking square. This guy was a, so this guy's a square because he's having a hard time hearing. I wouldn't put him in a square. I Who think said he's just, that? He's just. <laughs> Who said that? Who, I, why didn't, are you, I didn't say that. This guy's sitting there like a family. Why are you filming me? Why? I can't. What'd you say? He's in a glass case black. of emotions. I can't hear. Needlessly. Why are you recording up. me? I mean, they should hear what they're missing. South Cleveland. Hi, my name's Steve Burrows. Look at the hair. I'm Andrew Goldsworthy. I'm Mark Hinton. Hi, I'm Jennifer Manson. We're here from Fort Erie Northern, representing the class of 1988. Yeah, it's 1988. Anybody <laughs> else in this class? Chat, anybody else? Any 88ers? 88ers, huh? We can have fun without alcohol, and so can you. So make graduation 1988 a time to remember. Graduation is a time to celebrate. A whole new <laughs> Born in 88. <laughs> the world awaits us. Don't jeopardize everything you've worked so hard and long to achieve. Celebrate graduation responsibly. I love the background music so loud. <laughs> Celebrate responsibly. We gotta right. hide this wind noise in this microphone. How are we gonna do it? Let's just bump some music real fucking loud. Don't drink and drive. It's not worth the risk. We're doing all we can to make graduation 1988 a time to remember, including the class of 1988's first class reunion and all night party at the YMCA, June 7th. At Come on down to my party. Yeah, we're gonna party and it's gonna be a rager, but we're safe. Party, party at the YMCA. After commencement. From the class of 1988. Let's keep, keep the, the memories, memories alive. alive. Look at that guy's mullet, dude. Oh, it's oh, so majestic. Fuck. Flowing. Jealous. Coming down the back. I'm Cascading. Cascading. Memories alive. Yeah, that punch gun gets spiked exactly right. <laughs> By one of these, you know what I mean? They're keep like, an eye on that mullet. Be responsible. He's hiding roofies under that mullet. Dude. I don't know about that <laughs> mullet, man. A little jungle juice ought to help these <laughs> fucking people lighten up. Many people think you can tell if someone has AIDS just by looking at them, but they're wrong. A person can have AIDS for a long time without showing any symptoms. So protect yourself. Not Madonna. having sex is one well, way to If anybody avoid... knows about people Not... having AIDS, it's Madonna. Madonna. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. She has Not AIDS? Having sex no, but is one she's, way to avoid she's been it. around. She's she been can around. spot them out. She can see it. <laughs> she can smell it? She can it. sense it. <laughs> one way to avoid AIDS. Staying away from people who shoot drugs is another. If you do have sex, use a condom. It may be the most important thing you ever do. Because what you see may not be what you get. Oh. Help protect yourself against AIDS. The whole uh, AIDS PSA campaign must have had just so much funding. Because now you don't see any PSAs for AIDS, right? Never. Never, dude. Oh, 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 my god! <laughs> oh, my god! Oh, my god! Oh, my god! It's going to blow the fuck up. I got it! No, 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 no! Wait, go back. Oh, no, my god, no! Oh my god! Don't do it! Ah! Todd, you sleepyhead. Don't forget we're going to the park tonight for fireworks. And don't you play with any fireworks without your dad's supervision, okay? Sure thing, Mom. Don't risk your family's precious oh. eyesight. Supervised fireworks are safest. A message from the New oh York my State. Oh my God! A firework PSA. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! He's... That was terrifying, dude. I was just, I'm like, bro, I thought he was gonna Louis, put his pants. <laughs> I thought he was gonna light it, and put his pants. It's like... <laughs> Such a little kid thing to be like, what do I do? I'm <laughs> putting it in my pants. Uh, well, no one will know. Uh, Don't put it in your pants, Connor. No. Connor, no. Connor, no. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's about to throw it down. <laughs> Fireworks in his shorts. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, my God. Loses sight of the headlines. Boy loses sight. No more baseball. <gasps> no! 
baseball? I mean, that's Stop the worst thing that could happen, right? You can't play I'll baseball anymore. Tonight. They should have skipped this and just cut to a huge explosion and then this. A message from the New York. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Fourth of July, New York. <laughs> when everybody's uh, clapping, oh, the finale. When I went to uh, maybe a Fourth of July like block party, maybe. Five years ago, mm. they're lighting off illegal fireworks, those rocket ones. Uh huh. And I guess like the wind kicked up, and it went up and then right towards my face. Oh, oh my god! My god! Ugh. And it blew up like three feet from my face. You know what I used to do when I was really dumb? You know how firecrackers come in a firecrackers come in a strip? Yeah. Yeah. I one time like took it off the strip and like lit it, and it blew up like instantly as I threw Fuck it. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. Yikes. That was a bad idea, and I never did that again. I've never had a desire to play with them. I've always been like, they explode. I'm cool being very far away. Yeah. And uh, I, just, I used cool. to I used to live a block from Disneyland, so they're always just going off, and you're like, I am over fireworks. Supervised fireworks are safest. A message from the New York State Ophthalmological Society. Ophthalmological? Ophthalmological. No, oh, God. Oh, God. I'd like to talk to you about your planet. I like it. <sighs> and you should, too. It's got like a Louis a theme in the back. taking very good care of it. He does. For starters, they're abusing our public lands. They're littering the beaches. Why don't you use some alien technology and help us out? Yeah, rather than freeloading and eating our cats, Al. Yeah, you fucking dick. Like he actually looks property. like a dick. Frankly, I don't understand it. People like that are running loose. He's a wrinkly penis face. Yeah, an uncircumcised Look, penis. folks, public lands are not like pizzas. You just can't pick up the phone and order more. I should know. My planet was really abused. Oh, yeah, his knew, origin story is that they destroyed public their planet. So he came here to destroy ours and eat all our cats? Yeah. What kind of dicks have you seen that look like that? Excuse I've me? seen a lot of dicks. Foreskin gang, people popping off when they look at Alf. One eight hundred four four six four Alf. For Alf. For Alf. Let's do it for Alf, guys. I all kinds of neat stuff. Even a recent photo of myself. Ew. Please. Recent. Dude, Ew. can you call this? I want to talk to Alf. What does that mean? Fine. Just so you know, every time I recent? call these, I get like spam calls from the weirdest things. Dude, I've uh. been getting so many spam texts lately, like seven a day. Like, yo, there's a package coming to you. Just click on this link. And I'm like, where the fuck are all these coming from? Because we keep calling these fucking old numbers. And then you know what I saw? Huh. I saw on Twitter that it's because of Ajit Pai, the guy who destroyed the internet. Oh, what? Yeah, he like... A Pai? He like this said... I forget, for look at him. We have a special promotion today for select callers. If you are over 50, please press 1 now. Oh, this is how they that's set the scam. That's how they set the scam. Don't up. do it. Don't do it. That's don't how do they. It. That's how your grandparents over, lose all their retirement. Over fifty. I was just they trying to call. Out. Big pog. Send you right to the scam line. They go. All right. So, big pog. You know, life insurance and so forth. What? No. Am I, I the only one pogging over here? I'm pogging. Stuff. Even a recent photo of my. I don't want to photo you, Al. Please. Let's save the planet. No, go I away. I have to look for another one. You selfish prick. Get the fuck off our planet. I love eating your cats. America is hooked on foreign oil. <laughs> oh, foreign oh, oil. God. I thought it was going to be heroin. <laughs> I thought that was coming around. Oh, no, we're all hooked on heroin. Hell yeah, foreign brother. Oil. Foreign oil. Every week, we paid foreign countries $770 million for an imported oil fix. But using more of our own energy resources like coal and nuclear energy nice. helps us just say no to foreign oil. Ah, coal. Yeah, put coal in your car. Mm, nuclear coal. I got a nuclear <laughs> reactor under the hood, baby. I got a coal-powered Mazda. No, to foreign oil. Coal have a steam-powered car. It's now dope. America's green, brother. Coal and nuclear ah. help us break the habit. Coal and nuclear energy mean more energy independence. So let's Hell put yeah. this into context. Hell yeah, How brother. many coal advertisements have you seen the last 20 years? Zero. Yeah. Kind of wild, right? An oil commercial. Clean burning coal. No, what you need is propane. That charcoal is mm -hmm. going to give you all that. You're going <laughs> to take away the flavor. What we really need to do is start fracking and destroying everybody's water supplies. You need to Mother get... fracking. You don't want to ruin the taste, brother. That foreign oil is going to make that burger taste all kinds of fun. <laughs> what we got here? Statistics show that more and more accidents involving students are caused oh, by DWI. Right by Killing himself with three other passengers. DWI. 
God, check this out. Yeah, really, the only thing that crashed into was a compact at the junkyard. Yeah, it's probably just supposed to scare us or something. That's my brother's right. car. Scare us? I think that's pretty cool. Oh, this dude's about to pass out or throw up. Does he know whose car this is? What? Oh, dude, I'm going to fucking pass out. Scare us? I think that's pretty cool. Hey, that was my best friend's car. Now he, his girlfriend, and two other of my friends are dead. Dead. Is that really cool? Dude, that was a good reason. And I've got to go on with the rest of my life. Knowing that I could have stopped that. Did they leave? Did they, so they leave it here as like a, a, a memorial? memorial. Yeah, they're gonna put flowers and shit on. It. Are they? Oh, they just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> knowing that I could have stopped that. Wouldn't that scare you? Dude, you're just having a good time. You know, he, like, he could have told us. I mean, like, why'd you have to like wait for us to like make jokes before like you told us like this I tragic know. accident? <laughs> why did he make let me us, look stupid? Why did he let us riff on it for like thirty minutes? Dude, Instead, what are you, you doing at school when all your friends died? You should take a day off or something, bro. Wait, Damn. aren't you like thirty? Damn, dude. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Before it ends, you. Before it ends, your friend. Why don't you end it? Wait, end what? It, 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 it. Bad. A $2,000 tax refund? How'd you do it, Frank? It's called creative tax accounting. Creative tax accounting? Yeah, you exaggerate. Is that little kid here? asking you about the tax? forget to report a few things there. Who's it gonna hurt? Your tax dollars pay for jobs that have to be done in New York State. Do not eat the fish from this water. <laughs> so your taxes are gonna save the fish? Well... Uh, uh -huh. well, paying taxes, right? We all yeah. pay taxes, right? So the the, the fish. Creative tax accounting. Creative tax accounting? Yeah, you exaggerate a few things here. You uh, forget to report a few things there. Who's it gonna hurt? It's not Your gonna hurt anybody. Dollars pay for jobs that have to be done in New York State, like keeping our waters clean and protecting our natural resources. What the fuck? There's how many Cuomos are there? Yeah, how much money is Governor Cuomo getting paid? Maybe he could put some money a, into the into the lake. A different Cuomo. He was a governor of New York too. There's a lot more at stake Cuomo. when you cheat. That's than the dead. Don't kid yourself. Tax evasion is not a victimless crime. So if you don't pay your taxes, you'll be killing fish. You'll be killing all the fish, and then no one can eat them. Mario Cuomo said so. Mario. Or oh, are you Cuomo. here from my many sons? One of them. <laughs> hey, this is my cat. No way. Come on, get it out of the sky, <laughs> you goddamn motherfucker. I mean, Sparky. Yeah, what happens when the Pistons and the Tigers pull up on each other? You don't want to fuck with a guy named Sparky, though. Oh, oh I want to go off. I'm looking hey. for a reason. Hey, this is my cat. No way. Come on, Daily Abbas first. You haven't been first since 87. Now, let me Ooh. tell you, we'll be there again. Oh, shit. Before... <laughs> you motherfucker pulled his finger right in now, his let face. Let me tell you, we'll be there again before you guys. We're the champs right now. You mean you only got... Oh, he's always scratching his face. No. Hey, can we give a shout out to the, uh, the entire oh. Detroit uh, sports franchise? Mm -hmm. Just doing great work. You Good job, Detroit. Making America proud. <laughs> Love you, Detroit. Detroit. You mean you only got one of those? Home of ICP <laughs> and Kid Rock. Wow. <laughs> you mean you only got one of those? <laughs> Chuck and I don't agree on much, but we agree on one thing. If you plan on drinking when you come out to see our teams play, plan ahead and bring along a designated driver. Somebody you can count on to get you home safely. Okay, guys. Where to? Hager Stadium. Well, get okay, in cab, because we're both really fucking <laughs> drunk. We've been butts since 8 a.m. <laughs> We're really fucking drunk and right fucking down, dude. My name's Sparky for a reason. I get lit in the morning, son. Holy fuck, dude. To be fair, yeah. the Red Wings are pretty cool. I mean. Who? The Red Wings, the hockey team, Detroit. Hockey? Hey guys, where to? What? Hager Stadium. The palace. It's my cab. No, it's, it's on the dope. way. I mean, you get out first and I got to pay. The preceding message was furnished by Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball. Hi, I'm LB Shore. Wait Holy a minute. Damn. Hold on. Let me change the mood. Yo. Now I'm ready. Hi, I'm LB Shore. My music is romantic because that's how I feel. And I like to tell you how I feel about something else. <laughs> unibrow is so heavy. Dude, it's such a trimmed <laughs> unibrow. Like, you know he got it plucked so it was all super straight. Yo, he got his eyebrows lined up. Oh, my God, dude. Holy shit. That unibrow. That's how I feel. It matches his and pencil stash. I like stash. to tell you how I feel about something else. Tell Safe me. sex. Oof. 
Now with the threat of AIDS, we only have two choices. No sex at all, or sex with a condom. Yeah. Be romantic, but have some respect for yourself and your partner. What if you want to have a baby? Help prevent AIDS. Safe sex is an act of love. If you out there blowing back, Sal, <laughs> make sure you, you strap up. you be fucking up. hard like me. You be fucking hard to my music. No LB back now, barebacking, making it clapping, but have some be romantic, and your be body. sexual, be Help safe, but safe be safe. Love. Safe, Damn, sex, dude, this track is clapping, man. God damn. Don't party with death. Uh. Drink and drive. It's cool. a me, Wario. It's a cool ad. MTV had cool PSAs. Scary. <laughs> Scary ass skull. Oh, a Subaru. Every mother wants a healthy baby, but these babies aren't healthy. They've got the AIDS virus. Wait, right did now, Whoopi give those babies AIDS? I mean, I wouldn't put a pastor. Oh, have you so ever many, seen Sister Act? So many yourself. AIDS spots. Do it for your partner. Do it for the babies. Tracking, you'll hit the tracking. <laughs> Sounds like Ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty good. I know you've heard a hundred pitches about drugs. Well, make it a hundred and one, because here's mine. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> the reason over 20 Oh, I love when they do the camera switch, dude. Hard shot. Because here's mine. The reason over 25 million <laughs> Americans have tried crack and cocaine is because the high can be powerful and exciting. Whoa. It's also frightening. In fact, it's like a 95 <laughs> mile an hour fastball. Oh! Right between the eyes. Real prof right in his ass, like that clip that was going around. Did you guys see that? What? Oh, with there's the butt? Like, there's like that famous clip going around lately where the guy like twerks his butt out. Oh, he kind of hits it from Did the you back. See it? And the mm -mm. baseball hits his butt. <clears throat> oh, dude, he makes it clap. I didn't know what to search. A hot ass yeah. baseball? <laughs> I didn't try searching it. I saw it on Twitter. Hot ass baseball. Right between the eyes. Isn't that what took out the guy from the Sandlot's vision? Oh, probably, yeah, you're right. Probably yeah. took out a lot of them, dude. I, I don't, don't know. think you want to smoke crack. You might go blind. I don't know who that was. Real professionals maintain control even when others are getting wild. The next time somebody pitches drugs to you, make the right play. Walk away. Just walk away. If you don't walk we're away, in a I swear to God. Situation, and we're all in it together. Just walk away. Walk away. All oh, these guys. The crash test dummies. They're yeah. everywhere, man. Can we focus on Iron Maiden instead? Because they're way Run cool. to the hill. Drive home safe. <laughs> and <laughs> and they drive straight and drive in the night. Oh, he actually changes lyrics to be like drive safe. In with your safety belts. All right. Safety belts. Belt. Don't be a dummy. Don't be a dummy, boys. You Come think he on, got in bro. trouble and had to do that, Ed? Uh, I often think that way, but then I see like the anti-smoking ads, probably because some type of legislature, like they were funded by Philip Morris and stuff like that. I think it's one of those things like, guys, this is going to look great as a PR move. Get in there, spread a good it's message. Definitely a lot of that. It'll take a day. You guys will look real clean, good. I'll take the heat off you guys for a minute here, and we can get right back to making some music. Huh? But I could definitely see a plea deal where, like, if this guy got a DUI, I'm not saying this happened, but just hypothetically, where if he got a DUI and they can kind of make uh, things go away if he did a little PSA, blah, blah, blah. Make an example out of you boys. I could lock you up forever, Iron Maiden. Or I could send you out there to spread a message. I'll put you in a real Iron Maiden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No school. Yeah. Great spot, friends. Do you remember hanging out in the chicks and drugging beers? Just having a good time. Oh, Everybody. Yeah. Friends. And too much drinking. Tiller? I'm a tiller man. Big buzz going. But I didn't know how big. Yeah. I'm going. That rock. Can after can. 
Whoa, he's gonna jump. Whoa, Brad, Brad! Don't do it, Brad! I got it! Brad, Brad! Guys, film it! Film it! Whoa! I felt my neck snap. Oh. I couldn't move. And no one oh knew God. it. How do the words paralyzed for life sound to you? It's the price I paid. But you know, you don't have to. Brad, Brad! What it's all about is good judgment. Jesus, and whether dude. you choose to use it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what happened Whoa. to this man is very tragic. And yeah, it's, I can't it's, even it's very joke sad. about that. Too. Awful. But, but, but it, it, it was his poor judgment of jumping off of a ledge. The haunting image. But of he wouldn't have had floating. that poor judgment if he wasn't. Drunk. So is he blaming the booze for miscalculating off of a very dangerous thing that a sober person could have made? I mean, it's a dangerous cliff. They should mark that cliff. And trust me, I don't think he would have tried to jump if he was sober, right? Yikes! Are you dude. sure though? But he was with all those. Did you see the bikini chick? No, he was trying to impress. I mean, dude. it's peer pressure, but he's trying yeah. to go. Whoa! I'm gonna. Whoa. He probably would have just, you know, like check this out. I could and fucking do a backflip and I just actually, smack his face on the ground. I was actually this guy without the broken neck. I was like trying to impress a chick and doing a rope swing, and I almost broke my neck doing that. So I don't know Thanks. if it's the booze per se. It's women's fault. <laughs> How'd they get him out, dude? He is deep. The guy is gone. Yeah, and he's paralyzed, and it's like they would have to run all the way down the mountain to get him. But my thing is, like, when yeah, you go limp, you can him. still float, right? So maybe he came back up to the surface. I don't know why they had him just sink down into the abyss. Dude, he sank like he was not buoyant at why all. Why'd you say abyss? Because, dude, it's all dark. Look at just, how just, far <laughs> down he is, dude. I'm not laughing. I'm just, uh, Louis <laughs> using very uh, colorful language. He's not dead. He's not. He's not dead. Thank God. No. I'm, much no. respect to this guy. It's Especially sad. coming sad. out and talking about this story, like he probably saved a lot of people. Yeah. But I, I would say, like, be uh, use better judgment of jumping off of cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Not just yeah. booze, because I think it's more of a, you know. But you know, you don't have to. What it's all about is good judgment, and whether you choose to use it. A message from this station. And the National Rehabilitation Hospital. Yeah, it's more of a better judgment thing. Drowning. Yeah. Oh. Boop, boop. oh no. Another drowning guy. <laughs> Why is there so oh, many drowning clips oh, in a no. row? Well, like we gotta educate the public on the dangers of No, not drowning PSAs. Pools. Is that the whole spot? <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, guys. How did this guy drown? He's like 20 years old. Like and that's like a five deep. foot deep pool. He's almost touching the ground. Guys, it's not fun. Stop laughing. It's five feet deep. He just did that fucking fake drown thing we all do to scare each other. Oh, I do that all the time. Oh, man. Remember when we came, we went to the Lazy River at the theme park? We, all of us came around the corner. <laughs> Like, <laughs> any lifeguards in the chat? Because I think when you drown, you sink to the bottom because like your lungs fill up with water, right? Oh, Yo, here's a good. real public service message. Don't go in the wave pools at water parks. They wreck your Fuck ass. That. I almost drowned in one of those. Because, dude, all the rafts just, like, stick together. You're trying to get out, like, help, help. And then you got to push the rafts apart. People are trying to swim, so kicking you. It's awful. Don't do that. It's horrible. I'm Dr. Henry Heimlich. You know of the Heimlich. <gasps> dude, this guy this is, is a fucking the guy? legend, man. This is the fucking this guy? This is him. This is the guy? So, you know, back in the day, people thought Heimlich was a crackpot. Was a what? He's just a crazy doctor trying to sell his technique. Whoa, Yo. That's a lot of gifted Yo. subs. Bell Pow. So, dropping 20 gifty subbies. Delta, thank you so much, man. Delta, what up, man? Thank you so thank much. You, dude. That's a big one. 20 gifted subs of the communities. Hey, spam your favorite emotes. Happy 420. Yeah. Ain't easy to follow up the Heimlich, but they did, Delta. Jeez, with the 20 gifties. God damn. But think about this. Think of you being the guy who came up with the thing that everybody learns all around the world to save people from choking now. Yeah. Universally that accepted. That is a fucking genius. And what's Shout crazy is like him. when I found out the Heimlich, I, I, I figured it was around for it's centuries, right? Me too. Yeah. It was fucking invented in the 80s. Chat, how many people have you seen literally saved by it? I've seen it at least three times in my life. Somebody literally saved I've saved From somebody this shit. with it before. Louis actually, Louis, done. I actually, I actually owe, done it. I actually owe Louis a very a thank you. He yeah. actually saved my dad. Yeah. yeah, we've seen it, dude. I've seen it firsthand three times. People actually like 
going blue and like really freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of you have never seen it. It's, pr- I mean, oof, it's good, dude. In a clinch, get him in that clinch. A little pull, it's scary pull. though because you don't want to do it to somebody who's not actually choking. Yeah. Because right. you could like accidentally break the ribs yeah. if you're not careful. But like the main thing is you got to measure like from their belly button, like three fingers up and then go upward thrust. Yeah, yeah. Is he, oh, he, expl- he explains it. It's oh, he does? Spot. Yeah, Let's see. Oh, he gets into it. Yeah, Let's have it. the fucking. Can we get the screen one Let's more have time, the though? Fucking dude with his name explain it, dude. Was that him? <laughs> hey, Hen- not gonna, like, hey, Henry, we need a scream so it sounds legit. Okay, I, I think I can muster up a sound. Let me see here. How was that? Did it sound all right? Actually, hey, perfect. Wow, you're going to hire a girl to come in and do it. But you know what, Henry? You're a fucking legend, bro. You got a great oh. voice, too. Yeah, anytime. All right, let me explain it. Anytime you scream like a girl. <laughs> let me explain it. I'm Dr. Henry Heimlich. You know of the Heimlich maneuver to save a choking person, but did you know it's the first step in saving a drowning victim? Remember this. Mouth-to-mouth resuscitation is not effective when the lungs are flooded with water. Oh. The Heimlich maneuver expels the so water. So if you do from CPR the l- when there's just a bunch of gunk in there, it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Water. Oh. Water from the lungs. Here's how you do the Heimlich maneuver on a drowning person. Feel for the Wait, is this kid drowned? Yeah, but watch, I'll bring him right back. <laughs> I got the move, boy. This kid's down and out, but watch and bring him back. Here's how you do the Heimlich maneuver on a drowning person. Feel for the bottom of the rib cage. Make a fist and place the thumb side of the fist just above the belly button and below the rib cage. Oh. Grasp the fist with your other hand and press inward and upward with the <laughs> <rib> <laughs> If this guy wasn't actual Henry Heimlich, this would be a creepy commercial. Yo, should we let the thumbnail update on this, sir? Uh, this kid's truck full of water. I can, I can feel it as soon as I put my hand right here. Oh, yeah, he's full of it. There's like a water bed. I tell this kid every time, let's just stop drinking the water. I'm like, I do this every day with my grandson. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> oh, and Henry Heimlich's your fucking grandpa? Dude, you're always drowning. <laughs> Are you choking? You choking? You need my help? You need me to get back there? I'll do I'm it. just coughing, grandpa. Calm down. I sound like you're breathing as a truck guy. At this point, you're just doing it on purpose. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Oh, jeez. Come here, you motherfucker. What an with a quick thrust. Let's see if I can Repeat swallow this hot dog hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Go ahead. What an with a quick thrust. <laughs> Repeat also, I I get it's a very professional thing, and I I don't know if wearing a shirt is the move either. So I'm fully dressed. <laughs> I got my slacks on, my shoes, but I just jump in here. I just go, go ahead, little Johnny, see what you got in there. You got something for Grandpa? <laughs> 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 yeah, or squeeze right out of him. Squeeze it. Just come right out. Like a toothpaste. Tooth. Oh, so easy. It's like the, the tail end of your cold gate, right at the end of your toothpaste. Every last what drop. Just squeeze it. You know, don't waste it. What yeah, if he would have been shirtless while hugging this kid <laughs> tightly, it would have been a little bit weird. No, he's, I like it. He should have been in a lab coat. Dude, yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Like uh, one of those I'm things on his head. <laughs> it's like wringing out a sponge. <laughs> Ninja Turtles says, when he was young, a lifeguard saved you. Went oh. under, uh, went in a water tube slide. Can't swim. Oof, scary man. Why would you do that? Well, Louie, don't this. shame him now. He already drowned. <laughs> he learned his lesson. Why would you do that? Jeez. Well, if you can't swim, just make sure you show all your friends this video right here so yeah, they know. This old man squeezing this child. Right back into the water. You know, nothing goes to waste. We can't lose any water right now. Uh, we're, we're also in a drought, so this doubles as a saving the planet kind of thing as well. I know we have an editing tool. I don't know if this is possible, but is it possible to reverse the footage so the water goes into his mouth? Uh, yes, I can. I was young. I know. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> And then if you want, you squeeze them in reverse. It goes right back Sucks in the mouth. Right in. <laughs> if you want, you can suck it right back in. Lou, you ready for this? Watch this. If you actually put your hand oh, lower. Oh, God. Don't make him drink it. He's going to get chlorine <laughs> in his you, mouth. If you suck it in, you go. Go ahead. It comes to Whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so gross. And out. And in. And out. And you suck it. Yeah, yeah, a nice suction on this kid and get some water coming in. <laughs> yeah, swallow the whole pool. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like playing with a sponge, really. Happy 420, everyone. <laughs> I'll just wait for you to do it one last time. <laughs> 
Whoa, what'd you have for lunch? It smells like Campbell's soup. <laughs> Crust. Mm -mm, good. All right, now what do we do? After we get that first big squirt, what do we do? All right, all the water's out. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat until water no longer comes from the lungs. Here's how you do the high maneuver when you can't reach around the victim. Repeat until water no longer oh, comes from the lungs. Oh, God. That's Remember, important, though. So, uh, if, like, if I was drowning, that's what you would have to do. Because there's no way you're going to be able to reach around me. Going up the ribs, Yeah, dude. you're going to go, Up behind. Do like, a, like a face palm strike up my uh, stomach. Tiger, tiger. Water no longer flows from the lungs. Remember, you can't get air into the lungs until you get the water out. Joe, if your kid saved your life, it'd be so pog. Are you? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a cool kid. You created life, and then that life saved your life. Yo. Whoa, pocket healer. You have like a soul stone, <laughs> pocket kid. Pocket healer. Yo. <laughs> Your kid's like a fucking soul stone, Come dude. Come on, mercy me, mercy me. Pocket heal, pocket heal. Yeah, it's like a... Heal, heal, heal. It's like a wow hunter. It's, like, it's your pet. Yeah, it's like, kill, kill, oh, God. <laughs> Giving him the energy. Boom. Water no longer flows from the lungs. Remember, you can't get air into the lungs until you get the water out. You gotta get all that crap out. Shouts to Dr. Heimlich. Save probably Yo, this thousands, guy, maybe millions of maybe lives. Maybe millions. Maybe honestly, millions of lives. Yeah. Millions and millions. So what would people do before? Smack you on the back of the head? Yeah, I think they would try to smack you on the back. Like, oh. Yeah, would be like, just breathe. Just fucking smacking breathe. you, and you're choking, and now you're getting beaten. You're like, oh, fuck. For more information on saving drowning and choking victims, write to... My man had to advertise how to save people's lives. Yeah, but they probably gave him, like, some free time for that. Because he wasn't making money on it. It was probably state-funded once they, they yeah. found out it actually works, right? It would have been funded. So good at saving lives. But in the beginning, I was like, I trust me, this works. I've saved hundreds of people's lives. Like, sure, I'm like again. With the other this. doctor's like, Your oh. technique? The other doctor's like, Oh, I'm like you and your backwards thinking ways. Cincinnati, First of all, I don't even know how to call this number. You know, you're doing a great job, but you're not using all your assets. Oh, no. With a body like that. Oh. You can go places. Sexual harassment makes you feel like less of a person. Yeah. Help and hotline numbers oh, ask the for the Stop Sexual Harassment booklet at your public library. Be a little more sexy. Ugh. Hey, we're talking about your job here. No, we're talking about sexual harassment here. And I don't have to take it. Don't sexual suit. harassment. Hey, by... Slay Queen! Dun, 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 dun. Stood up talking for about sexual harassment. Sue that dude. Here, and I don't Pervert. have to take it. Sexual harassment violation. I disagree, and I will not do such thing. Damn it. Have to take it. Listen, sexual chat. Harassment. If any of you ever get sexually harassed at your job, sue the fuck out of them. It's against the law. Sue them, get a lawyer, and they'll probably do it for just how much money you're going to get. They'll take 75% of all your money, but hey, it's better than nothing. Find an adult. And it violates the law. Oh, AIDS again. We got the AIDS again, boy. This looks like a fucking Are You Alone or Are You Afraid, afraid of the dark. dark episode. Goosebumps. Goosebumps episode. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't forget your rubbers. Wait, why is this little Wait, kid need rubbers? What? This is weird, man. Wobble. Rubbers. Recommended Stop. by mothers everywhere. Huh? If I would have had my rubbers, you wouldn't be here, son. Boots? Rubber boots. Yeah, that's what they call them. In Rain boots. EU. Rain boots? Oh, my God. Oh, you bruvs have different terms that, I don't, that I'm not accustomed wrap to. Wrap your wiener and your feet. Yeah, just wrap it all up. <sighs> it's a fact that smoking reduces lung capacity. Classic. We've seen this one before. Performance. Take Bill Johnson, for example. Is this Seth, Seth Green? Yeah. Seth Green. Long-haired Seth, Seth Green. That's, Robot chicken? That's his hair? Yeah. Oh my God! He went through a phase. We Peter all do. Peter Griffin? I mean, uh, Chris Griffin? Crash. For example, I can't do that Will voice. Pitt? Nobody can except him. Last year, Bill led the Fighting Fire Dogs to the city championship and set a new touchdown record for the school. Then, over summer vacation, he started smoking. <sighs> this year, he made the team, but uh, now he's playing a different position. Hey, shit. Off, Cliff. That's good, man. Could you maybe do it with the head on? Wait, so he went from, like, all-state uh, running back to not even being able to run 10 feet? 
Wait, too. why is that teacher in the men's room? All I think about is, True. like, it, they're crapping so bad it smells. He's got a gas mask on. I think it's yeah, smoky. She's good. Tell us what's in cigarette smoke. Toilet bowl cleanup. Ammonia. Rat poison. Arsenic. Nail polish remover. Acetone. Cliff, there are thousands of chemicals in here. Oh, formaldehyde. That's the stuff they preserve dead bodies with. Smoke. Yuck. Clifford? Yuck. Yeah. Idle hands. It sounds familiar. Was the only thing you had for Roseanne? I don't think that's Roseanne. No, that's not Roseanne. She, they just love the smell of shit. From the Power Rangers. Pog! Trini! Yo! Jesus! Fuck! The bug in you, Curtis? Yeah, you! You! <laughs> Chill, Curtis. Why doesn't Jason just take him out? Chill, bro. Ah, what's the matter? What's wrong with this guy? He keeps fucking slamming him. knows to meet an opponent with discipline and self-control. Uh, this guy doesn't want self-control. Chill, man. Forget you. Uh, forget you. In the martial arts, you meet any Dude, I want to be a Power Ranger. Dude, yeah. I just want to be held this shit and is gently placed onto the map by Tommy. Dude, Tommy wrecking. keeps power topping Wait, him. that's Jason, though, but I want Tommy. The, the ponytail, the Green Ranger. Tomorrow. He's always gently laying him down. You okay, man? No, man, I'm not. No, I'm pissed. Come I'm on. fucking mad. Let's talk about it. Let's stop using yeah. our hands and let's talk about it. I like the sensitive power music. Come on, let's talk about it. Nice. You've just witnessed the highest form of martial arts, making a friend of an Whoa. enemy. It says so in the Art of War. Last page. Make that bitch your friend. Hello, I'm not a Power Ranger. I'm Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, Lois. I might not be a Power Ranger, but I have a message that's just as important. You know what really grinds my gears? Drink it and drive it. Bart tuck it, Pete. I'm Clark Garen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Clark Garen. <laughs> I'm Clark Garen. I'm Clark Garen. <laughs> I'm a California attorney and businessman, but I'm here to <laughs> businessman, <laughs> businessman, <laughs> businessman. <laughs> but I'm here today to talk with you about drugs. I eat drugs. drugs I eat drugs. Drugs, <laughs> drugs. I used to favor stiff penalties for drug use, but Every year, we spend more and more of our tax dollars for the war on drugs, yet every year, drug dealing and crime are worse. Why? He really doesn't try Why? to move his top, his top lip at all. I'm Clark Garrett. I'm Clark Garrett. I don't move my top lip drugs. whenever I talk. Drugs. Drugs. Are worse. Why? Why? Don't. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What the fuck, Why? dude? Why? Why? It's not even a Why? word. Why? 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 Don't you think it's because selling drugs Pizza. makes a lot of money? Don't you think people will sell drugs as long as it pays so well? Mm. There is a simple answer. Legalize drugs. Do you agree? Yo. Then tell your politicians by making a phone call. Call 1-900-976-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-
dude, you hear the Mexican peaches back? <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah. Woo -woo. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. Oh. After a few beers, things started to get a little slow. Hey, well, I gotta go. Oh, my God. Man, that was so fun drinking 20 beers. I need to hit the road now, fellas. I need to go pick up my kid. Cool parties. It's a bunch of chips and beer. <laughs> Dirty table. Let's go get more beer. Need more beer. Yeah, need more beer. Need more. <laughs> oh, fuck. I dropped my key. Every 27 minutes. Well, it's taking those guys so long. I don't know. They probably got lost. They're so wasted. They're wasted. <laughs> oh, oh, they died. No. <laughs> it's a zipper. It sounded like somebody's pulling the pants down. <laughs> I don't know why the fucking zip sounds so good. They got wasted. Pillsbury Dough Boy. Dough Man. What up, dude? Hey, my man. How you doing there, boyo, with them biddies? Appreciate you, dude. Love this one's boy. loud. Thank this you. one's loud. Yeah, I'm turning them down. You hear that sound? That's tinnitus. Imagine listening to that all day. I'm sorry, Chad. I know some of you guys have that tinnitus. Well, we need to inform the public. Every day and every night, never stopping. 12 million Americans are enduring that kind of problem. If you want information or want to help, contact the American Tinnitus Association, P.O. Box 5, Portland, Oregon, 9707. I'm surprised how many people in our community have it. I, I thought it was a rarer thing. He but... asked how many guys have tinnitus. A lot of you guys are like hearing that ringing all day. And a lot of concert goers probably. Hearing that ringing, dude, it's crazy, man. Yeah. You used to have it? So it could go away? It can repair itself sometimes depending on the severity, I imagine. 503 Two four eight nine nine eight five. We sounds rough. Oh, I don't like that ringing sound. <gasps> Holy smokes! Who's this? Oh, is that Randy Travis? I'm Alan Jackson. Oh, close enough. I'm Alan Jackson. All my exes live in Texas. Picante Luke, that you did. I'm Alan Jackson, and I'm another voice against violence. Every day in America, 14 so people under the dang. age of 20 are killed by a gun. Kill by a gun. Good, go, oh, go. it's the Chattahoochee guy. Kill by a gun. He was shooting the leak. MVC2 arcade one-up cabinet, October. Oh, I'm running out. I don't have any space. I wish. <laughs> I might have to, though, dude. MVC2, though. MVC2 cabinet. Two cabinet, man. The artwork on that bitch is going to be so nice. You already know. Fuck, dude. I might have, yeah. to, I have to make room somewhere. You know what I mean? And Thank you for the biddies. Um, and Miller Time and Crazy Cat and In the Loft. Thank you guys, Hey, dude. thanks so much. Crazy Cat popping off. Happy 420, off. everybody. 20, or killed by a gun. You by a gun. Watch out, boy. They kill you by the gun. 20, or killed by a gun. In a recent survey, 39% of kids said they knew someone who'd been killed or injured by a gun. And 60% said they knew where to get a gun. We're losing an entire generation to yes, violence. Violence doesn't solve a thing. Think about it. Just get on your seat, dude, brother, and have fun out on the lake in Chattahoochee. What's his big song? Uh, yeah, uh, Chattahoochee. In the loft sniping people. Thank you, Lofty. Hey, thank you. Against violence. Suck a coochie. <laughs> Promise to keep martial arts. Whoa, he blocked that shit. <laughs> Promise to keep martial art where it belongs. In the dojo. The White Rangers are a substitute teacher. Pause. Oh my Big god. Pause. Tommy. In the, in the dojo. We need All right. I don't know what he was Power trying promise. to talk about. Billy, Big Pog. Billy sucks, dude. Fuck you, Pog. No, Billy's Billy lame cool. as fuck. Power promise number five. <laughs> Promise to solve problems without fighting. Martial arts isn't about starting fights. <laughs> I guess we, I guess we could share because the Power it. Rangers said you could. Pussy. Starting fight. Pussy, you had to call the Power Rangers because you couldn't handle it. Wow. Triceratops. Billy of all the Power Rangers wow. too, by the way. Fucking idiot.
You're lucky Tommy's not here. Wait till they leave. I'm beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mecca, come in with the five gifty. What up, dude? Appreciate you, man. Dude, the Power Ranger ones are my favorite. Yeah, Power Ranger block. No hit. Thank like you, dude. Tommy, formerly the Green Ranger. Oh, formerly. Ranger from the scenes you just saw. And what I do on Power Rangers, some of you guys might think I'm out there looking for trouble, ready to get in the fight. He's so cool, man, with his jet black hair. Dude, oh, Tommy bro, was that. the coolest. I, I don't think you could get peak coolness other than this actor during this time. Yeah. Right there. For trouble, ready to get in the fight. <laughs> what I'm about. <laughs> 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 What, I'm about. That's not what, martial arts what a move. About. Tommy, what is martial arts about? Self-respect. Remember that you're important. Self-love? Self-love, Self dude. Self Confidence. That's Even actually what it's about. Mm -hmm. Cooperation. I always thought it was about like thing. making sure you don't get the world. shit beaten out of you. No, no, no. In MMA, it's, it's more of like, a, I love myself more than you love you, so I will win this fight. All right. Yeah. There's a few <laughs> rules about martial arts that I think are really important. Remember to practice martial arts either at home, away from lamps, furniture, you know, the stuff that can break. Away from the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I want to see if I can get my foot right on top of the fucking lamp without actually knocking it over. Yeah, it looks like some chick's head. I'm just going, crunch like, I want to put something on top of the lamp chop. and see if I could just fucking kick that bitch off without hitting the light bulb, you know? Dude, I think I could cry chop this face in half. <laughs> <laughs> lamps, furniture. Bandy you know, T, what up, Bandy? Or in a karate school like this one. Karate school. Join a karate school. And always make sure there's an adult there when you're practicing. Oh. Yo, the too. amount of uh, like karate dojos I must have had a surplus of uh, attendances because of Power Rangers. Oh yeah. my God. I want to go to the Power Ranger snack bar. Yeah, their school had like a like a juice Jamba bar. Juice bar. Juice bar. What was it called again? I I'm forget. Sure there's an adult there when you practice. Mm. Either you're a sensor or your mom and dad. Oh yeah, and there's one place you especially don't want to practice more. School. School. Why don't you guys tell us why you shouldn't practice? Wait, he's more evil again. School? Somebody can get hurt. So make sure you two guys remember that, okay? Okay. Okay. So you and your best friend got into a fight. Julie doesn't like you anymore. She likes Jim now. Damn. Your teacher says you're not concentrating. Hey, how's that part-time job? What part-time job? <laughs> if you think pot's gonna make your problems go away, you got another problem. Whoa. Damn, dude. Smoke another one. Track was bumping. Though. That was pretty banging. Where are we going? Uh-huh. An upload from my YouTube. That's right, Miss Murphy. And you can have the prize delivered right to your door. Uh, now, give me your account number, and we'll deduct it directly from your bank. Oh, yes, ma'am. Don't You have trust to do that. it this afternoon while I have you on the telephone. I'm Attorney General Mike Easley. Don't let a nice voice trick you out of your money. Never give your credit card or bank account numbers over the phone. Stop and think. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. All I need you to do is go down to Rite Aid, get yourself some Google Play cards. Oh, no, not the Google Play cards. And then go ahead and give me that account number and rooting number. Rooting? Oh, give me that rooting number. Do you have the rooting number by chance? I'm going to need that rooting number if I'm going to help you out of this Do you jam. want these free French fries? If I'm going to help you out, you need to help me out. <laughs> I think like, he's ordering French fries. <laughs> You want some French fries? We can get that food to your doorstep. I'm Listen, need your account number. I'll get you the number. best fucking fries you ever fucking had, dude. Just give me that fucking routing number. Give me the fucking number. Where's if you the don't Google give me Play? That fucking routing number. I'm gonna send you potatoes. We temporarily have shit. to have the money sent to a gift card, and then we'll retroactively give you the money. Mm -hmm. Whoa! The fuck? What the hell? He's doing some cowboy shit. Oh no, Betsy! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh, that sick and hate smoke killed my horse. Oh, oh dude, Damn this it. just reminded me of one of the best PSAs. I hope it's in here. I don't want to mention it. Spoiler. All right. Secondhand Spoilers. smoke can kill a horse. Like what? the one where she's like smoking in the kitchen. Hello, it's like Charles. going through all the vents and shit down oh, with the baby. Yeah. Oh. And then the baby's like. <laughs> secondhand smoke. Hello, children. 
Today, I'm here to tell you that drugs are bad. Hey, man, listen to me. Drugs are nowhere, man. The word Fuck. is no. Make two hits and you're dead. You Jesus you Christ. Won't have any friends. Man, if someone I've seen it for myself. They're not your friends. I say the man, believe me. You see the man smoke two it's doinks and fucking I collapsed. Same. Hey, man, are you listening to me? Oh, hey, you already know how bad drugs are. It's time to listen to yourself. You already know. It was like the DeVry commercial. Hey, I man. very confused. I don't need to tell you. You already know. AK she just tank. broke the fourth wall, dude. Whoa! Theo, Theo thank you. Listen to yourself. One Johnny, person. stop smoking that weed! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> smoke that. Yo! What? Do I want to smoke that? <laughs> Oh, that's fuck. the whole commercial. <laughs> that might be the best one. Do popping the gainer. Smoke on that. <laughs> Smoke this doink. Smoke that. <laughs> Fucking dope. So rad. Dude, that made me want to smoke. Oh, Bobby Lee. The fuck is this? Ooh -ah. Ooh -ah. <laughs> Damn, he got his foot way up there. Dude, this one guy wants to fuck so bad. <laughs> This is a condom dispenser, yeah? Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen one. I, if I have seen them, they must have been in like in a weird nightclub. They had them right next to the, the bathroom, in the bathroom at the, the movie theater. And right Whoa. next to it was like those Banaka mint things. Oh, yeah. And the one time I theater? tried to get the mint and then the condom came out. I was like, what the fuck do I do with this? Was it flavored? Could you chew on it? Well, maybe, I didn't open it. Maybe you could chew on that and flavor up your mouth. At the time, I had no idea what the fuck a condom was. How was desperate? Like were you chewing a condom like bubble gum? Okay. How desperate were you for a fresh mouth? I mean... You put a little strawberry-flavored condom in your mouth. Strawberry banana. I mean... It's your favorite. <laughs> I feel like they used to have them like in the 90s like, everywhere. Yeah, like, I You think... remember seeing like the mints and stuff, right? That were in the mints, bathroom? Mints, yeah. You probably just didn't notice that there was condoms right next to it. I think you were focused on the mint. Peak AIDS epidemic, probably all over the place, but now they're relics of the past. Give me the I want one, dude. <laughs> Get a free guide on sexual health. Call one. And it popped out when it was too late. No, well. Hosting a holiday party. Oh, that lady. Ask who the designated Holly drivers are. Peretti? Peret? Special non-alcoholic drink. NCIS. On CBS. Oh, no. That one clear you! Is it mice? Nope. Rats? Nope. Hogs? That's right, miss. Hogs? Oh, it's Josh! Energy hogs. Energy hogs under your house. Energy hogs. If you're wasting energy, you'll find one in your home. Whee! Oh. oh my god! What the fuck? The Those fuck? graphics are too good for a weird ad list. This is awful. God damn, it's worse than like Phantom Menace, Watto. And the, uh, I was doing all your electricity. I saw the pod racer electricity. And I sold your mom for some more electricity. Oh, they have flash games. Dude, Pog! Oh my god, remember Netscape? Oh, doesn't yeah. it cost doesn't it cost energy to go to their website though? Yes. Maybe they should have done like a paper pamphlet or something. Well, that costs energy <laughs> well, somewhere down the line too. Countries. God damn, you can't win. You a phone call. To do something about them. Dude, these games look tight. Or... Hey, let me go. Oh god, there's more. Because nobody likes an energy hog. The fuck? This next one's only coming out of the right ear, which it you think might not hear this. Chat. chat can't hear this one. Let me see. So dead. Ooh. You hear this though. Cocker coming in here. Let's get lit, boys. I said, Happy let's 420! Get fucking lit, dude. Let's get it, dude. Also, skirt, skirt. by the way, uh, Twitch Prime's a free sub you get every month with the Amazon Prime bundle. You just got to make sure you manually click the subscribe button to activate your Twitch Prime. Please do it. Ryu says the Energy Hog website still exists. I don't doubt it. Wow. Might give you a virus, though, Chad. Don't go Yeah, there. be careful clicking all of these links and phone numbers. Just might. Whoa, this guy's... What the fuck? He's Demon Boy. Is this Death Note? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget. 
Well, that guy's fucking. It's just super quiet. Super quiet. Yeah, okay. I don't know. They're they're speaking a different language. Yeah, I think they're... Chinese or Cantonese. What the fuck? That was weird as shit. Anyways, this yellow one. It's for my postpartum depression. All right, gee, I got these postpartum. Balls. I got Why these does he have balls? postpartum depression? Hey, man, you know what? In 2022, I don't judge anymore. Listen, man, um, I took a really big shit and I, I felt big depressed dump. afterwards because I missed it. I don't because I had to let that thing go, man. I really love the feeling of my colon being stuffed full of shit. Now I miss it. Now well, don't take that out of context. Take one of these. <laughs> it's my postpartum depression. This ah. one, sciatica. Whatever that is. I got these after my hysterectomy. Whoa. Or my prostatectomy. Stomachectomy. My prostate fell out or something. Something fell out of me. I don't oh, my know. Something just dropped. fell out of the fucking USB drive. <laughs> something <laughs> popped off. I don't know. Oh, is that my brain? <laughs> oh, no. My brain just connected. this guy is for the pain from my last hip replacement. And this orange one is... Here you go. Getting drunk. He dropped a bunch of them. Opening your medicine cabinet. Oh boy, he's boofing those for sure. Oh, he's oh I remember this there. one. He's boofing those for sure. Oh yeah. This is a classic. Everyone's seen this, right? His whole life changes before your eyes. Just because he was getting stoned. He became super cool. <laughs> he got a mullet. Got <laughs> dope haircut. Went through a hip hop phase, Went and then a tuba, a phase. tuba phase, and a snake phase, Didn't and a punk rock phase, and then you give up. What makes he broke free from he society? He's just him, dude. Live above the Most influence. Kids are aware the drugs are bad, and they keep far, far away from them. Pat Patterson, what's it? Pete Pete Pete, 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 Pete Pat Patterson bad, here, and they keep far, far away from them. But did you know that alcohol is a drug too? Whoa! Be smart. Don't start. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Wow, oh, this one's fuck. got tinnitus in it. <laughs> you don't get AIDS from mosquitoes. We get it from each other. An estimated Ow, this one hurts. Um what do you guys think? <laughs> Skip this one or what, chat? <laughs> yeah. From mosquitoes. We get it from each other. An estimated one out of But they all look so dang cool. Skip, yeah, that one hurts, huh? Three, four. Sorry. Country awareness for AIDS. The, right. the rabbi. Let's get over that one. It's Levi the Rabbi. About, the, ra the one about the rabbi and the reverend who like to party. <laughs> Dude, these guys get a show or what? The one about the rabbi and the reverend who like to party. A community coalition got them together with local restaurant owners. Now they host drug go rabbi, kids parties. Go rabbi. Damn. Yeah, they do. It's just one example Dude, of Dude, fuck yeah, man. Whoa, hanging kids out, Mac, hanging out Mac with the rabbi. Dude, kids Mac. He's like, yo, this party's lit. What's up, girl? I'm fucking I mean, Shalom Aleikum. I'm in sixth. <laughs> I'm in sixth grade. Look what kids can do. Oh, it's a mitzvah in here. All right, kids, kids let's go. Hanging out. Busy hanging out with the red. Yeah, rest. if school was like this, we wouldn't need drugs. Actually, kind of true, though. Actually true. If you actually think about it, it would be actually true. About the rabbi and the reverend. Yeah, if church was this fun. Damn it, this guy smiles so good. He does get throws the best parties. Look at this guy's face. He does look dude. like he's kind of high, though. I'm you know, like, he's going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kids, Friends let's get like it. To party. Who you says church has to be boring? Together with local restaurant Go, owners. Jesus. Go, now Jesus. Drug free kids. Parties. Drug free <laughs> parties where what? they serve what? fucking carrots and asparagus? I and mean, is it free? And Green beans. And kosher sandwiches. Green beans. Green, Green beans. These guys know how to party. Dude, this kid right here is kill. This kid right here is just on Looking another straight level. Straight in the camera. He's like, yo, everyone's here to not do drugs, but I'm trying to get girlfriend out. I'm high on this postpartum depression medication. I'm fucking churning it up. These guys know how to party. Yeah, dude. Look at He's like checking her out, dude. That's this fucking kid, man. Looking her up and down. <laughs> He's like, yeah, keep saying the fucking script, bitch. <laughs> keep reading the script. He's just, dude, the, this kid must have been dancing. We didn't get the take. Do it again. Do it again. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I never stop. It's just Look one at him. Dude, of community moving through the crowd. Yo! Dude, he grabbed the substitute teacher. Can do. But it's not the only <laughs> Get rabbi. Kids away from drugs. Grab the youth group teacher. That kid, man. That was a feeling himself, big time. To find out what your group can do. I don't know. If, like, because... chat went out and tried to, like, hey, let's start a dance party with children. 
Like it would get kind of weird. It's a youth group, like. Uh, it's more yeah, awesome than that. You'd have to be a that. reverend or something, though. For That's that what work. this is. Wait, so what do you but, like, what are you what saying? What are we supposed to do? What do you, you organize it. You find a place with a cafeteria and you hire a couple reverends and uh, rabbis to show so up. So now I gotta hire people to stop kids from doing drugs. Well, maybe not hire, but I'll, you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't you want to help the community? I didn't say there's nothing you have to do. I'm just appreciating this for what it is. This is beautiful. This fucking kid, <laughs> man. <laughs> Who taught him to dance <laughs> like this? The Reverend. But it's not the only way. I don't know. The rabbi's got some moves. Visit helpyourcommunity.org to find out what your group can do. So, so a rabbi and, <laughs> and a reverend run a community theory. Guess what happens next? Dude, that would you would have got me invited over there. Like, yo, you got to come to my youth group. I don't know, man. No, dude. No, dude. It's lit. First of all, it's drug free. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but. Listen, hear dude. me out. The tunes <laughs> on point. The chicks, they're there. Yo, God, the reverend, he's watching. The reverend's the best wingman. Dude. Brings these carrots with this, like, garlic sauce. Bro, so, you know they know have ants on the log, bro? Because if they don't got ants on the log, I'm not fucking coming. Yo, they bring this Oh, you'll food. be coming, all right. It's crazy. Oh, Bob, Jesus <laughs> Christ. But it's not the well, only, children, get down only, one time. It's not the only way to Pass the tithe. But it's around. Not the only way to keep it. Should have donated. Here's the bucket. <laughs> Passing the tithe. Pass the tithe around. <laughs> Hanging out. Yeah, you know, dancing with the tithe bucket. Like, yeah. <laughs> like a collection plate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coins flying everywhere. Visit <laughs> Mom, your kids got to donate. His music and his food don't pay for itself. What an amazing ad. <laughs> I don't know where he got it from. Just some geezer he knew in the rave. Yeah, You'll love it. Leave it out, Chris. This is a UK oh, bruv. Uh, this is Scotland. Scotland? Leave it out, Chris. Come on. on. No, man. You seemed all right at first. But you got more and more out. Poor Ron Weasley after Whoa. the Hogwarts hey, days. Talk to him. Oh. <laughs> Harry! Harry! No, 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 no. What? Mike! Just get down. Chill! He said you only live once. He just wanted to try it. He wanted to try everything. The police got him, though. He's all right, yeah? He okay, isn't it? The police got him. He's fine. Well, this kid just fell right in our boat. Don't take drugs. Also, said you only live Again, that's not like a drug thing. Like, why are you walking on the banister of the thing? I mean... He was under the influence. If you take ecstasy, it lowers your inhibitions. Like, you'll call people up and be like, Hey, man, I'm it sorry wants. I bullied you in fifth grade. Like, <laughs> like, he'll do some weird well, that's shit. That's not the same as jumping off a bridge. Dude, yeah, that's, you'll get up on a bridge because you're not scared to die. You'll, it's crazy. I'm invincible. Brav, you what? Brav, you what? Brav, you what? Bell. Boy, who would pirate this music? <laughs> this is how we pirated music back in the day. I don't get it. What are they grabbing? They're pi pirating music. Don't copy the floppy. The music's pretty sick. You wouldn't, you wouldn't download a car, would you? Oh, fuck. You kill the music. Be uh, legal. I think Repcord companies killed the music, right? Yeah, those dealing it. The dealers themselves killed yeah. it, dude. Yeah, you really think the lady that has the, uh, the rip away contact information was destroying the record industry? Nah, it's the snakes that run the whole fucking thing. Be legal. I'm paid for this spot. I mean, if I didn't listen to a bunch of bands that I never heard of on YouTube, I probably would have never gone to see them at a show and then bought a T-shirt there. Yeah, which now they'd they probably make a lot more money off of than me buying a five dollar CD or whatever the fuck. Yeah, now they're all over like the TikTok little clip or the Instagram. It tells you the song title and name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least on Instagram, they don't ding you for that. Actually, I think if you play it in your video, you can get DMCA'd. But if you use it through the app or whatever, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Twitch will figure it out someday. Chat. Until then, we gotta. Be legal. Hanging out, hanging out with the rabbi. 
Whoa. This one didn't make it to TV. This Not one got for broadcast. Got canceled. It was too dark. At first, only gays and IV drug users were being killed by AIDS. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. He's got a death ah! ball. Death bowling ball? The fact is, Wait. over 50,000 men, women, and children now carry the AIDS virus. That in three years, nearly 2,000 of us will be dead. Yo, death using a bowling ball actually pretty fucking scary. Does bowling ball cause AIDS? Because bowl, like anything death uses, all it does is have to like barely touch you <sighs> and you're dead. A bowling ball? Fuck, dude. This freaked me out. I gotta get something to drink. Whoa, he's really shook. Are you okay, Luke? I don't like this. It's I don't like it. I don't think the, the Grim Reaper of Death is real. Louis, like uh, Louis had some things happen to him in a bowling alley. The bowling pin accident. He had a little, he had an incident with the guy who was running the bowling alley. The shino ball. The, sh the shine, someone shined his bowling ball. The guy, stop laughing at him, okay? He's very hurt by Sensitive. the memory of it. Louis did not get AIDS. He did not get AIDS. Right? That if not stopped, it could kill more Australians than World War II. Australia? World War II. But AIDS can be stopped, and you can help stop it. Oh my god, there's so there's more than one? Oh, I thought there was only one. Oh, they're like Nas Ghouls. They're fucking everywhere. If you have sex, have just one safe partner, or always use condoms. Always. 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 Fucking yikes, dude. Look, this just freaked me out. Have you ever seen the movie Kingpin when they stick his arm in the thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't like bowling alleys. Dude, I love that movie. I'm that never going, so good. I'm never going bowling again, dude. Uh, I'm not sticking my fingers in that. You get AIDS, you put your fingers in there, dude. <laughs> I'm not playing bowling ever again. Oh, wait. So that's what happened to me. <laughs> I'm never playing bowling. Oh, man. I so think this many. might be the AIDS block. We need this, though. There's facts for life. If you get high on drugs or alcohol, you're lowering your guard. This guy this guy gets fucked up all the time. Air, though, dude. Look at the little bangs. Wild mane. God. Guard. One day and I'll have hair like this. Down, the risk of AIDS is up. Wait, what? What are you mixing in with your drink? Whoa. Pacifier? Family and alcoholism don't mix. If you need help. Call. Whoa. Alcoholicos. If you're having trouble, chat, call. For real. Alcoholicos. Help is a, a call away. And it's, it's not a bad thing. You know? Some people look at it as like you have a negative connotation on it. If you need help, get help. Get it, dude. There's nothing embarrassing about that. Get and it, People want to help. Drink some of that delicious water. You know what I mean? Oh, water. Yeah. Mm. I get high on H2O. Yeah. Mm -mm. A little bit of bubbles. That's all you need. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> H2O boy Or use Twitch Prime <clears throat> Edo is besto Coming in with the Prime 23 Demonic Zendar oh. coming in dude um, DMs yes I think I saw that dude I'll get back to you uh, Worn Peace Mr. Elk Scuffy Thank you guys Pepsi Boy Appreciate everybody Happy 420 Make sure you're following the channel Oh dude Pepsi Boy is getting glazed At the Krispy Kreme right oh, now Oh my dude. god That sounds amazing oh. Woo Yo, a fresh Krispy Kreme. The, the freshest Krispy Kreme. Woo! It's got to be the cream so filled ones. Dang. I don't need that plain shit. You don't need, you don't need like the pl plain ones? I'll eat the plain one, just the plain glaze. But I mean, the real one that shines is the one that's filled with cream and it comes out all hot. I don't know, fuck hot load of cream, cream in your mouth. Oh, you like a cream fuck. pie? Yeah. Hot cream pie? JJ, now that you've won it all, how are you going hardship? My man, JJ McCormick's not only going hardship, I'm going lottery. <laughs> With all the fame and fortune. A lot of people will tell you that cocaine not only will get you high, but will take your performance to a different level. What? But if you do coke, game, you'll be the good at basketball. Go, the Make you feel invincible like you can do anything. Who the fuck ever says that you'll be better at stuff if you do coke? It was always like you'll be invincible. I remember we've seen those other ones that were like, you can get anything done. Like, I've you heard that about like, uh, like Adderall, right? But I've never fucking heard somebody say that about cocaine. I always heard it was an invincible feeling. 
Well, well, well think about pro wrestlers in the 80s, right? Macho Man, Randy Savage, true, Ultimate yeah. Warrior. I mean, uh, those guys were cranked. Oh, no. What did you do? To, oh, disappointing. Grandma. Grandpa. Nima. She mad. She found out. Oh. One game is in your face. The next thing isn't even in the game. Hey, DJ! Stop, DJ! 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 You guys seen JJ? announced that they'd arrested J.J. McCormick. Whatever. Arrested? Carriage. And you got your start now, too. And you know this part you're working on having fun with you. But animals love them, and so do you. Go for three. And you almost get four, four. You may need a chair, but that's okay. You get their suit, you can have them. I feel like this is a song they play at that uh, youth uh, party. Oh, the fuck fucking yeah. Fruits, fruits and veggies with that one kid looking at that girl. Suit, you can it's have called them Freaks and Veggies. Five? Five's a lot. No, I'm 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 like eating pies and stuff, man. I'm not eating. Fruits. I remember this. It always say you gotta eat five servings, man. Does lettuce all... on a burger count? No. What about tomatoes? Dude, the, like uh, tomatoes are fruit. Like they. But it's on it's on a burger. No, no, no. Literally, okay? literally, Lou. This is a serving. A single Dude, serving. how are you going to eat a whole pineapple? That's what they were saying back then. Remember that shit? Like two fucking apples, three oranges, a lemon, a fucking piece of cabbage, and some cauliflower, and a whole pineapple. Eat that five times a day and be healthy. Or die. That's so much, dude. Too much. A whole cauliflower. So much. That's man. a balanced breakfast. You eat a whole cauliflower. <laughs> That's way too much, man. <laughs> no room for burger. I'm out. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just too much food, man. Also, like, uh, fruits have a lot of sugar. That's a whole yeah. serving right there. Yeah. See, celery and carrots. Carrots, yeah. I can see. That's, see carrots so, have sugar. So they want you to wake up and eat that. That, no, that's one serving. That's your breakfast. Yeah, a few hours the later, fuck they out want of you. Here. To, a few hours brunch? later, that, and a few hours later, they want you to go ahead and get Lunch. number three. I think they just want you to eat one of those things five There's times a day. Big broccoli, dude. Thick where's the ba Where's the bacon? That's yeah, what I'm true. Saying. Where's the Where's the fats? Where's the bacon. Also, juice. Juice is terrible. Yeah. Well, if you're getting a hundred, juice is awful. If you're getting a hundred percent juice and not like that fucking artificial flavored shit, it's not too bad to have a small cup. It's a ton of sugar. A lot of sugar, Lou. It's a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar, man. For all breakfast, sugar. you gotta have that OJ. Sugar. Here's my thing. Even if you're gonna be a fatas. Eat it. Don't drink calories. Yes, yes, it's yeah. It's such a waste, dude. Yo, yo, yes. I'd rather get a whole extra burger instead of a fucking juice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the juice, you're just going to fucking piss it out and get yeah. fat. Yeah, and you but don't a feel burger full. come out the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 I have a question. Eat food what that comes out your ass. pineapple pizza? Is that a f serving of fruit? Uh, yeah, yeah, and the tomato sauce. What and about the... like strawberry ice cream? Does that count? No. No? No, 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 Have some juice and all the things here. They come from places more far and near. So by the day is the magic room. Mother's okay. Let's just dunk you. I wonder what they say now. Like, what do they, do they even have commercials for kids promoting fruits and veggies now? Probably mostly veggies, because I think fruits have a kind of a, you know, get a bad rap. Get that diabetes eating all those fucking pineapples, huh? Yeah. That's why I eat Pop Tarts. That's how I get my fruit. Louis, we need to have a talk. Louis, that's just chemicals. Okay, should I switch to like uh, Nutri Grain bars? No. Nutri Grains? No. <laughs> no, those are what bad too. What about fruit gummies? <laughs> this is all bad. The snack aisle is all chemicals. Okay, okay. Toaster strudel. Mm. Good, bad, better, but not no. Mm. So good. It's so bad. It's good. You know? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Yo, a pie made out of toaster strudel. What about tamarindo? Mm. Can I eat just tamarindo candy? Tamarindo? Will that be good? I'm not sure what tamarind is, but. I'm not very good at I think it makes things. you crap. Mm -hmm. oh. Do not eat sugar free gummies. You will crap hard and bad. Mm hmm. You love Brown Mountain cigarettes, and we Brown love Mountain. our customers. Oh! We're giving you customers. Oh my God! Ugh. Please brush your teeth. Ah. Instead of eating fruits, brush your teeth. Oh. Oh, his teeth are just poops. Ugh. Ah. Customers, that's why we're giving you cancer cash. 
you can exchange cancer cash for some of these free gifts. Yo. 500 coupons gets you the sporty oxygen mask. Oh, my God, dude. This commercial is too To be much. fair, that oxygen mask would have come in clutch in 2020. 500 coupons gets oh. you the sporty oxygen mask. <laughs> I've got my own oxygen. I don't need to share it with all these losers out here. <laughs> 500 coupons gets you the sporty oxygen mask built strong for a busy person just like you. 4,000 coupons gets you this beautiful lung ventilator with matching tracheal tube. Oh, no. oh. And for a limited time, you can exchange cancer cash for a discount on chemotherapy. Oh, yeah, smoking. Uh, Nobody's in. Smoking. Nobody wins. Smoking. Don't even do it. Came in real quick at the end. They could have came in a little bit sooner before it was over. You'll Sh fucking die. Smoking. Nobody wins. Stop it. Nobody wins. Don't you ever fucking smoke. Nobody wins. Jizz or the lizard. Why does Pop get so hot? What, what happened to Pops? Why did he get so hot? What are you talking about? He's got his... Uh, he's really dripped out. He's going through a... He's going through a phase, chat. If you or someone you love is going through a midlife crisis, please call this number now. I don't know, Pops was normal, and the next day he came in, it was like he's fucking Marty McFly. And he was like Marty McFly and Joe Exotic all in one. Sup, losers? Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, <laughs> just don't look at him, Lou. Don't pay any attention <laughs> to him. He looks like a bully from an 80s movie. Lou, yeah. you still eating those uh, Krispy Kremes with the cream filling in it? Sometimes. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I'd say, you know it's not real food. <laughs> Introducing the h Bomb. The only shoe chosen by all three finalists in this year's Doug Fest. Yo! h bomb souls are filled with hydrogen. Bam, 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 but two times, slam the jam. Here he comes, number 13. From the free throw line. Lamar Oda! Sheesh! What did that have to do with any? What? Just makes me wish I could dunk, but I don't know about drugs or anything. I think He's it's, on fire! I think it's supposed to be a PSA for um, helium. Oh, wait, it's not over. Oh. Oh, huffing, right? No? Sir! What's in the hole? Only one product actually kills a third of the... Oh, tobacco. Oh. He was chewing tobacco before he went up? Well, dunk? my man was puffing before he was dunking? I always thought H-Bob's when you lace things with heroin or something. A weird ad. Don't you do know, basketball. It's very confusing. He went down to the Toons world. Yeah. The Looney Tunes hole, right? Was this uh, uh, Space Jam 2? Whoa. Crazy. OG nut. Pop's got that P. Mickey drip. Yeah, bruh. Looking forward to that Mario yeah, party. Yeah, bruh. Let's get it, boy. Turtleneck. Watch out for that cheetah print. Yeah. Does the guy have a gun? The guy's a fucking rifle. Hey, yo, kid. Cigarettes are drugs. The American Lung Association. American Lung Association. What? So they're trying to make like a, a crack is the equivalent of tobacco? Yeah. To be fair. Smoking cigarettes. Cigarettes are pretty fucking bad. He was dealing the hard stuff. I don't think they're as addictive as crack. But they're no they're not even in the same category. <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah. yeah, but he's like with the cartel. He got like a fucking gun. He's a machine gun. For a one cigarette, a little For pack. A pack. One a pack. Filtered. Must be good pack. My mother, she had Let me see here. She drank Insomniac, thank you. Did you guys ever see the South Dakota anti-meth campaign? Uh, no. No, it seems very specific. It might have. We've I, seen I a might, lot. I might, actually, but it's hard to tell with local ads. You know, Did it so. have Whoopi Goldberg in it? Because we saw those. Well, there's a lot more Whoopi Goldberg PSAs. I love Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi's all PSAs. over the AIDS ones. My mother, she had, she drinks a lot, and it got me addicted. Drinking and taking me so far down, I had to get out of my house. It made me do things that I never thought I'd do. If I take one drink, I'm going to take another and another because I can't control myself, and I'll die. Hey, yo, alcohol is a Damn, drug. Damn, these kids are young, boy. Fuck. Yo, alcohol is a drug, and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. Word. 
I'm cooling my <laughs> That's way. That's like word. the most natural word I ever heard. The word. more damage you can do. Word. 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 I thought word is supposed to be something you say in response to somebody. Word? Word. Like, he says something and then you go, word, that's true. <laughs> word. Like, yeah. you don't usually say it to yourself, After, right? like, a full beat, too. It's bad for you. Word. Hmm. Okay. The more damage you can do. Word. 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 <laughs> it's word. a soft, too, huh? Yeah, it's word. gotta be kind of tough. I bet you it. somebody wrote that line. Word. Say word, word at the end of it. That we way want it, it seems cool. We want it to be hippity hoppity, so, you know, throw in one of them cool words. <laughs> I heard. I heard the word. Oh, I could be a rapper. I could write the script. The more damage Thanks you Clark can Clark Word. I'm cool in my way, not by drinking. But now I can see going to college. Say no and say yes to your They life. cut him off real they quick. They just cut him off. Yeah. 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 She go to college with before. I used to, I used to blow a bunch of dudes for alcohol Fuck. money. Like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, where was he? He was about to drop where he wanted to go to college for. And they're like, cut that out. Let's cut that out. I'm going clown college. <laughs> cut that out. Freeze one. There were stacks of heads chiseling in the easy. There were stacks of heads chiseling in the easy. Freeze Is this literally what we're saying? Like a guy trying to do lingo? Word. Wow. Word. Trying to learn word, hip new words. I'm jizzing with my homies. <laughs> Jizzling with my homies. He's one. Oh, there skeet, 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 skeet. What the fuck? So yeah, the sweat dropping jizzling. down my balls. Word. Jizzling in the easy. The worst. <laughs> Jizzing on someone's hizzy? He jizzed on someone's head? <laughs> chiseling on her heezy heads chiseling in the easy there were stacks of heads chiseling in the heezy so a bunch of dickheads were jizzing on what the in the, in the house yeah no wonder you need a book to navigate these uh <laughs> terms that these kids be using bunch of heads were jizzing in the house Word. in the heezy homie was flossing his grip of cheddar homie was flossing his grip of cheddar his whip is a janky Hoopty. His whip is a janky hoopty. Janky hoopty. His whip is a janky hoopy. You may not understand. Damn kids are jizzing all over my hizzy. Get out! Quit jizzing in my hoopty. Now you can't act like you don't hear me because I'm speaking your language. Off of my lawn, you jizzing. Uh, oh, man. word feller. <laughs> You may not understand your kids, but your kids understand you. Talk to them about drugs. Need help? Get help. Jizz all over my jalopy. Let me take your kids understand you. Talk to them about drugs. Hey, you want to settle Need it help? here? Get help. Let's go. Visit our website Come on, at drugfree.org. Come on. Man, if you can't even, like, muster up the strength to even just uh, talk about drugs to your kids, I mean, my God. He keeps talking in this Snoop Dogg language. I just don't understand it. Snoopy Dogg language. For easy in my heezy. Stands him. That's so scary. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. I'm scared. What a of this demon! One. I'm scared of this one. Keep them illegal. Keep it illegal. <laughs> Keep it illegal. But for, okay, so first of all. Yeah, I, I guess it's irresponsible to be intoxicated around infants and stuff like that. Yeah. But what did she do that was so illegal? <clears throat> the only thing I'd be worried about, somebody who's high, like, on weed around my kid, is if, like, the kid was, like, crying and they are just yeah. like, oh, fuck, I have to go sure. do that right now. Yeah. Or maybe they wouldn't be as aware of, like, signs of a kid choking or something like that. Yeah. But, Louis, I can make the same argument about alcohol. Well, I don't want them drinking around my fucking kid either. That's even worse. Well, we don't. Al al alcohol is il uh, not illegal. Oh yeah, and this is probably paid for by the alcohol companies. To be real. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's how these things work. She's kind of just doing her job, huh? Actually, she's kind of doing a, a better job than most, if anything. She's, she's really more into, into it, it, dude. She's having fun. You know, if I found out my babysitter was a little toked up and doing this and keeping the baby entertained, no, I don't know. As long as I'm watching on the nanny cam and she's doing a good job, I really don't give a fuck. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I tire her. Unless she was doing that, then I'd be like, okay, we might need to get a new babysitter. She's going, Unless there's no baby <laughs> in the cradle and she's just insane. <laughs> the baby's like in the high chair watching her like from five feet away. Like, yeah, what the there... fuck are you doing? Was there something I missed? Is the baby in the bed here? <laughs> the baby's in the pool. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the thing I've uh, seen with all these PSAs is the, the marijuana ads seem to like miss the mark. 
Yeah. It's like, I think marijuana adds for like young kids to be like, you don't smoke weed until you're like you're in college or you're at least an, an adult enough to kind of figure yourself out. Wait until out. you're 21, right? Yeah. There we go. Is this one here? That night vision. Uh oh. Oh no, this guy's high with a sniper rifle. Yo! With the bazooka. He's protecting the bunker and he's t he's high! Whoa, dude. What? <laughs> that soldier. First off, how do you get weed in Lebanon <laughs> when you're a soldier or whatever the fuck? Dude, this Afghan Kush, dude. The Lebanon Kush. Easy, dude. That Easy. Lebanon OG <laughs> Lebanon Kush, dude. Hey, no catching Z's when you're on patrol, bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a weird one. Okay, come on, let's go. When you lose perspective, All right, pay out. Uh, can I owe you? In your dream, you lose the game. Go. This one's a little quiet. Come on, let's go. And a whole lot more. Sarah, you are out of here. Come on. All right, Sarah. Karen. The same with gambling. <gasps> if gambling it's gambling and Gamba! The game. Yo, you Justin, can we? You know. Yo, Justin, well, I I, I got know. some of these lurker points. Can we do a quick? Can we do a quick, quick little, little quick little gamba? Goro gambas. Can Just to kind of educate people about gamba. If you've lost loved ones or someone you know to Goro gambas, please call the number at the bottom of the screen. Pops, no gambas. Come on, Purilla's Purilla's gonna pay people. out right now. Pops, Purilla, baby. If I have to tie you to the table. Use your Twitch Prime to save a life today. Justin, take his wallet away. He's Gora. gonna go bet on Come Gora. on, Gorilla and uh, Achilles together. They're the combo we need. Oh my God, oh, chat. Justin. Chat, if we find out there's some kind of secret Discord channel, you guys are using real money on these bets. Oh, oh my God. We're gonna crack down on you. You just told them to do that now. They're totally gonna do it. Hey, if I didn't know about that and I wasn't involved with it, I'd be, man, I'd be so upset with you all. It's not. It's if an unregulated system. If Justin, I wasn't, you're starting to sound like Pete Rose right now. If I wasn't running an underground Goro bets for cat, real cash money kind of thing, you know, I would be on that. Your phone, oh, it's my phone. Your, your, your phone's phone. going off. Hold your on. phone's ringing there. It's my dad. He's telling me to stop doing bad stuff. <laughs> Your daily, sure, your daily reminder. Your dad's calling you to make sure you're, <laughs> you're doing a good job today in this 420. Oh, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. This is the one. This is that one. Uh, what's bad about it, Pops? This is the one with the, the kid with the gun. Oh. I mean, it's fine to show. It doesn't but, show anything, right? No, it's, it's, no but it's, it, it's the one. Hey, if your parents get divorced, who gets the fish? The Big Mouth Billy <laughs> Bass. Big Mouth Billy Bass. I remember these ones. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> your sister's hot. That's not cool. Whatever, man. That's not cool, man. Yeah, what is the, the what is the thing about uh, telling your friend that their siblings are attractive? What that's, was that? That's not cool, man. That's what are they, what cool. are they supposed to agree with you? Yeah, why do you say that to your friend? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you want your friend to say? <laughs> Hook him up? Question mark. That's a weird way of getting at it. See, like Jolly asked me, yo, Justin, your brother's hot. Go for it, man. <laughs> Go for it. Take him off my hands. But why are you telling me? I, I, oh, you want me? I guess, yeah, you want me to say something for you. Oh, he's a tree single and he's Listen, ready to mingle. Jolly Austin's a connoisseur of cartoons, retro cartoons. Yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. I yeah. think he'd get along with him. He'd get you hang out. See, it'd be the simple thing. Did as he that. mention anything about, you know? But when it's a sister, they always oh, it's not cool, man. Dude, don't oh, be talking cool. about my sister. Don't like be that. talking about my sister. My sister! Yeah. Hey, man. Check this out. Cool. Is it loaded? Cool. Nah. nah. Marijuana can distort reality as you know it. I think that's a more of a PSA about leaving just uh, guns. loaded guns hanging Gun around the place. Gun safety. Uh, yeah, whoever... Their office, they just keep a loaded gun right in that first drawer where they do their paperwork. Yeah, they keep a loaded Beretta as a paperweight. I don't know if guns are good paperweights, Chad. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Ew. What am I looking at? A bunch of garbage. Oh, a roach. 
Oh, it's a roach, cigarette roach. Whoa. Now let me get this straight. You want to put this in your mouth? Ew. Oh my God. You're smoking on that? This one had music, but I'll just play our own music. Uh, this one got the copyright. Yeah, this had Coldplay playing yeah. on it. A kissing booth? Wow, how 2000s of us. <laughs> Go ahead, Lou, anything you want, man. Oh, that looks good. Um, no, no, like no. Hoppy beers. From, it was leftovers from our trip to Arrowhead. I like it because it's got graffiti. Dude, chat. You see, go. You're at the fair, man. You see homeboy here just waving at you at a kissing booth, you know? Okay. What do you do? How much, actually? It's it's for a local uh, no-kill shelter uh, support. Guys, don't drink alcohol. Dude, oh. she's coming up and she's going to pay five she's gonna bucks. She's going to give you five bucks. I'll give you, she's going to give you a Twitch Prime to kiss. Oh, oh man. Whoa, it worked. Oh, my God. What? Ooh. Ew. <laughs> oh, I know what that's like. Sorry, I'm sorry, I smoked earlier. Sorry, I ate a bunch of cigarettes before. What? Oh. oh. She dropped a load in his <laughs> mouth. Why'd you deposit it in my mouth? Dude, if you for real were like, I'm gonna set up a kissing booth at this fucking fair, summer fair, and I'm just gonna, whoever the fuck comes. Anyone. <laughs> Bro, that's how you get herpes. That's how you get COVID. You this is how you get COVID. This You'd is how be COVID so started. Fucked. There'd be so much weird shit in your mouth by the end of the night. <laughs> and you'd be like, I made a hundred dollars. I awesome. kissed like seven ugly dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking ain't hip, in fact it's a drag yeah. Sucking it in's just not my bag Smoking clothes I can do without Whatever you're into, smoking's out Living yeah. my bag, yeah. living like a fool yeah. Everybody yeah. knows that smoking ain't cool No, 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 no. Look around, there's Smoke no doubt up. Whatever you're into, smoking's out. It's out. Listen, guys, smoking isn't cool except when Solid Snake does it. Then it's pretty fucking cool. Even then, like, in the game, they're like... <laughs> yeah, uh, they try to tell you it's not cool, but come on. It no, is. they hit you over the head with it. Be like, uh, you <laughs> snuck these cigarettes in, and he's like, bad for you, Snake. He's, he's like, I know. I'm he sorry, swallowed them. He swallowed them and kept them in his stomach. Shit them out. Smoked Bro. them anyways. This next one had music, but it's got a duck, so we gotta watch it. Oh, and a deer. Aww. Well, when I see animals do it, it's it makes me, wanna, makes me want to do it even more. Aww. That makes me sick. This Little is fucked up. Is this real? What? No, are these are actually, actually putting smoking. cigarettes in yeah, there. Yeah, they actually told that chimp get fucking actually, high. Actually, they might dude. actually be smoking. This is fucked up, man. That is what are they doing see. in Minnesota? That is really weird to see, dude. Um. I'm scared what that guy's what is what workout is that? Um, stare at a tree. What's that buff dude doing behind that bush? He's he trying to peep on him. Oh god, it's one of those buff guys that <laughs> thinks he could just stand behind a little thing and think I can't see him. But I think he's staring right at me as oh, I'm doing my buff little... guys and their dumb brains. God, he doesn't know he's huge. He really thinks I don't see him. Beware of all doping morons. Doping? Yeah, that's people who do steroids. What? He really thinks he can't see him. Anti-doping Denmark. What? Denmark. They're testing what? in fitness. Hold on. So they go to a fitness center they're like, hey, you, we're going to test you for dope right now. Uh. What the fuck? Yo, Denmark doesn't... They have different problems. They're, they're just they're just too buff. And also, then, is 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 steroids illegal? Uh, steroids. I don't know if steroids are legal. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about the rule. We never seen like an anti-steroids commercial. I mean, is this a big problem? I have, I think. Anti, I'm not 100 like, percent sure on steroids. That, I don't know. I've seen the movie with Ben Affleck. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, there you go. We've seen that, but I haven't seen like a bunch of commercials for it. it. Never seemed like it was a giant problem that they had to broadcast. Don't do steroids. And also, is it, it? If I feel like 
doing steroids is an individual's problem. Like, it doesn't affect this guy. Unless he gets that rage. Oh, is that what they're trying to prevent? Ben Affleck, remember? What he or remember did? that guy on Dub It Out who dropped that dumbbell on the guy's head? Well, that was like a, a sociopath. He might have been on roids, dude. Been you know? roids. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty long stretch. Mom? Dad? I snuck out. You caught me. Invaded my privacy. I hated God, it. I hated parents. it. I thought you were the worst parents in the world. I thought you were my friend. Parents oh. never want to have fun. Thanks. Thanks for looking out for me. Gotta look after your kids, yeah. <laughs> Talk to your kids. <laughs> Dude, this is badass. Oh, this is just like the commercial you used to you were on, Louie. Yeah, I wish my commercial was this fucking cool. You went by on a skateboard? Yeah, and I didn't know how to skateboard. I had to learn that day. Don't yeah. I think a lot of kids smoke pot. I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't. Why do I have to be so different? Dude, this different. music is banging. It's like Enya or some shit. If you think most kids get high, you're wrong. Yeah, not many kids get high. Kids? Yeah, I think it's the minority, if I had to Maybe take a guess. I'd think. say more young adults get high, right? I think you kind of, like, start experimenting post-high school. I mean, there's uh, exceptions to the rules, of course, but... Big <laughs> this guy's... Dude, that, I love that music, huh? It just says it all. Hey, is someone trying to send Fucking you a message? Fucking whose kids is I'm trying to watch Batman? Got him. Jeez, I, think I paid good money for this seat. Hey, this is smoking theater. Hey, is someone trying to send you a message to quit smoking? Ah, fucking kid followed you know, me to the sandwich shop. You know, there is an easier way. His own car? Jesus, the guy can't smoke oh, in his own car. He can't smoke car. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is... Oh, that's a American cigar. That's not even... He's just enjoying the taste of it. All right, in the privacy of my own backyard. Cancer Society's Smokers Quit Line. So call 1-800-879-8678. Oh, no, this 879 fucking guy, dude. 678. Oh, I thought they were going to blast his ass. <laughs> that been awesome. <laughs> right in his face. Great end, like, ah! just get fucking slam through the bench, the bench break. Ah! All right, hold it nice and firm, little Billy. It's going to really kick back. I like that he's like, oh, you guys are going to try to make a statement on me? I'm going to make a statement on you. I'm going to smoke through the water. And he just kind of <laughs> sits there. He's like, I'm going to just, I'm going to puff harder while you fucking seven, blow nine, me. Go Broncos. Eight, six, Go ahead. Seven, <laughs> Go ahead. Do your worst. Just smoking through I'm it. John seven, nine, I'm smoking eight, cigarettes. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> Dodging the fucking water with it. Just getting super seven, high. Nine, eight, six, Fuck seven, you. Eight. How's the Call beer? It's now. really good, actually. Really good beer. Call now, and we'll all breathe a little easier. Oh, he's real chomping. Oh, he's going to eat it. I'm, I'm not, I can't smoke them. Might as well just eat them. Easier. <laughs> Fuck. The human lung. Ew, I don't want to oh, see inside of a lung. This is grossing me the fuck out. You guys want to see inside of a lung? What see? is that? Chocolate milkshake? The human lung is like a sponge. A sponge designed to soak up air. Air. But some people use it to soak up smoke. If the average smoker could collect and wring out what goes into his lungs Ooh. over a year. Maybe it's, this much. Maybe, it's oh, chocolate milkshake. Milkshake. maybe it's chocolate milkshakes. <laughs> Please tell that fucking guy from the last one coming. <laughs> Come on down to Jack in the Box and get yourself <laughs> a chocolate milkshake. It's a, it's a Wendy's Frosty. Oh. <laughs> Dip your fries in it. Just drink it. I can eat this much. Ugh. Cancer producing tar. It's enough to make you sick. Oof. <laughs> Very sick. It's an Australian ad. Turn your lungs into a crapper. Best in the business. Oh, this is awesome. Fitness. All right, Express. now, does anyone have any questions? Arnie. Yes. It's fucking Arnold. I love the this biceps. Guy. Who has the question? Does anyone have any questions? Yes. When you were our age, did you exercise a lot? Absolutely. I <laughs> yes. Oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm a perfect human being. I was bent pressing 300 pounds in the fourth grade. It was huge. You should have seen me. No excuses. Ab absolutely. I exercised every day. You see, my parents believed in daily vigorous exercising, and the schools believed in daily vigorous exercising and physical education, quality physical education. So we exercised every day, my father and, and us, 
who always plays the soccer. Fire and brother, and his father uh, before uh, him. La, 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 la. Squats, deadlift. Uh, sumo squatting and deadlift. Who, and, uh, who always plays soccer every day. We would go on bicycle rides, we would go hiking, we go running, we go swimming. We did a lot we of things hormones. every single day. And in school, of course, we had the kind of exercises that I've showed you today, where we trained the whole body. I think it's very important for kids to exercise because that's what you ever like watch cartoons or do you play video games or no never a waste of time no it's a couch potato it's too many calories uh. because that's where you learn about the rest of your life what you should do the rest of your life what you learn now you will stay with lost all the kids are like thinking about video games and cartoons <gasps> they now. have roblox right yeah, it's much cooler in terminator 2 whoa blocks whoa blocks you will stay with that the rest of your life okay so we will all like exercise about every day the rest of my life <laughs> Don't you want to plan for the rest of your life? Uh, Investing in your future? Um, I kind of want to play Minecraft. Make choices today that will make you better tomorrow. This is the foundation of your future. I want chocolate! Yeah! Candy! All right, so I think that we have uh, a lot of winners here. Any other questions? Yes. Do real exercise and give me big muscles like you? Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, oh, you. For you, your build. Looking at your frame. It's going to take more than just exercise for you. You're small the frame. smallest of the bunch. Looking at your father behind the camera. I can tell it's a small frame in the family. It's kind of yikes. Tough. They're it's gonna, gonna need my work. protein powder. It's gonna be a lot of work for you. Not you so easy. My... For me, it was easy. It's in my blood. Huge. You should have seen me in high school, it's huge. I was six foot four in third grade. You might work out a lot and just get thin and lose weight. You got to build muscle, you got to eat a lot. Scrawny. Uh, sure it can, but I think that you have to understand that at your age, that's not the most important thing right now. What is important is that you do vigorous exercising every day. He's like, ah, oh, shit, I'm out then. I don't want... I, just I want wanna, muscles. I want to look like Superman. I, I want to wanna... look like uh, the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me uh, no, essentially no. no. <laughs> it's good for your joints. No, not yeah. really. He dodged that question like a bullet, dude. He was just like, uh, nope. No. <laughs> so you get fit. So you can do other sports. And then later on in life, then it is maybe important for you to get muscles. Wait, and so be uh, are, are you not allowed to, as a kid, you're not supposed to be doing like, um. Deadlift. Like, uh. It can actually stunt body your building? growth fuck of you your up. bones and really? stuff. Yeah. I didn't know that. They just got to work on not being fat till they get that puberty. Oh, you got to wait for the test to kick in? Yeah, he's got to not just Taco Bell, Pizza I mean, Hut, can, video games. You Taco can Bell. lift, but it can't be like you're going for your high record. Like, you can't be lifting like 150 pounds. You got to be doing like, you know, like some light workout stuff. Yeah, they just got to run around, which kids do, right? Because I'm sure there was, like, kids in, like, Pop Warner football that were squatting and stuff. I mean, not crazy, but, yeah. I mean, if they wanted to, you know, get that. That's how Next you level. fuck your yeah. back up, dude. That's how you get that scoliosis and shit. about to get the scoliosis. But then, Ar you, I guarantee you Arnold was lifting heavy as a kid. Oh, yeah. He 100%. was. 100%. Picking up trees and shit, dude. He's like fucking sixth grade working out. You already yeah. know. I mean, he's a, contest. he's a freak of nature and a like, six-time Mr. Olympian. But. You already know I was juicing. I and was, he was on roids. I was drinking a different kind of juice, not Kool-Aid or Capri Sun. Kinda who. But Arnold, I want to be a fucking, I want to be fucking shredded. Uh, slow down now. No, no, no. So then it, it trained Listen, I'll give you my friend stuff. Ricardo's number. I'll come to your house, give you some shots in your butt. So, but <laughs> right now strong. it's fitness activities. And let's not forget that exercising is not just this important for me. the body and for your health, but it is also very important for what else it gives you. It gives you a lot of discipline. It gives you self-esteem. You learn about camaraderie by exercising Discipline, together. Discipline, self-esteem, as an eight-year-old just goes, Whoop. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, look at this kid. He's thinking about <laughs> fucking anything Pokemon else cards. but being here, dude. Yeah, he's looking off to the side. Look he's at thinking it. He's thinking of his, his, his own Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Designing his own in his yeah. head. His OCs. <laughs> It helps you to like yourself, like your body, and therefore stay away from drugs and from alcohol and from smoking and those things, okay? So those are the important things. So exercising is not just for the body. It is also for our mind and for our health and so on. All right, any other questions? Yes. Yes. What would you do if your, if your school didn't have any people? If my children were the school has no PE. Oh, oh my God! Wow. This is oh, terrible. Is it, what, what what country is this? 
Where are you from, little girl? <laughs> If my children wouldn't have any physical education when they go to school, I would be very mad. They would see a Terminator coming. I will terminate. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it out of the school, girl. My I'm gonna find the, the president, the principal of the school, and I will terminate her. Terminate them all. Superintendent John Connors, you have a lot to explain to do. It's terminate. not a tumor. I will terminate the whole school district curriculum. <laughs> Where's your district curriculum at? I will beep on them and I will clash them. Wait till you reach puberty, boys. Then you can be Superman. How's that how it works? Happy 420. Thanks, Genie. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, you'll be Superman in your pants. They will see a Terminator coming into the school, let me tell you that. Because I, if I have my kids in school... They I brought them all back. They're like, I saw Terminator. It's dope. I wasn't oh, supposed to. Yeah, I, I saw a Terminator. Cool. Shot that I would dude's instead. face off. Dude, that kid is, is in love. Go back. <laughs> Look at the blonde. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be Arnold, man. Can you be my PE teacher, <laughs> Mr. Arnold? <laughs> hey, the guy looked on the other side. <laughs> Spot you one of these days. <laughs> because that's the most important thing is that the parents check that out and make sure that all the schools have physical education every day or at least three times a week. But I believe in every day, okay? And what is important for your kids is that if you don't get it in school, then you have to do it at home. Okay, instead of just... All these kids are Terminator. Now they have all different kinds of questions. Uh, was it... Were you really made of metal? <laughs> <laughs> Can you cut open your arm and show me your metal exoskeleton? Yeah, they want to see if he, like, feels like metal. Like, could you touch his arm? It's just like... Kung, kung, kung. Does okay, it hurt when of... you get shot? <laughs> Gay for Gamer Girl, happy 420 dudes. Be sure to drink water, oh, stretch. Okay, instead happy of just sitting there in front of the TV set and just stuff your face with junk food, what you can do is, is maybe exercise while you're watching TV or go outside and. Spot oh. coming in, Spot. What up, Spot? Yo! Appreciate no. you getting that hoodie, dude. It's going to be real Drip comfy. Drip alert! That one's one of my favorites, too. I got to get that one. I've only got the it's, shirt. It's so comfy. I like that color. Outside and ride bicycles, like I was saying, that uh, the things that I was doing as a kid. Ride bicycles. Go out there I running. Get bicycle. together in a community. Get together the kids and then go and play basketball. We'll go to the play... principal and see the lamentation of the children destroy the neuron bed CPU <laughs> processor on the kindergarten computer. Very different things. Just to stay in so shape and just to have a good time at the same time, yeah. all right? So why don't we just uh, uh, say, hasta la vista to fatty bodies. <laughs> Well, see you later, guys. Uh, Bye, fatties. Vista. I gotta go. All right, let's get all of the fatties out of here. All right. right. Are all of the fatties out yeah. of the classroom? Yeah. All right. <laughs> now I'll tell you all the secrets about working on the Terminator. Uh, now that we cut the fat. <laughs> no fatties. Fatty bodies. Fatty bodies? That's, that's fat shaming, right? For Yeah, fat shaming children, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. <laughs> Hasta la vista to fatty bodies. And then if you're doing well with the exercise program, I'll be back. All right? Oh, he said if you're fat, I'm going to leave your school. But once your kids start working out, I'll come back. I'll be back. <laughs> That's a lot for a kid to understand. You're leaving? Yes, there's some fatties here. I can't be associated Ooh, with gross. the fat children. I've got to leave. And then I'll come back. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back. We love you, Arnold. Yay! Said it. He said it. Yay! All right. Very yeah. good. Uh, don't let Arnold did see well. you, though. Oh, he's going to leave? Are you going to save it to exercise program? Yeah! Yeah! Then can go. Damn that one. Yeah. He's like, I want Arnold to hear me. Oh, let's go. Oh, good little Jimmy. 
That room's to him. Oh, Deborah, I'm shaking your brazier. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I love grabbing the straps and your brassiere from the front and just jiggling the milk. You're really breaking in this windbreaker. <laughs> Reminds me of the meme that guy like doesn't know he's being filmed. He starts like bongo slapping that lady's boobs yeah, yeah, at like yeah. the youth gathering or whatever. I do that to my girlfriend all the time. This is a silent film? What the fuck is going on? Oh, the shit you'd do if you had the house to yourself as a kid. <laughs> I'm gonna watch scrambled porn. <laughs> this kid's got fucking moves, dude. I'm gonna watch all of my Fortnite. Whoa! Dude. The he hit that dude. Hit the split. <laughs> Oof, man, and he. Oh, oh he popped on. Wow, oh, oh, dude, it pressure balls. The pressure. Oh, you can oh. see it knocks the wind out of him. Like he went. Oh. And they just like couldn't breathe on it. Oh, bye. oh man, yikes, Stop dude. It, dude. <laughs> Oh, this, is yeah. you, this is how you make a commercial. <laughs> yep, yeah, just keep going, dude. What is this about? He did it again. Oh, they pulled it back. I think they're basically saying you can have just as much fun at home cleaning and dancing as you could uh, being high. What? They didn't say anything about that. Participation. Make your move. Oh, move. Get active. Okay, now it it's makes supposed sense. to be active youths. Yeah. Participate in movement. Brady says, Pops, you're my style icon, my dude. Oh. Loud. Proud. Thanks, brother. Loud here. Proud in the back. Hell yeah. Proud there. <laughs> Loud and proud. That collar, though, it's a little that too high. That collar's blocking your. I know. Freedom. It's either I lose the jacket. Lose the jacket real quick. Show off your hair. Show off your hair. Lose the jacket just for the sake of, you know. Oh, fuck yeah. Lean your head forward a little bit. Make your move. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Nice. Let it out. Let it breathe a little bit. All right, jacket back on. We got to have that. That's that's. It keeps prime. the mullet pristine. <laughs> oh, pissing in public. Dude, chat. Warning. Don't pee in public. You'll end up on fucking Megan's Law, okay? Who's don't Megan? do it. What is that? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. But you'll be on a sex predator list. Let's put it that way. Don't get caught pissing Not in public. Not worth it. Just fucking go pee in a bush or something. He's got so much alcohol in his piss. Oh. His balls explode. <laughs> Careful with alcohol. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, so is, your al is your pee, like, flammable? I could, like, piss on someone, throw a match on them after drinking. They would fucking light up. <laughs> I like to see the guy that thinks he could do that. He's, like, peeing with a lighter. He's like, oh, my oh, God, dude. dude. It's a flip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'll make a trail. I'll be like, Looney Tunes will blow this guy's fucking car up. That's Watch all great <laughs> until the fire shoots back up your dick hole. Oh, oh. I didn't think about that. Oh, I should have stopped peeing. <laughs> And a lighter. Remember, keep your eyes open and I see matches Who is and a lighter. Whoa, this guy's like Captain America, but a firefighter. Be cool about eyes fire safety. Eyes open, and if you see these, tell a grown up right away. But never touch them, and you'll be a real superhero. Like a deputy fire marshal? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I, I guess. guess so. Exactly. Fine. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, the kid little did a pog. That kid is a good actor. 
<laughs> For how old he is? Poggles. I believe him. Poggles. <laughs> As a good Judge kid acting. Damn, that was a good one, dude. I like that Be song. Cool about Be fire cool, safety. Cool, 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 cool about fire safety. Sir. Safety. My mother told me that if I tried hard enough, I could be anything I wanted to be. That's true, chat. She wanted me to be a doctor. Or maybe a lawyer. A lawyer? Oh, no. But I grew up in a neighborhood where good people oh, got hurt no. for no reason. And I knew what I wanted to do. I wish you'd become a doctor. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> wish you were a doctor. <laughs> Oh, I wish you were a lawyer right about now. I wish you were a proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I wish you were a doctor. You should have been a doctor. Anything. I'll break your fucking arm. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Brought to you by your friends of the family. Wait, what? Really? Presbyterian Church USA. Of the family. Wow. If you're embarrassed to say no to drinking, why not develop the buddy system? It's easier to say no to alcohol when you're part of a group where no one drinks. Be smart. Don't start. Just say I have to drive or, you know. Just say I don't want to drink. I don't feel like it. My mom's going to smell my breath when I get home. I don't Boom. feel like you're it. You're out of it, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, I get. well, I mean, peer pressure is a thing, right, though? Come on, man. I'm about to go out of town for two months. Dude, it's, Chan man, it's Chandler's drink. birthday, dude. Dude, don't ruin his birthday because you're not trying to have a Dude, good why time. Dude, you, why'd you invite this guy if he's not going to party? Listen, Dark. man, don't drink. It's bad for you. Be smart. Don't start. Uh, um, uh, boo, boo, boo. Especially don't drink anything this man hands to you. Be I'll smart. You. <laughs> don't Jesus drink or Christ. eat. Or eat. Brain. Or stand around for too long. Don't have yeah. any of his pudding boo. pops. Boo. Pudding. Brain. Can we get more booze Brain. in the chat for this Brain. man? Boo. Brain. Brain, brain, I'd like to speak to you. Yes, you, brain. You Dude. see, brain, you're just like the body. You need exercise so you don't get weak and flabby and slow. See, the games you need to play are thinking, reading, studying, and questioning. The more you train, brain, the better you'll feel about yourself. You'll be able to talk about things. You'll be able to see things, recognize them. You'll know everything. People will ask you questions. You'll have an answer. And you they cut him off. <laughs> he gets rambling People on. People got real, 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 real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope. What was that quick clip of him just in a red shirt, just chilling? Uh, this is DMC. It was that a part of. A, it was oh, a part. Oh, you had to clip it. Okay. It was a part got of you, another got you, one. Chewing on some big league chew. Dude, that ear, that earring placement is so bad. Yeah. You're it, supposed to pierce the center of your ear. Not oh, it's the like very, on the very tip. Yeah, it's the very <laughs> tip. I just tip. noticed that. It's right up on the like, what right up to your cheek. Fuck. Do you think it's a fake earring though, like a like a clip-on type of a thing? I for hope this, so for because this that bit? looks fucking terrible. If you use drugs, do you know what you have in your head? Oh yeah, it's fake. I think so. Oh, it's a flusher. Use head. Don't use drugs. Come, Come to Brazil! <laughs> Come to Brazil. <laughs> Where your head is a toilet. <laughs> oh, shit! Free. That was my song about not smoking cigarettes. Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I was sick. That Canada, was sick. See, I told you, Canada has bangers. Canada got the goods, man. Smoking was must have been big. I think they had so. They had all the best campaigns to not smoke. There was this guy who I thought was terrific. I mean, what's up with Brooke short? Shields? And I really liked that in a person. Anyway, one night I saw him at a party, and I got up the nerve to say hello. Oh, and then he took out a cigarette. Penny shoes. Yo, Penny, thank you for the five I mean, gifty. Thank you so much. But I thought he had it together. Smoking 
It's a dead giveaway. Oh, you blew your shot. The smoke are real losers. Oh, they're basically saying you could have had Brooke Shields, but she oh. could smell that cig on you, dude. You blew it. You blew it. it, dude. She wanted to talk to you, and you're smoking cigarettes. When you see a guy smoking a cigarette at a party, that's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Are real losers. Yeah, smoking really does limit your uh, dating potential, doesn't it? It really it locks really you does. in. I wonder if they have like dating apps specifically for just there has to match to me with cigarette smoking. Right. When I went back into the dating scene recently, I was like, yo, I am not dating anybody that smokes because I dated somebody who smokes and it sucked. Stinky? Yeah. yeah. Really gross. And you're not going to change them. It's a strong smell. You're you not going to change them. Stop. No, it's not going to stop. So no. just, no. Mm -hmm. no. No, thanks. No. Smoking. It's a dead giveaway. Papa Bailey, they give it I gifty. think people who smoke are real losers. But a big homie's Pillsbury. The box. I got a piss, Pops. You mind sure. man in this? Uh, yeah, Pops. Man, any, I cannot handle I that I tried to make them uh, not too bad here, but you can still DJ okay. real quick. I got a piss so bad. Piss. I'll be right back. I press this. Will it work? Sure, yeah. Best of the and box. just click around the timeline if you want to move around. Well, howdy, Whoa. Hi. It's like the oh, Chevron commercial. Shit. Belts today. Sure did. And he always turns my lights on in the daytime. Oh. Hey. Hey. better. Much better. Charlie. Chuck, I say, my chauffeur's insisting everyone buckle up. So law now, Chuck, everyone in Alberta has to. Really? Everyone? If your car could talk, it'd tell you to buckle up. Listen, oh, can everyone see turning your lights on during the daytime, that's just a waste of gas. Your lights? Yeah. Well, Louis, there's certain roads where you, you should have your your lights on to see the other person okay. it, yeah, 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 driving. Yeah. If you're like in a non-lit up road, like in the fucking country or some shit. Also, I, I think, uh, yeah, when you say- Shut up, Pops. It's gas. I didn't want to- I, uh, Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Everyone. <laughs> I don't so, smoke. Louis, when you make broad club proclamations about like Okay, uh, I realized how dumb it was right after I said it, okay? <laughs> you have to rub it in. <laughs> Look at this guy's sick jacket. Isn't it cool? You should wait till you hear what he has to say. Uh, where are we? Smoke. My wife don't smoke. I have three children. They don't smoke. I had a dog. He smoked. He's dead. You had a dog who smoked? Why'd you let your dog smoke? Yeah, what the fuck? Why were you buying your dog cigarettes? It's not like you can go down to the store. And hey, he loved them. What? Hey, I don't tell uh, canines or uh, felines how they live their lives. It's their, <laughs> their priorities. What kind of dog smokes cigarettes? Rest in peace. Poor little bastard. You didn't know what I was doing to him. <laughs> if I still had my dog. Oh, I wish I told not to smoke. I feel like that you would have to be giving your dog cigarettes for it to be able to smoke. You never seen a smoking dog? No. Well, that's. I've that's been to the dog walk. park. I've seen all kinds of dogs. I never seen one be like, "Hold on, guys, I'm gonna go take a break real quick." But, but, Louis, Louis, if you did see a, a random dog on the street, a stray dog smoking a cigarette, are you gonna kick the cigarette out of its mouth? No, I'm gonna fucking drive away fast and think I need to go to sleep because I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> It's probably, you're probably high. <laughs> oh, this one's great. I'm Bum Phillips. Is that pedal My bear? friend's Earl Campbell. <laughs> Watch out, children. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Imagine hanging out with these guys. <laughs> when paramedic Ready Teddy wants you to know it's cool to wear a helmet when you're on your bike, your skateboard, or skates. Head injuries can take you right out of the game of life. Nice helmet. Thank you. Proper head protection is me. When paramedic Ready Teddy wants you to know it's cool to wear a helmet when you're on your bike, your skateboard, or skates. Head injuries can take you right out of the game of life. She's nice wearing helmet. a fucking baseball helmet to go, like, ride <laughs> skateboards and shit. Or riding a, a softball case. Like, it's all funny until somebody cracks their jaw on the floor. She's like, see, that's why I got this. This... Bear is frightening. He looks like Pedo Bear. And he's wearing a human shirt, so it's <laughs> off-putting. <laughs> nice helmet. Paramedic Freddy Proper Bear. Paramedic Freddy Teddy. Paramedic Freddy Teddy. Paramedic Freddy Teddy. Paramedic Freddy Teddy. All right. Time for timeouts, right, Coach? Yeah, well, you never know when you're going to go down. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's reliving past trauma. Oh! 
Oh. Oh. Use your head. Wear a helmet when you bike or skate. Use your head, brother. <laughs> Ain't killed. <laughs> oh. Oh my oh, God. Fuck. Whoa, Pac-Man! You know, Pac-Man's a reference for doing drugs, right? That's what they say. Couldn't they at least get Pac-Man to go the right direction? Was it really that much work to rotate the image? No, it's just a single uh, clip art. Ran out! Aw, you lose. <sighs> Ecstasy. What the fuck is going on in this advertisement? Is that is that Magnum PI? Um. Well, number one, I like it. And two. And number two, if your forehead tasted salty, you'd have to see a doctor. Because that salty taste might mean that you have cystic fibrosis. He's not going to taste his forehead, her forehead, is he? Cystic fibrosis is a disease that children are born with. They cough, they can't gain weight, even worse. Did I taste salty? No way. Make sure. If your child tastes salty, see a doctor. Um. What? Doesn't all sweat taste salty? Like, if I lick my hand right now, that's a little bit salty, yeah, right? Do you want me to kiss your head? Pops, come here. Lick my forehead. Do I taste salty? <laughs> I think you're good. Uh, um, Justin's here. Hey, Justin, uh, what's up? Hey, what's up, dude? Nothing we don't, we don't have cystic fibrosis. To watch television, the sports, news, movies, all day, every day. He can't get enough. That's why Fred got cable TV. He and a friend hooked it up. Fred didn't care that stealing cable TV was a crime until the day he was caught. Wait, who now gets Fred caught for stealing cable? World to watch Fucking Besides degenerate. The cable man. <laughs> you know what? If you're... If, listen here. If you're watching television illegal cable television, cable television you should go to jail for five years. Look here, Fred. <laughs> Jesus Fred. Christ. Hey, Justin, does your forehead taste salty? Come here. Mm. <laughs> if I didn't stop, you would have done it. I totally would have. <laughs> it's it's a, well, well, it is a jerk, man. For a minute, I thought it was funny. I was like, "Wait, it's Louis. I have to actually jerk my head back because he's about to do that." Oh, I'll go through with the you joke. should. You should go back to the previous one. <laughs> this one here, uh, the no, one before back. it, that one, that Let's one. Go back a little what? bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. <laughs> Keep what did you do that for? Well, number one, I like it. Oh, what? I missed that it's part the first daughter. time. It's his daughter. It's his daughter. Is it his real life daughter? It's his real <laughs> daughter. Are we sure? And two. And number two, if your forehead tasted salty, you'd have to see a doctor. Because that salty taste might mean that you have cystic fibrosis. Huh? This could save people's lives, there Justin. <laughs> What a weird way to check. We're just Pops <laughs> checked me. Justin, Pops, check your brother. Check your brother, Pops. It's not um, as weird. So the doctor could just be like, well, you have fatigue and stuff. Well, there's only one last step to see what. <laughs> I know it seems unorthodox, but you use a stethoscope? No, 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 no. What's cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis is a disease that children are born with. They cough, they can't gain weight, even worse. Oh, and it's children only. So you gotta lick a kid. Yeah, you have to go around and kiss. It should be like one of those things Stop. where they have it's pops. It should, you know what they should do? They should make it like that fucking shit where they have that lady come to your school, check out all the kids for uh, scoliosis in middle school. She gives them a little kiss. They should have like they should have, <laughs> they should have like some fucking guy. make a line. He's just one after the other. And Glad. clean. Glad. Uh, thus. Glad. Thus. Thus, this <laughs> salty. <laughs> this public service announcement was made by the <laughs> Nambla Association. Yep. Salty. Yep. No. Let, let part the hair. Good. <coughs> Too much hair gel. Uh, not salty, but weird. Did I taste salty? No way. Make sure. Look here, if your child tastes salty, see a doctor. If your child tastes salty, see a doctor? What? Who's eating their kids? <laughs> if your kid tastes salty. When I saw this for the first time, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Oh, my God. It's uh, Todd Howard. 
<laughs> the toddler. Television. The sports news. You might be wondering, where's the new Skyrim? Well, Todd's watching TV right now, so he doesn't have much time to work on. It. He's counting his Xbox money. Where the fuck is it? Oh, now he's locked up because he stole cable. Your friend's gonna join you. Made by ESPN. Did you see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There. All packed. Now hop into bed. And where are we going tomorrow? Disneyland. Right. Disneyland. Oh, how are you going to sleep when you know Good you're going luck. to Disneyland? Yep. Oh, no. And then she's smoking in the room. And then she checks her forehead for salt. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Salty. Oh, I'm so tired smoking this cigarette. No. The roach. Ticking time bomb. Last year in Calgary, nine out of ten fire deaths. Can't wait to go to Disneyland tomorrow with my family, with my wa wa. A message wife. from the city of Calgary Fire Department. Why? Here, have a drink. Yeah, come on. Hey, buddy. Hey, have a beer. Some people think drinking is really the thing to do. <laughs> this looks awesome. Because Not this. This is now, bad. You're headed yeah, for big danger. What if they're in Vegas? Wait, are you not well, allowed to drink taxi, and drive? If that's a taxi driver, then you're okay. No, right? there's a guy here driving. Wait, 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 wait. She and, can't turn like that and drive. You can't. Ha you can't be drinking open container uh, container in uh, Vegas, can you? Yeah, I think you no. can drink in a taxi. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Is it that. taxi only? Boy, every taxi I've been in, everybody's drinking out of red cups. You vodka. can. You went your Whoa. whole life never drinking like a red cup in a taxi in Vegas? No, I uh, assumed uh, it was illegal. <laughs> More concerning, checkpoint in public. South, I understand no seatbelt. <laughs> well, but yeah, this was the seventies. No, 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 but yeah, the Vegas thing. Yeah, like I've been like we I fill up a huge that. red cup of just vodka, whatever, and just hop in a taxi and go around. You can't drive though. No, 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 no. no. But you can no. have people drinking in your car. You. Right? If we I'm in Vegas, driving people, in Vegas... You super can. Yeah, yeah. And my passenger can drink a cocktail. Yeah. Well, and I'm driving, I'm not touching you. Can't well, you can't drink. Probably, you if can. you have like a .01, they'll probably be like, you were drinking and driving, right? .01? That's a lot. Well, .01? I'm pretty sure... .08 is the so legal limit. Is .08 the, it, in California. If the driver right. is not drinking at all... Then everybody else can drink and have open containers in Vegas on the Strip. I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that because you're just taking drunk people around. But I, I would imagine. Well, I yeah, yes, I get that right. But I didn't know about having an a, a drink inside of it. Is it no open an open container nowadays? It says there is no open container law, so that means there's no law, right? Drivers and passengers alone. cannot have open containers of alcohol in their vehicles unless they're a limousine or a vehicle used for primarily for transportation. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's different. Yeah, that's what so I'm, I'm always in, I've always been in a taxi, never yeah. like our homie's car in Vegas. I don't think but. you could do it in an Uber either, right? Mm, that might be risky. That is probably a gray area, and I'm Uber sure Uber might be in that rule, but you'd have to look it up. And I'm sure it's it's like a private thing. It's up to the driver who's going to assume all the responsibilities yeah. of having drunk people in yeah. their private car. But the taxi guys have never ever in Vegas said a problem. I because I can see it can be a constant uh, being like, "Hey, you can't have your drink in here," type of thing. Like, oh, you fucking motherfucker! Fuck you! Yeah, but yeah. if it's an official driver, then it's like, yeah, but they're so used to it in Vegas. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. Open container on the streets too. Yeah. Yes, I knew that. Oh. I knew that. Thing to do. It's not because if that's where I was. I remember the first time I went to Vegas. I was like, man, if you're an alcoholic, this place is dangerous. It's you pretty wild, just right? Be walking around, I was getting sipping cards. on the freaking audios. <laughs> I had like a fish bowl full of alcohol walking around a casino, and I went outside just walking around. It was but awesome. I mean, even if you want to save money, you just have a little red cup with you with whatever, and you're just going all over the place. Because if you start now, openly drink on a bus. At that point, because someone pa pasted that like literal copy and paste law, you might have to ask the fucking driving company. Yeah, like what do they say about it? But and I'm sure, like if they say no, you should probably not do that. No, I don't do it. Because if you start now, you're headed for big trouble later. If your idea of a good time is drinking, you've got a problem already. Think Whoa, about it. Talk to it up. Do something about it before it's too late. This message is brought to you as a public service by the Doctors of Canada. In Las Vegas, limos, party buses carry a special license for this activity. And yes, you can consume alcohol while being in a limo or a party bus. If it's designated as such. Designated. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've never done this before. Oh, uh, that's uh -oh. okay. Everybody smokes. <laughs> Everybody does it. <laughs> you like it, don't you? It's fun. <coughs> oh, yeah. So fun. What you mean. It's called a chauffeur's license. Mm. I'm feeling dizzy and lightheaded. It's so great. So fun. Having yeah, so much fun. <coughs> smoking cigarettes oh, yeah, in my car. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. <coughs> so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so much fun, you could <laughs> die laughing. Don't even start. This message is brought to you as a public service by the doctors of Yeah, Canada. I don't remember that part of uh, smoking cigarettes. I remember, like, uh, you know, bumming a cigarette off of a, you know, a drinking buddy. Yeah. yeah. For those of you guys who had, like, had a cigarette, what was the thing that drew you in to, to try it? Because I've never really even, I've never tried one, and the smell always just secondhand made me not interested at all. The yeah. main reason I started smoking was just something to do during break at work. Mm. Literally like a fixation thing? Yeah, because I was bored as fuck. Peer pressure, dad, boredom. Yeah. There was a bit of a, a ritual of like up, uh, going outside with a friend at a bar and like the social aspect of that. And it became like a ritual part of it. Ooh, right. Durkus is working in a kitchen too. Yo, chefs smoke like chimneys. Yeah. Well, I wonder what that is. Huh? A lot of breaks. And then just need something to do. You just need, like, something to focus on. And I don't know if it's a stimulant that kind of gets that going, too. Maybe like, if you're tired and you smoke, you feel a little more amped up. Breaks. Kinda. Yeah, breaks, stress. Oh, I see. Yeah, dude. They're like, we need fucking five perfectly cut, cooked prime ribs right I'm now. I'm a break. Fuck, dude. Yeah, that's it's relaxing. I don't know, man. It's the smell of it never... Got me into it. I just imagine the taste would be like the smell. So I was like, no. Oh. Sometimes, but if it was a vape, I'd yeah. be like, I could see that getting more people because, like, mm, it smells like gumdrop yeah. cupcakes in the air. And you're like, don't try vape, this, Chad. kid. Don't yeah. vape. I get a Pavlovian response every once in a while. I used to smoke uh, cigarettes in like my early 20s. Yeah. I stopped a long time ago. But it was like, sometimes I smell and I'm like, oh, that smell. Mm -hmm. That smelly smell. What is the thing about wanting it after a joint like Mr. Tabernacle says? It gets you more high. Really? Yeah. What? Because it, it makes your blood it makes your blood go quicker because it's a stimulant. What? So like THC will like fucking amplify. Oh shit. I don't know that. Yeah. That's wild. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. Same That's with fine. smoking a blunt. It's like uh the tobacco wrapping, you know, intensifies the weed. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's fun. <coughs> oh yeah, I see what you mean. <coughs> The nicotine. Oh. Yeah, I just see this part and I go, no, there's nothing about that I ever was interested in. I have so much fun. I just never got into it. And expensive. Too. Very like, expensive. Fuck, it dude. used to be so cheap, too. Like, it used to be like $5 a pack of cigarettes. Now it's like, like fucking $12 or something dude, like that. I would see the prices on those, but like, yo, that ain't worth it. This message is brought to you as a public service by the Doctors of Canada. Quit smoking 15 years Where ago, never go back. Hey, good on you, man. It's yeah. too expensive, and it just destroys your health. It's just, there's no upside to it. Mm -hmm. Where might seat go? Well, it's right beside me here if the going gets a little rough. Oh, this guy thinks he doesn't need a seatbelt. Real rock climber doesn't need ropes. Oh, really? no. Rock no. climber without a rope? Really? I used to wear the mask, but it interfered with my peripheral vision. So I go without. I can slap I used to be the best hockey one. performer ever, and then I stopped wearing a helmet. Ah! Oh, but. he showed all his teeth missing. <laughs> Oh, fuck. God damn. The goalie gets fucked up, dude. Yeah, there was an era of hockey where they didn't have face masks. That is insane. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're talking about tough dudes. Oh, I see an emergency arrive. Uh, lady, the smelly smell, the smell, smelly. They give a drop. Yeah, the 20, smelly dude. smell. Dee Dee's got her little face right next to the pedal to make the big clap. Close by, should an emergency arise. Besides, I'm wired. <laughs> I don't need a floating device. <laughs> woo, woo! I can't even swim neither. I'm wired for speed. <laughs> oh my god. That's not funny. There's the life jacket. But the way he was bragging, like, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even swim. Besides, I'm wired for speed. Since he arrives, besides, I'm wired for speed. Oh my god, this straight died instantly. <laughs> we barely took the boat out, so a whole tank of gas in the boat barely made it out there for two minutes. We just rolled out the back before he hit a goddamn wave. I don't know where the boat is. Oh my god. 
if you're wondering, could I be an addict or an alcoholic? Well, remember the old saying, if you walk like a duck and you talk like a duck and you act like a duck, chances are you're a you're duck. duck. Wait, is this more of a duck <laughs> PSA? Wait, am I, I am a duck? duck? <laughs> <laughs> I quack sometimes. Chances Hold on, are... I'm going to check in the bathroom if I'm a duck or not. Check and see if you're a duck, Lou. If you're sick He's and tired of like being a dog. sick and tired, maybe you're ready to do something. <laughs> ready to do something. Mothers <laughs> against ducks. <laughs> Make sure you, you check your mammaries for duck feelers. I don't like the way they hiss at me when I walk by. You're ready to do something about your drug or alcohol problem. Today could be the beginning of a new life for you. Go for it. Why do you think your mommy or daddy are always telling you, don't put that in your mouth? Let's find out. Don't you put it in your mouth, don't you put it in your mouth, don't you stuff it in your face, don't stuff it in your face, so it's... Let me lick your forehead! <laughs> See if you're salty! <laughs> Kane Toad, thank you for the two gifties. Hey, dude. Kane Toad, how you doing, man? Happy 420. In your face, so it might look good to eat. So it might look good to eat. And it might look good to taste. And it might look good to taste. You could get sick. Ick. Real quick. Ick. Real sick. Real. Ick. Don't you put it in your mouth. Uh-uh. Tell you ask someone oh you God. love. That's right, sis. It's getting closer and closer. And it's okay to eat. Am I high? It's okay to eat like a muffin or a beet. Like a muffin or a beet. If you don't know, just don't put it in your mouth, kids. Remember, boys and girls, don't, don't put it in your mouth. If. Always if. ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Oh, my God. Oh. Every time? Always ask someone you love before Always you ask. put anything in your mouth. Uh, TV remote? Pops? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you could. Sunglasses? But should I be careful? <laughs> Sunglasses? <sighs> Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Always. Forever Every and time. ever. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Tuesday and uh, said he couldn't decide whether he should buy or rent. <laughs> Restaurants that allow smoking can have six times the pollution of a busy highway. Oh, yeah, we were allowed to smoke in restaurants. <laughs> Literally, the dog is flying around and around. Legs. <laughs> legs. <laughs> legs. Legs. Okay. Great. The man in this car is under the influence of alcohol. Watch what happens uh, next. Uh, uh, <gasps> He's like, I'm I'm fucking, he's like, I'm fucking good, dude. I got it. I got I it. I got it. Go ahead. Try it. Woo. It's like I'm driving a spaceship. Hello, sir. You're home. <laughs> Hello, sir. You're home. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Does the man go inside with him? <laughs> you want me to talk to Hey, him? we're home, big boy. <laughs> My sensei. I'll go inside with you. Hello, I can see sir. if you're salty. Your you're Uber home. is done, sir. <laughs> Do you need help getting inside your house? Uh, you're home. <laughs> you're home. Please give me five star rating. Call oh, cab. Man. Holy shit, dude. Sir. King Lear. Much love, dude. Let's go. Good timing. You came just in time. What kind of sandwich was he eating? Mmm, bologna and cheese. Mm, American cheese and bologna. Ugh, you tell the way he bit into it. I don't. <laughs> that you know when you, you, know when you, bite, you know when you bite, you got that dry bite, and it's not good. It's just, my um, we just like moved it around his mouth. <laughs> yeah, there's no moisture at all. It's just dry you as fuck. You can see it as bite. Ah. Yo, in the bite, you can see everything. <laughs> It's like a rock, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, this guy? Knobby ass knees. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That was so fucking weird. Why are you staring at me drinking milk? <laughs> Ew, I don't like that. Oh! Break. For school lunch. School lunches. Uh, 
Uh, uh, is I mean that's mostly carbs, dry, right? Dry, dry, dry. Yeah. Blech. Crap. School lunches suck. Ugh. We did have like a pizza bagel. It was like the only thing good at our high school. But it's pizza, right? But you gonna was, eat pizza every day? It's gonna make you fat. I mean, you can just drink milk. Milk and pancakes, Whoa, pancakes? oranges, milk and pancakes. I, we didn't, I don't think we had pancakes. Not be me. Dribbling skills. Mm. <coughs> Whoa. Martin Luther King believed in a balanced breakfast. I had a dream of eating breakfast. Delicious food <laughs> at school. <laughs> mm, sandwiches that weren't dry as fuck. Oh, well balanced breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream. Balanced breakfast. We have to determine what a good stranger and a bad stranger is, because kids hear this word all the time. They don't know. I tell them don't trust strangers, but there's some good ones. What about the good strangers out How there? How do you show that you're a good stranger? Do we have any good strangers out there? Put a finger in the chat if you're a stranger. I don't stranger. think you should give tips on how to be a good stranger. You're going to make the bad strangers use the good stranger tips. Well, well when you need a good stranger, you're going to be in bed. <laughs> God, a good Speaking stranger. Speaking of good stranger. All the time. What, for instance, would a bad stranger look like? He might be dirty. <laughs> um. <laughs> Point at him. <laughs> stranger look like. What's a bad stranger look like? So all I, the time. I go from town to town, <laughs> wrangling all the kids at the local park, and ask them what good strangers look like. All the time. What, for instance, would a bad Listen, stranger man, I look got like? Munchies, dude. What you got there, Lou? I got a Jimmy Dean's breakfast. Oh, you got a dirty biscuit. breakfast biscuit. Oh. oh, it's so hot. The paper oh. towel's like melting into the sandwich. Uh, He's uh, eating it. Oh. I yeah. can smell that cheese. I can smell Boy. the grease. I can order something soon, Lou, if you oh. want. Well, we went on the weight, huh? Stranger look like. Oh. He might be dirty, not shave, have yellow teeth, have rumpled hair. Would his hair be combed? You don't, you don't think so? No? Okay, what else? A bad? Yeah. Um, he might have tattoos and smoke. He would- This is like all for the bad strangers to steal the tips from. Go, okay, gotta get okay, teeth whitened. Smoke. Right? <laughs> well would, dressed. Brush hair. Don't he smoke. He would wear raggedy clothes and be dirty and probably never take baths, so he would stink. So let me see if I got this straight. A bad stranger would be somebody that's maybe selling drugs, smoking, they don't shave, their hair's messed up. <laughs> Wait, well, it's no it's on me. <laughs> the fuck? Louie, what happened to your pants? <laughs> <laughs> fuck these kids. <laughs> Wait, no, don't fuck them. No, 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 no. Forget them. Forget, Forget them. You. Forget them, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat a sausage biscuit and have a good fortune. God damn it. got a little sausage biscuit in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hurt on my glue. What the fuck? A little sausage biscuit and food stains. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, Devin coming in with the five oh, gifties. Oh, yo. Happy 420, everybody. Oh, my God. Yo, Devin, thank you so much, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. If they put headphones on him with a little sausage biscuit. <laughs> Lunatic love. Like bra across it. <laughs> Bro, you serious right now? Hey, stinky. Oh, my God, dude. It stinks like sweaty feet. Oh. Shave, their hair's messed up. They got raggedy clothes, yellow teeth, <laughs> tattoos, uh, maybe wearing dark sunglasses. Really a grody-looking individual, right? Grody. <laughs> grody. That's still a word, right, kids? <laughs> grody. <laughs> what the fuck? Grody. Oh, no. I never heard the, someone say grody. Gag oh. me with the spoon, right, kids? Huh? Grody. That's grody, grody. Gross grody. This is really a grody looking individual. <laughs> this is really a grody looking individual, right? That's kid's picking his teeth, putting shit in his mouth. Didn't they, that last one say don't do that? Fucking this kid. These kids don't listen, man. Putting shit all up in his mouth. This is really a grody looking individual, right? <laughs> That's what we're talking about here. Good. What about a good stranger? Would, how would a good stranger... Yes. How would a good stranger um, look? He, he might be wearing maybe like a um suit maybe have a briefcase devil wears a suit you idiot haven't you heard of that before <laughs> think about this 
They're just giving advice to like, hey, if you don't want to look like a creep, here's how you dress. Very good. Yeah, you got an answer. What is it? They would smile and be friendly. They would shave and take baths. That's good. Let's just say, for instance, you find Uh, yourself... I think I found them. (laughs) Let's just say, for instance, you find yourself, for some reason, you're in somebody's car, and that person is going to drive away. What's the very first thing you should do? You should, um... Run, open the door and run away. You're absolutely correct. One thing <laughs> you're, you're you, correct. It would be impossible to run unless the door is open. What about if he has child safety locks on? <laughs> you're absolutely correct. One thing you can do is jump to the floorboard. <laughs> Whoa! You're absolutely correct. <laughs> you're absolutely correct. One thing you can do is jump Tuck to the roll. floorboard. Oh my God! Reach under the driver's side of the dashboard what? and pull out any wires you find. <laughs> that sounds even more dangerous. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> What? I don't trust you. I never reached <laughs> down there. There's cords and cables hanging Just right there. Just start yanking. I'm Hot the wire the car <laughs> and drive yourself to the hospital. What the fuck? There's a bunch of red vines down there. <laughs> One thing you can do is jump to the floorboard, reach under the driver's side of the dashboard, and pull out any wires you find. Say you were in the trunk of a car. If you find the wires that go to the tail light and you pull them real hard or kick at that section of the trunk, you'll disable the brake and tail lights. Now you've just oh, increased the odds shit. 50%. That I didn't they- know that one. That's huh? actually a good tip, but nowadays they make cars with an emergency handle on the inside. Yeah, now cars like have insulation where they run the wires through and stuff. They don't just have exposed wires. They go to the tail light and you pull them real hard or kick at that section of the trunk, you'll disable the brake. Disable the brake. When he goes now to merge on the freeway, the somebody will crush the, the, the police are going to pull the, the car trunk over of the car. because it has no brake or tail lights. If you're in a hotel room or an apartment or a house, here's an interesting way that you can get attention. If you can get into the bathroom, you can take off your socks and tie them in a big ball, or stuff it down in the toilet, and then flush the toilet. It'll overflow, and this would maybe cause somebody else to get involved. And when they show up, now you've got somebody that can be a potential rescuer. Or you just and pissed I... off your abductor and he's going to murder you. Right? You fucking kid ruined my toilet. Whoa, dude, stuff in the toilet. And now you're having a whole lot of fun. You've got somebody that can be... Learning something? Dude, I never heard of these tips. Now you've got somebody that can be a potential rescuer. Why not just try to find a phone and dial 911? I don't know. They're describing a good stranger. I don't know about you, Chad, but my parents told me don't trust strangers. Don't trust any of them. That's it. There's not. Well, there's some good ones that wear a suit and shave. That's why I'm like, what the fuck are these tips? It should have stopped it. Don't hang out and talk to strangers. If they got candy, no matter puppies, you fucking run, dude. Don't talk to them. An ID bracelet makes an excellent tool for... Everyone's fucking weird. Yeah. An ID bracelet makes an excellent tool for sending out a clue. It can be thrown from a car window or dropped on a street or sidewalk. What? Dude, he stashed his ID. What? He threw his little ID out. How is that? Like, if you walk by an ID bracelet on the fucking street, you're going to be like, oh, this child chance. was abducted. It's a chance. Dude, it's very, a chance. very low chance. It can be discreetly left in a restaurant or motel room. Inscribe reward and your phone number. Inscribe on- a reward on your kid's wrist? Dude, my dad wrote the wrong birthday on my ID bracelet. <laughs> and I'll never forget it. I was in, like, first grade. And I had a little skateboarder ID bracelet. Nice, dude. We're on the bracelet. You have to do something so that this person can't drive away. So what could you do in a situation like that? Yes. Yeah, how much are you worth? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, if your parents didn't put a reward on there, like, they don't give a fuck. $100? Missing kid, $100. Call now. Oh, my God, dude. The bracelet. You have a reward for missing child. Leave it on your kid's bracelet. <laughs> The bracelet. You it's have like a to dog do something tag. <laughs> so that this person can't drive away. So what could you they do in a situation away. like that? Yes. You could probably jump in his lap and scream and honk the horn. Jump in his lap and scream. That's a very. Why don't you show me what you're talking about? That's a very good answer. Can you come and show me? Great. <clears throat> so what the fuck? Maybe we come should. Come on, sh- jump in my lap. <laughs> maybe we should. Jump in my lap and scream. Maybe we should skip. This is weird. That was really <laughs> fucking I, weird. I, I don't need to see that one. I'm good. Let's skip that one, all right? What the fuck?
Okay. I'm good. I don't need to see active stranger danger crotch jump and scream. Come on, Dale weird. Murphy. Buckling your seatbelt could save your life. It only takes three seconds, and it's the best habit you could have. After Join a ball game, I love putting my seatbelt on. I tell you what. Join me. Be a buckler. Ooh, be a buckler. I mean, Kinda I'll like always that. be a buckler. Yeah, I'm going to call someone out now if I don't see a seatbelt on. Oh, you ain't a buckler? Oh, you ain't bucking. Oh, this guy ain't a buckler. He ain't a buckler. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I'm a buckler. Hey, I've been be bucking buckler. all my life. Walker. This is the most confusing PSA I've ever seen. Okay. It's uh, Danny Glover. That's what I thought. Five easy pieces. <laughs> Tongues untied. Fairy tale theater, Sleeping Beauty. Hmm. Did you know that you can rent 200 rare tapes from the Walker Art Center? I didn't know that. Hey, look at this. To sleep with anger. That's me. You can get this too. You know what I learned? Danny what Glover fuck? rents his own movie. <laughs> that's Lethal not... Weapon 2. Oh, I'm in this. Predator 2. That's not a PSA. Oh. That's just him renting his own movies. <laughs> Back to the fucking stranger danger. Color purple. What the fuck? I'm in there. That's me. That's me, baby. Did you know? <laughs> I didn't. Fuck yeah, dude. Get into the major leagues is a dream come true. It takes a lot of hard work to get to the top. Be your best. I'm Dave Clark. Whoa. And I'm Mickey Morandini. We're rivals on the field, but when it comes to underage drinking, we're on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> the under yeah. We might be rivals, but at the end of the day, hey, drinking. I'm we're team. on the same team. If you're under 21, stay in the game. Don't let alcohol steal your dream. Success comes when you play by the rules. If you're under 21, play it smart. Leave alcohol out. That way, But the second you're wins. 21, fucking go for it, dude. Get it, dog. <laughs> Make sure you come to the park and buy lots of beers. <laughs> Brought to you by Miller Lite. The very moment you turn 21, Game on! Support your team. <laughs> Buy a beer today. One out of five people with AIDS is in their 20s and probably got AIDS in their teens. So protect yourself and uh, support life. <laughs> <laughs> I think cut him off too early. And, Tyler, uh, support, what you say, is Dave, Dave Matthews? Matthews? Yeah. Protect yourself and uh, support life. Crash that? into me now. What's his biggest song? That's it. That one? I don't even know what that is. I can't detect that one. It's very slow. Crash into me. Crash into me. me and yeah. I'll come into you. No. Or tell doesn't... me what you say. Wow, not ringing a bell at all. None of them. It's the most generic, like, white rock ever. It's really great if you want to fuck a girl and you just send her that song. Wait, what? I'm just saying it worked for me. Hey, wear, wear a condom. <laughs> wear a condom. It worked for you, so it it'll for work me. for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure she's into it first. I mean, obviously. And, Louie, watch out for HIV, okay? Please. Hey, I wore a condom. Good on better. you, man. Every, yeah. every Proud time. Of you. Someone's in your face and bad-mouthing you, maybe even giving you a shove, but you just stand there and talk. Know what that makes you? Pretty darn smart. Yeah, until they knock you out so and you're Louis, unconscious. Louie, how do you handle a, you know, a rough <laughs> a ruffian that's getting in your face and pushing you? Well, if they don't have a weapon, I'm going to try to fight. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Hey, one, time, one time I was at a bar. Sit and talk. And uh, me and my buddy David were just, like, chatting, having a couple beers. Yeah. And these guys just shoulder-checked us and walked through us. Whoa. And I was just like, wow, these guys are so cringe, they go to bars to try to fight people. I'm just going to ignore them. And I continued on with my night. And guess what? I didn't get in a fight. They and uh, it was a lot better. Just they ignore it. Water. That really did, that's fridge. a true story. I'm proud of you for doing that. Just get out. You should avoid confrontations with people if you can. Yeah, if you can. But if they're like got you cornered and they're like trying to fight you, like what the fuck are you going to do? Just be like, come on, man. Let's be friends. Yeah, I remember a good tip you gave me is if someone's being a fuckhead at a bar, just tell the bouncer. To watch those guys. Yeah, yeah. I did that once, and these guys were, like, being blatantly racist and mean and pushing people yeah. around. I just told the bouncers, 
we left and when we went by the other street, I saw him getting kicked out by the same bouncer. Yeah. He's like, Yeah, the guy was grabbing girls. Yeah. And they were like freaking the fuck out. Well, first of all, do you think the bouncer wants to have those types of guys in there, troublemakers? No, he wants action. No, he, he wants, wants to, to fucking beat the yeah. fuck out of them and pay the skull it. The bouncer yeah. wants action. So I was like, yo, he'll want to throw down. And he actually gets paid to do it. Yeah. I've seen bouncers fucking like choke slam people in the concrete and cops are right there going, nice. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> no, do do bouncers have different rights than people? Because they're allowed to just beat the fuck out of you. Actually, yeah. I thought it was just a respect thing when I saw a guy literally get flung out and like grabbed by his neck, slammed into the floor, and a fucking cop was on a horse yeah. and he was just like, "Nice, well, dude." They're but- supposed to be. They're supposed to go up to him and be like, "Hey, I need you to leave the bar." Well, yeah. And but then it- if they get aggressive, yeah, yeah. then they can do whatever the fuck they want, basically. Because bouncers need a license, don't they? Ye- I don't know. It depends on the place. Oh, I thought if you're a bouncer, like security, we got any bouncers? Like I here? had a guard card, but I don't think you have to. Is have anyone keeping chat secure right now? Back it up. Back it up. I got a. I got a license to sl- for fucking choke slam. Yeah. Just outside of the bar. It's private security. I mm. wonder what the rules are. Cause I'm telling you, I seen a, I seen cops watch bouncers fuck. If people somebody's up. asked to leave, you can remove them with force if they refuse to leave. It's technically Define force. Yeah. You can grab them by their shirt and their pants and fucking slam their head in the door. Because I've seen bouncers straight cross somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do that. <clears throat> yep. As long as they are like attacking you first or something, though. I literally saw a guy get flung out like a fucking cartoon. And then when he hit the concrete, he laying on his back and just watching his head whiplash the fucking floor. And then like drunk people are just rag dolls, right? So they just Oy. like cave, right? I remember this when like gnarly, uh, dude. I took the guard card thing. They taught you like to do that leg trip shit where you just push them and put your foot in front Behind of their them. shit. Yeah, yeah. Simple judo. Little yeah. judo move. I was like, whoa, that could like really fuck somebody up. Oh, you can yeah. land on your head and you can yeah, die. Yeah, they could like yeah. die from that. Yeah. Being an individual is tough. You know, people don't always want to take responsibility for what they believe. And so it's easier to be a follower sometimes. But when it comes to individuals, it's important to make your own decision. You can only make an intelligent decision about anyone, any group of people, once you have had some experience. You have to decide for yourself whether you are willing to pay the price of being an individual, which means that people will not always like the fact that you are making your own decisions. Now, more than ever, it's important for people like you to express themselves every day. Express yourself. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, you know, got suspended for saying uh, some stuff. stuff about Hitler. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know, it she takes did? a free thinker to you know <clears throat> think else. She's she's. I out. think this was before that. <laughs> oh wasn't yeah, it? oh yeah. <laughs> she's out, huh? She's back in. She's back. She though? learned her lesson. She oh, learned, she, it was a learning moment, right? Mm. When did the, was that like last year or something? No, it was, it was like a couple months ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, months ago. You never yeah. want to bring up Hitler like in any argument. Unless it's like a history class or something. Uh, please leave me alone. Fam- oh, God. We're going from Disney Channel to this? Please leave me she alone. Tweaking. Family violence is a crime. You're not going to do that. You do exactly what I tell you to do. You don't. <laughs> No! <laughs> Please! Do that. You do exactly what I tell you to do. You ain't gonna Trigger do warning. That. Trigger warning. This guy, man. Yikes. You're not gonna do that. You do exactly what I tell you to do. You don't have to put up with it. Do it. The no. Dallas police want to put a stop to family violence. Anyone who commits Guess who? Damn violence. It. Guess who, motherfucker? What do you Anyone guys want? Let me handle my business. My home, my business. I don't go to your house, officer, try and handle your business. God darn Anyone it. Anyone who commits family violence is a criminal and will go to jail. Me I, I can't make For help, You told me I wouldn't go and do nothing I won't do. He won't do. Four, four, four. A it's public like service message. Every cop's Dallas- episode I've ever seen is pretty mm-hmm. much this. Yeah. I don't know. She called the cops, but I love her. You don't want to press charges? I don't know. I fucking love her. When I was in a law enforcement class, they said that those are like the most dangerous calls to go to. Because really? you'll be like arresting the dude and all of a sudden the wife will be like, I got a change of heart. And then she'll fucking hit you in the head with the frying pan or something. Holy shit. shit. Yeah. Also, context- that's, what I, that's what I saw when I rewatched Cops not too yeah. long ago. The context of like uh, you are now interfering with this inner family, you know, thing. Goes deep. It goes deep. You don't know the full backstory. You're trying to get. Yeah, when I was watching Cops, she flip-flopped. I remember. She, they do that, yeah. Because yeah. they started to arrest him, and he was like, oh, I was just trying it. She's like, no, I love him. Why? Not only that, they think that they'll get blamed when he comes back. 
right. which is uh, probably the case. Yeah. Uh, and I, th I think in California, uh, I think someone has to get arrested on domestic violence calls. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? They have to? Someone's got to go? If somebody's been hit or they show any sort of like if there's evidence physical or harm like that. Oh, or something like that, shit. they yeah. have to be arrested. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. You know, like, even if the person doesn't press charges. Is Flip the a thing, coin, yeah. huh? One of you's got to go. Dude, this one's loud. Let me turn this one down. This is a classic. <laughs> this guy. Smokey. The adventures of Nick, a teen, the last of the red hot buttheads. Yeah. On his way to school each day, unlike the other passengers, Nick was constantly being encouraged to stick his head out the window. And the school. No fair. We had the butthead last time. Too bad. We want Norman. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. I'm online. gonna be on your basketball team. You want me or old Smokey? Got big white of us. Oh, he stinks. Gosh. The smell of this guy. I, don't know. You know, I bet Norman's stinks stoked worse. that he's around. I'm like, who stinks worse, though? I'd rather have Norman. <laughs> the body odor? Too bad. We want Norman. <laughs> that Norman kid must be a lot better ball player than he lets on. <laughs> Desperate for friends, Nick joins the pack rats. Man, oh, no. what a drag. But the following spring, Nick's fancy turned to girls and getting a date for the Smokey Robinson Fancies. concert. You really light up my life. And, and you're ooh. like really darkening my doorstep. Okay. Like darkening my doorstep. I've got seats to Smokey this Saturday. Sorry, Nick. I'm already dating this really cute ball player. Oh, hot mommy. Oh, want to have sex again? <laughs> I'm dating this really cute ball player. I do. I'm burning for you, babe. How about... How about you talk to that female butthead and leave Oh, me match alone. made in heaven. He'll be happy. Strike three. You're out. I mean, isn't that the the goal is to smokers to get with other smokers? Yeah. Yeah, look at her. Because people are gonna smoke, let's be real, right? You can smokers tell them it's gonna smoke. You can tell them it's bad for you all day long, and they're like, Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, I know. Don't tell me something I don't know. So he's gonna do the thing where he's like a burnout little cigarette man, and then like, well, there's a cigarette girl he go and he's gonna be like, Ew, she smokes. No, why would I <laughs> Ew, she stinks. <laughs> why would I date her? She stinks. I'd be like, yo, <laughs> this is a perfect situation. You guys are made for each other. You can smoke together. But she stinks. I, I can't deal with it. <laughs> Don't be a butthead. When I was young, I discovered <gasps> The Admiral! This guy's me. massive. Who's this? Dave Robinson. When I was young, I discovered music. Is he on Space Jam? Is he on the team? Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh. And practice to become a musician. Later, I joined the Navy and became an officer. And learned about discipline and teamwork and doing your best. Then playing pro ball. The dream of a lifetime. Damn. These are the things I love. These are my choices. He played with Tim Duncan, none right? Of them yeah, I think come he did. True. I think he had a couple of years. I with had Tim. made an important decision a long time ago. I don't do drugs. That's what's worked for me. Yeah, Basically. he's Space Jam, all right. To me, I just see Space Jam. That's right, Twin Towers. That's, right. That's what's worked for me. Think about it. It's a life. Missouri State Water Patrol. Don't drink in boat. Don't Man, it's so hot out here today. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wait till we get out on the lake. Beer. <laughs> we got everything. Oh, yeah, we got this you getting the beer? Boy, I love the sweet taste of that beer. Yes! I mean, no, no. Hey, keep your eyes down, man. All right, you got to pay attention for this brown trout. Boy, this fishing trip would have been a lot better if we had some fucking beer. Good job, Bill. What the uh, hell's that guy doing? That guy's really chugging. <laughs> He's um, got it right for us! What the hell? What are they doing pull in my up, way? Pull up. What are they doing in my way? Oh, I can't swim! Beer! 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 Drinking it on the way down. He finished it! Dad! Grandpa! Dad and Grandpa? Damn, neither Double of them can swim. Remember, water and alcohol don't mix. Why are you pouring it straight into the... Oh, my what? God! That was Kool-Aid. That was Kool-Aid. Is that... What? Well, there's a bunch of Kool-Aid in this boat, too. Let me pour that out as well. Jungle juice. <laughs> Don't drink in boat. <laughs> Red wine. Boats and hose. Oh, they got a bunch of wine coolers. <laughs> Red wine back here. Yeah. I'm going to pour all this out. They hit the Cabernet Express. None of those mix. Again? <laughs> We got everything. Oh, yeah, we've got Oh, yeah, all we need is right here. I got my mustache, my sunglasses. They make Remember. it look so fun, though. It's the same exact one, huh? Yeah, they play it twice. It's a shorter version. 
Jared. The second biggest killer of all teenagers is guns. Oh, my God. Guns. And knives. Why did I tell you that that guy was coming on to me? And friends like these. Because when you try to make a friend jealous, you're forcing him to fight. Wait, make him jealous? She had two guys fight over her love. And one had a knife. Uh, hold on. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. So she, if there's a dude who's being creepy uh, on your girlfriend or something, she's not supposed to tell you? She's. You know. It's your fault that he's dead. Somebody what the got themselves a tea. Thank you for getting that. Hate that it got cut off, but thank you all the same. Thanks for the last. Much love. love you. Thank Happy you. 420. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you for getting the, the drip. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get yeah, away from me. And fighting is a lousy way to lose Oh, a it's an anti-fighting thing. Don't fight because someone might have a knife. Yeah, it's true. That's also true. Yeah. People are crazy these days. Big true. To play in exciting places, but sometimes those places have dangerous things in them. If you find a needle like this, don't even touch it. Just tell your parents Ooh. or the nearest policeman. Play it safe. Don't get stuck with somebody else's problem. Oof. Ugh. <laughs> the wording on that last part. Fuck oh, you know. I don't like that. Don't get stuck with ah. somebody else's problem. Ah. Yeah, that's like the, the like a nightmare, right? Is uh, you're just walking around in dude. sandals, and all of a sudden you're like, "What the fuck is that in my foot?" Oh. I had a nightmare when I was like eight, and I never forgot it. Where I went to Walmart, and a homeless guy injected me. Oh. Oh, I never forgot it. The old fucked hobo syringe nightmare. I hate <laughs> really that one. Fucked me up, oh, I dude. hate that one. That one's bad. Dude. What's he? Like, what's he injecting you with? I thought in my head he was like, "It's drugs." I didn't know what drugs were, <laughs> I've been but doing drugs. I remember yeah. he's like, "Here's drugs," and I'm like, "No!" And then I woke up. No, no, I'm high. Yeah, so it was scary, dang. dude. Yikes, dude. It's your boy. Got to hey. go to work. Hmm. Have a dank stream, everyone. Have a dank day, my friend. Hell yeah, man. Thank you for 420, dude. Frank, coming in. I'm here for legal advice. <laughs> Liz, uh, Liz I, Hicks, I, talk Mars, to a professional. Roach, thank you, guys. Oh, let's just tell you. Hi, kids. I'm Mr. Funner Size, and this is Rexercise. Freak is always funny. What up to now? What? Is this farting? Like cool. I farting? What happened? That purple... Gorilla, yeah. just shit. No. If you smoke, you'll be cool like me, Monkey Joe, and you can earn the Yo, Purilla. <laughs> Dude, Yo, like Purilla. Purple Purilla, so cool. <laughs> Want to be cool like me, Purple Purilla? No one can be cool. Yeah. If you're Purilla. Cool like me, Monkey Joe. Monkey you can Joe. Look out, try it. <laughs> look out, look. Woo! Mr. Funnersize beat us again, Notron. It's cool to be healthy and full of energy, not sick and out of breath. Join our campaign. <laughs> be cool, don't smoke. Wow. Be cool, don't smoke. Be cool, okay, don't uh, fast forward. This is weird. Be cool, be cool, don't smoke, and be cool. Be cool. Don't smoke. Be cool. <laughs> it's not fun being tired, fat, and out of breath. Every time you get stuck into alcohol, you kill a few more brain cells. And medical facts show if you regularly drink much more than the drink safe limit, your brain could quite literally begin to shrink. And as your brain shrinks, so does your ability to remember. My brain. Could your drinking be damaging your brain? My brain. Don't get stuck into alcohol. Oh. Drink safe. Wait, what? He got voodooed into being an alcoholic? Oh, no. He kept pouring like a little alcohol in the puppet's mouth. And you're just like, God, I got it. Oh. <laughs> man, wine will fuck you up, man. Box wine. Drink safe. Don't be fooled into thinking that a drink will make Shabadoo. your go away. Shabadabadoo. Wait, his name's Shabadoo? <laughs> Who? He's Scrappy-Doo and Scooby-Doo's brother. Shabadoo. Who's Shabadoo? Him. Don't be fooled into thinking that a drink will make your problems go away. Hey, it won't. Alcohol only adds another problem. Be smart. Sheba who? Who? Joey Jojo Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that guy is. <laughs> The All average right. kid doesn't get straight doesn't get straight The average kid could live on french fries. I could live on pizza and Shepard. ice cream. Is Adam Sandler as a name? Shabba hoo hoo. 
The average kid. <laughs> Kenny, what up, dude? The average kid doesn't get straight up and get straight up. The average kid could live on french fries. I could live on pizza and ice cream. Gummy bears. Oh, average... this kid's living the life right here. Look at him smiling at you like pizza and ice cream. Fucking. To be fair. Those are two good choices. School, toys. lunch, pizza every day. I can live on pizza and ice cream, School, bitch. School, lunch, pizza, not so much. Pizza and ice cream, bitch. Ice cream. Gummy bears. The average kid trusts their friends more than anybody. The average kid is totally bored. Totally bored. The average kid has a lot more on their mind than you think. The average kid is pretty strange. The average kid has been offered pot. Has been offered pot. The average kid thinks everybody else smokes it. But the average kid doesn't. Four out of five teens don't kid smoke. Anything but... Can you like the drip? I'm trying to be everything but. There goes Pops with his drip again. It's going through a phase, Kenny. He's got see through so inside. Dead. It's going through a phase. And yes, that's a fade into a mullet. And yes, it is, sir. Ozzy Yaz put 420 on that. Says pizza and ice cream. Oh, you ever notice how you're. You can huh? text me the picture. I'm going to post Instagram. Oh, yeah. Let me send you those. Ever notice how your friends don't listen? What'd she say? Excuse me. Where's that picture? Huh? picture? <laughs> What'd she when it say? comes to experimenting with alcohol, the peer pressure is so confusing you begin to feel trapped. Making the right choice is tough. Your friends can make you feel uncomfortable. Seems like they're not clear in their thinking. It's your decision. Make the right make choice. Make the right choice. Do what you need to do. I sat my son down, explained it to him. Simple, uncomplicated. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, know what he was talking about, but he was nervous and sweating. If you need help talking to your kids about drugs, call for this free A little book. drug coloring book. <laughs> well, robots eat drugs? Drugs can really break your body down. Break your body. I remember that one. Booty bitches. Big booty bitches. Big booty bitches. Bitchel. Bitchel. PC tech and a pop up one time. Hell yeah, Hell do it, dude. Dude, dude thank you, PC. Down. Hope you're well, my friend. Oh no, Grandpa! What happened? Whoa! Oh my God. Now you've no idea what this stuff she took was. Look, she just wanted to have a good time. Whoa. Make sure you don't know. It's important. Pills. I mean, I don't know what they were. How many did what? she what? take? What? What are they putting her stomach? Oh. Where did she get them from? The party. Party? Yeah, I, I don't I know. Bet I bloody ill. Pump it. Pump and jump? This is bad. Listen, Chad, if there's ever you're yeah. in this situation, just tell them what the fuck they took. You're not going to get in trouble. This is bad. Just fucking tell them. Yeah, they just want to save you at this point. You can go now. But we're her friends. Hmm. Like, you think you're gonna be like accessory to drug deals or whatever? Unless you sold it to them, then you're gonna they be in trouble. Be so mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you telling people not to tell them, Lou? I'm just saying you should make sure you tell them what the fuck they took, because then they're gonna fucking die or something. You gotta let them know. Yeah, well, I had a buddy of mine who got like way too drunk at like a little kickback thing uh -huh. in high school, oh, and then right, like yeah. I had a buddy call me and he's crying. We all went to the hospital. And he was like in a bed, and the fucking the fucking doctor took it as an opportunity to like teach us all a lesson with all. Really? This. It was scary as fuck. Uh, really? Yeah, we could see him through the window. I think he was just he was too drunk. They didn't even pump his stomach, but they're like, "This could have been way worse, children. This could have been the end." We're like, "Yo, fuck this shit. I'm never drinking again." Fucking work, dude. It was scary as fuck. This should to be walk into a hospital, see all your friends from like high school crying and shit. It's terrifying, dude. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. This should be some. Doctor was drunk. <laughs> this should be some party. Let me get hey, some I'll even let you dance with me. Uh, you'll need a few drinks first, Jack. Oh, no. Virgin liver. He was, you know, four foot five. Short guy, high school. Oh, no. First party. Oh, no way. One of those. Can't. He's driving. Well, come on. What's a holiday party without a little holiday cheer? Hey, you want to get home in one piece, don't you? Oh, yeah. Now, but... listen. Whenever we go out, Jack and I decide who's driving, and whoever drives doesn't drink. Oh. Ah, meaning if I want to drink tonight, I can. Or you don't have to. Uh, either way, I'll be driving home. Right. Hey, great. Well, I'll tell you what. Next party, I'll drive. Designate a driver. It could save your life. Don't drink and drive. Or, 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 or an Uber. Uber. Uber needs to push commercials.
Yeah. Like, Uber needs to be pushing anti-drinking commercials. Like, oh, yeah. So, Superman 3. Tonight's ABC pause. movie special. Superman 3? We'll continue in a moment. Awesome. I am Phil Sims with the Giant. I can barely hear this guy. Hi, I'm Phil Sims. You um, might remember me from being a fucking giant. I'm Phil on the fucking... I am Phil Sims with the Giant. The Giant. I'm on the field. These guys protect me from blitzing linebackers. <laughs> On the road, it's these men and women who protect me and my family from drunk drivers. That's right, Phil. That's Here right, Bill. We have tough laws against drinking and driving. Tough boys. Tough court, boys. You automatically lose your license and pay a heavy fine. You could even be sent to jail. You want right, to pay Bill. a heavy fine? Yeah, the audio on this is like yourself struggling. And others. Don't Sal Goodman right there. Yeah. <laughs> yourself and others. Don't Saul drink Goodman. and drive. Saul Goodman. I'm Saul Goodman. <laughs> Octopunk, thank you for the 18, man. When thank you very friends much. don't stop friends from drinking and driving. Damn, he cheers in way too hard. Friends die. Party foul. And drive. Yo, yo, go slow, go slow, go slow. Oh, oh. Fuck, you to cut each other's hands. Friends die from drinking and easy, easy, easy. Friends hey, oh, that guy saved the day. He's like, hey, that one's mine, you fuck. Hey, that's an expensive bottle of scotch. Yeah, don't break that one. Easy E. Easy E in the tokers. This is weird, man. Doing a fire safety PSA for yeah. the children. And it kind of looks like a, a rap video. Like they were catching them on like a, one of the shoots. And they're like, hey, Easy E, I know you're doing your, your hip hop and whatnot. Can we do a quick little fire safety thing? Really? Yeah, it's pretty wild. We want Fires easy. kill more children than any other home accident. And many are seriously burnt. Don't be all right. Don't let this happen to your children. Wow, there he is. The little Don't easy himself. Your children. Listen to me, easy E, and set a good example for fire safety. Take special precautions against fire dangers for children. Teach your children see. household fire rules and urge other parents to practice fire safety in their homes. Toys could be replaced. Your Rest in peace. What happened to him? How did he go? AIDS. AIDS, AIDS got him? Yeah, he got AIDS. Damn, he was super young, too, huh? It's fire yeah, safety in their homes. Toys could be replaced. Your kids can't. Jeez. We'll stop his music shoot. And Just then there's another there. rap artist, but it's a, a Hispanic artist I'd never heard of. Toker? Toker, yeah. Toker. Little Toker. Big Toke. It's like the same thing, but just Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. That's Toker? That's Little Toker. Whoa, look at Toker. En vivo. Yeah. De las calas. Para los niños. Bueno. I'll play it for those of you who speak Spanish. You can enjoy that music. Wait, Toker's dead too? I don't know who Toker is. Me either. Toker. Two years ago, this car was the most important thing in Joey's life. He spent every dime he had on it. He even quit school to get a job so he could have the hottest ride in town. Damn, look at that ride. Today, the job is Dude, gone. Dude, how awesome! The car doesn't work anymore. Look at that hair, though, huh? Today, Sick. the job is gone. Look like a helmet. He doesn't need a helmet when he's driving. He's got hair. It's gone. The car doesn't work anymore. And without a high school diploma, neither does Joey. Stay in school. That's right. Stay in school. Don't be a fool. Uh, I mean, uh, if you don't graduate high school, uh, what options do you have at that point? Just lie. Do they ever check your... G have you ever had Whoa, somebody... Well, that's such a good point. Like, honestly, have you ever had anybody check for your GED? <laughs> I think when I was, like, uh, early, early trying to get jobs, like, right out of high school, I think <laughs> I think I wrote down my grades for high school and stuff like, on my resume. Like, I've had so many jobs, and <laughs> I've never I had, no had anybody ever check if I actually graduated. <laughs> yeah. How would they know? Yeah, it's true. Have you ever thought about how many men cheat on their wives in love affair? Never really think about it. But the, I like this guy's mustache. Very well, nice. Well, you might... Like a short handlebar. <laughs> you might not want to get too close. <laughs> Have you ever thought about how many men cheat on their wives in love affair? One night stand? 
Have you ever thought about how many men those women have had in the past five years? Or how many girls those men have had? And have you ever considered that one of those persons could be an AIDS carrier? Whoa. That it could be passed on to you. And that Just you once. could pass it on to your wife. Whoa! And if your wife is pregnant, the baby could be born with it. Or that by breastfeeding, she could pass it on to the child. I like that's not like a doctor. It's just like this dude telling you, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't it be more powerful if it was like a doctor and a coach? Like, nah, dude, it needs to be trust relatable. Trust me, fool. I know. It needs to be relatable. It's like, no, bro, listen to me, fool. I've like, done my own research, is. fool. That's how it is, bro. AIDS kills. These are dangerous times, and we have to be careful. So this is a very weird ad because safe. it's like this guy is committing infidelity with possible HIV carriers, and then he's going back to the old lady... And very worried, weird. Worried about the AIDS. Uh, BKD, couple of the two gifties. Thank you, dude. These are dangerous times, and we have to be careful. For everyone's sake, we have to change our lifestyles. Think about it. Think about it. We need solutions for the prevention of AIDS. Think about it. You can Just think help. about it. Get informed. Did you Find even ever like being done. ever even like Discuss think you would even like think about it? Friends. You ever think so much? information. Call. All right, think about it. Oh, Louis here. Listen to me. You gotta play it safe around the next. Say Louis. Yep. Yes. Oh, Luminous oh, Louis. Louis. Listen. To me. Oh, Louis here. Listen to me. You gotta play it safe around the next. He's talking to Louis directly. Watch out, little buddy, when you plug these in. Don't plug in too many, my friend. Ho ho ho! Can't hold anymore. Now here's an empty socket. It's such a scary sight. Nothing goes in here but another pretty light. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out, little buddy. Listen to sounds me. drunk. You play it sounds like a... Uh, what's it called? Silver and gold. So no, uh, Schoolhouse Rock. I am a Bill Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, exactly. yeah. yeah I get that, too. It looks like the animation style. You gotta play it safe around yeah, the Yeah, I'm just a Bill. Play it safe around the tree. It Watch is, y'all. what you do. I'm just a bell, You're yeah. gonna kill yourself by plugging in this bag. I don't give a fuck. I just plug them all in. And too many, my <laughs> friend. Oh, I know, dude. Oh, get your oh, protection, you good. Do? Don't put your mouth on this. The eggs. UV levels are now higher than ever. UV levels. And one part of your body is more vulnerable than Hold any on. other. Hold um, on. I think they're getting a little... Easy now. Exposure to UVB We're can a little... permanently damage your Stop. eyes. Still good. It's still good. It's uh, it's shard. Always Their wear UV absorbing sunglasses outside this summer. Oh, thank God I got these bad boys to oh. keep me safe. I thought it was about my brain, but it's just my stupid eyeballs. Oh, these, these are for protecting my eyes. Jeez. All right, we get it, producer pops. We Jeez, get it. Pops. Being safe. Oh, boy. Jodo's popping off. Mr. Skeleton's popping off. Thank you, dudes. Uh, Pillsbury and Dolato. Thank you, guys. VR chat. Yeah, I want to hop in there again sometime, man. The VR chat was really good back in the day, man. So funny. What was the last one? Oh. It's always cigarettes. Oh. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, if you guys, before these guys pop off, you guys should check out my NFT. I post it on my Instagram. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's your Instagram? Uh, Djibouti Pops on Instagram. Djibouti Pops on Instagram. Djibouti Pops on Instagram. I just made a post right now. Like my post. Oh, It's there not you a go. pump and dump, is it, Pops? Uh, well, let's start pumping before we dump. Okay. Oh, Hi, man. we're the fat boys. Fat boys? Hi, we're the fat boys. Fat, fat, fat <laughs> boys, boys. Kids, what you gonna do if you're being abused? <laughs> You're probably scared or you're probably confused. Oh. If so That's a Hold big on. Sub. Coming in is Hector Ali. With a tear. With a tear. Sheesh. Hector Ali. Yes. Blood out. Happy 420, my dink, dude. Woo! What up, man? Happy you, dude. If someone's touching you in ways they should not or your folks are strung out using drugs a lot. If you're being abused, someone's using their fist. These are over the line. You can't insist. Stop it. For good, there are big folks who care. Talk to them now and help them be there. Peace. Nice. On the yeah. strip. We out of here. here. Whoop, whoop. We are out of here. Sure. That was dope. That was dope. If you drink any amount of alcohol when you're pregnant, you could complicate your child's Queen life Latifah. forever. I love your baby Queen could Latifah. be born with fetal alcohol syndrome, the leading known cause of mental retardation. Whoa. It can also mean organ dysfunction, facial deformities, and learning disabilities. But fetal alcohol syndrome is 100% preventable. 
So if you're pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant, don't drink. It's that simple. A few drinks can simple. last a lifetime. Don't risk it. Don't, don't, don't drink while pregnant. Any pregnant women, don't drink. Wait, what if I think I'm pregnant? Don't drink. Don't do it. Just run away. Oh, no. I think of oh. drugs. And you could leave it a wreck. This message has been brought to you by the United States Don't Marine Corps. wreck it with drugs. Oh, this one, dude. These ones are the best. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. Oh my sure. god, yeah. actually you're right. I do wow. remember the yeah. guild. When you see it, it hits in a certain way. R.I.P. to the Godfrey. You see more smoke. Smoke detector. I like that the they made the smoke, smoke detector look like Gilbert Godfrey. Look at it. He's got a sweetie eye. Looking at you. Renowned Fox pops out of your pop it off. Hey, my man. Rest in the peace, Gilbert. Happy the 420. more smoke I see, the more noise I make. And I see more smoke coming from that toaster. <gasps> oh my God. Thanks for warning us, Seymour. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> I hate smoke. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a headache. So whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. Because where there's smoke, there may be fire. He's popping Good out team, of that Seymour. socket. How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them. Is there one outside your bedroom? There should be. Tell your parents. Be cool about fire. Fire safety. Be cool. Be cool, be cool, yeah. Uh, when I was reviewing these, uh, hey. that jingle got stuck in my brain so hard. Such be cool one. about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. It's so good. Be cool. Be cool about fire hey, safety. Hey, how you doing? How are you, buddy? We just stopped by to let you know that we at Union Tobacco really appreciated your business. 30 years. That's that's incredible. And not once did you think about changing brands on us, did you? Now, they don't make them like you anymore, buddy. No, they don't. I don't know how we'll ever replace you. The tobacco industry loses over 1,000 customers every day. Take it easy, Dad. Guess who's been chosen to replace them? Uh oh. That lady. Yo, know, the Black. early truth commercials before they got all cool font. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no, 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 Yeah, and I was having a good trip earlier. Now I'm starting to have a not so good trip. Man. Oh. I'm starting to not have a good trip, dog. I'm back. Yo, got any of those man. extra silkworms laying around, dude? Dude, it's gonna make a freaking silk nest in your brain. Ew, how far up does it go? No, oh, I don't want to yeah. watch. It's really gross. I like the sound effect it makes. Don't tell me it's gonna come out of his forehead. Oh, my Pops God. out right where the hand is. Who are these cool cats? <laughs> Aren't anybody those, anybody in chat now before we find out? Yeah, I if think... anyone can get this right, I'll VIP you right now. Is it anybody? the guy on the left from Backstreet Boys? Am I wrong? I don't know. Is it O-Town? Who knows the group? Name that group. NSYNC? Nope. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think NSYNC has more people. Nope. Backstreet Boys? Nope. No, I don't think so. New Kids on the Block? Nope. 98 no, degrees? No. Victor Alley shouting out all the dank homies in New Jersey. Hey! Ooh, Jersey! Le legal dank sales begin tomorrow. Oh, wait, are you for real? So why, why couldn't they push that for a day early? Uh, they knew what they were doing. What a bunch of fuckers. Nickelback? Yeah, it's Nickelback. No. Mick got it, dude. Backdoor boys? <laughs> This was a look, though. Like, this was the NSYNC 98 Degrees Backstreet Boy vibe. Open up that collar with the short the sleeves. Shell. Bunch of stuff around your wrist. Yep. Yeah, this of this stuff. looks going to come back. Mm hmm. 100% is going to come back. Oh, yeah. Jodo with the five. Thank you, dude. Yo, Jodo, my Mayman, man. Mayman and Vic. What up, dude? Hi. We're Youngstown. Hi. We're Youngstown. You know, it's a tough time.
Youngstown. Anybody get Youngstown? Anyone what name their, the their popular fuck? song? Youngstown. We're Youngstown. We're Youngstown. Hi, we're Youngstown. You know, it's a tough time right now, and one of the hardest things is feeling like there's nothing you can do to help, but that's not true. You could try donating your allowance this week to a charity. You can bug your parents and teachers about giving blood. Or you can you tell your parents, go blood. bug your parents because I need blood. Let's That's why I'm blood. passing out right now. Mom, <laughs> Mom, I want to give blood. Bad boy Brett from the youngsters <laughs> wants me to give my blood. Parents and teachers about giving blood. Or you can rally your friends together and ask them to give clothes and canned goods. Or write a thank you letter to the police, the fire, and the paramedics in your neighborhood. Or you can do something so simple as holding someone's hand. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do something. Whose hand are you gonna hold? Or you could do something like super sexy and like hold your homie's hand. <laughs> hey, dude, hold my hand. <laughs> you look like you're having a hard so time right now. You're having a hard time. So take action and make a difference in our world. God bless. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Hold the hands like this. God bless. God bless. <laughs> Donate your blood. Rubbing his hands. God All bless. right. So where's that money at? All right, we're Youngstown. We pay up. We don't just do this shit for free, motherfucker. God bless. Thank you. Let me hold your hand. Yo, Kuluka, how you doing, man? Sabah. The PR troopers are going to tell us some shit? Delicious coming with the tier two. What up, dude? Purple asses tonight. Let's get it. Here's a message from the VR troopers. What? Those that are like, hey, we need another Power Ranger. We need more Power Rangers. More Power Rangers? Saban, give us some more Power Rangers. Oh, fuck yeah. Not have to do chores. Oh, the VR troopers! Everybody has to do what chores. What the fuck? fuck? Yo! This guy looks like the Power Ranger droid that was like annoying, but all done up like fucking Mortal Kombat robot. If Daft Punk didn't retire, this is what they would have been. So. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah, the guy on the left for sure looks like Daft Punk. Yo, these guys are cool as and fuck. on the right. This guy's like super American robot. The guy man. in the middle looks weird, like Duro from Virtual Fighter. Ultraman, you know? Yeah. Big gay skeleton coming oh, with the five. Yo. Gifty. Thank you so much. What up, dude? Much appreciated, it's gay skeleton. Don't remember them? I don't remember I these I don't remember them either. At all. No. At it. all. He has to do chores, Peter. Especially grown up. Yeah, it's all right to have fun. As long as your work is finished, okay? You got it. What's impressive? I'm very proud of you. <laughs> be a real trooper. Remember, anything worth achieving is worth working for. Mm -hmm. And now a message from the Totally Kids Detective Agency. Oh! Oz oh, fucking ASMR stream. Oh! What the fuck? Dandy! Sugar alert! We got to go! What are we going to do? I... Chamber. Oh, you have too much sugar. Oh, the fits, huh? Look at that drip, dude. Oh, no. Is that Death's bowling ball again? Oh, no. Where am I? They're in Blight Town. I hate when they would do that voice. But don't worry. There is a way out. But you have to eat more sugar to get there. Blight Town. Wait. Sugar Rush Blight Town. Oh, fuck. Wait, there's another way out. Vegetables. The power of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yuck. Run. Gamba, Gamba. There's got to be something healthy that she likes. Broccoli? An apple? Yeah. Eh. More candy. Banana Sunday. Fresh fish. Soda. A sandwich. A sandwich. Ooh, that was close. Well, it sure was. Remember, a balanced diet helps keep you healthy. Boy, that Cobb salad really made me feel better. I don't know about you, kid. <laughs> helps keep you healthy. And eating too much of any one thing. Like sugar. And throw your body out of balance. Is that Part the guy from it safe uh, is keeping the America's Most safe. Wanted or whatever? <laughs> America's Most Wanted, yeah. It's me, it's Joe Walsh. Keeping, Joe Walsh, yeah. Playing it safe is keeping your body safe on the inside. Yep, that voice. As well as the outside.
as well. If you download. Oh, how did this get in here? How did this get in here? Yo, 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 yo! I'm worried. Pops. You checked this, no, right? No, I pre-screened it. You checked this, okay. right? Oh, is All that right. Sarah Palin? No, it's Nalen Palin. Chat, <laughs> chill. If you download pirated movies from the internet, they've chats. A performer, Sarah Palin. She's a. I don't know why they put a weird stage. Uh, oh, no, no, you can't see it. Pops, don't move. Uh, it's uh, Sarah, Sarah Palin. They've got a word for that. It's stealing. Maybe it seems okay to do because it's really easy to get something for free. But if you made your living selling something, you wouldn't want people to steal it just because they can. When you illegally download any kind of content, oh, she's you great. make it harder for the very performers and creative she's, artists. Huh? She's great. Great? Yeah, she's a great performer. Where's all the male performers, huh? Oh, don't worry, Lou. <laughs> I got some for everybody. Don't worry. Thousands of people at war behind we go. the scenes. There we go. Wait, he's a director. He's a creep. Never mind. <laughs> And they've been waiting for me to show up, Lou. The <laughs> work behind the scenes in the adult industry are hurt by content theft. Many of us have families that we support with our income. We pay taxes and contribute to local economies. These people and are. The oh no! I'm stimulating Pops. the economy. Come on, Son. man! You can't just put Ron on I'm the doing screen my without part. warning me. It's Why about me? you? It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> do 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 do. Dude, time's dude. been tough since this whole piracy thing. It's a me, a Mario, and I don't do drugs or nothing bad, kiddos. <laughs> now do the Mario with me. Performers, artists, producers, and retailers are losing money. Wow. Oh. The guys that run the illegal tube and torrent sites are making money. By sweating material that doesn't belong to them. And they do not care about the consumer either. They offer inferior quality. They don't care about us. They don't care about the Coomers. Coomer rights. Is Coomers it weird matter. that I don't give a shit about any of this? Whoa, Louis! Uh, they got kids. They pay taxes. <laughs> you know what? What do you want me to say? They're still man? people, Lou. <laughs> I mean, it's sad that they're people, but I just don't give a fuck. I'm Jimmy sorry. Jimmy Cox, this guy's had to <laughs> film. <laughs> I almost said this. Be potentially criminal. People Without already steal my content. Go ahead. If you watch adult <laughs> entertainment or any content, shame on you. <laughs> if you watch it, shame on you. Coomers. Um, I'll leave this up so you know people browsing Twitch see that and wonder yeah, what the are these guys talking update. about. Louis, what do you want? Pizza? Oh fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> I'll let you pick between this one here, that one there. Yeah. Okay. Every okay. time, dude. Are you kidding? Okay. Yeah. I was impressed by uh, Pizza Hut's thin crust last time. Oh wow! But, um, nah. They get a they get a thin crunch like a like a like a crunchy like cracker, it's crispy. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, but this place's all right too. Place, all right too. Let's see here. I'll Those lips out. are fake. Uh, no, no, she's all natural, real, dude. dude. You you just you're close minded. You're see, just uh, a hater. Barbecue chicken for me, of course. Lou, you ever seen the uh, the uh, Sarah Palin parody? No, actually. Uh, I love the fucking guy that plays John McCain. There's, oh my god, there's a John McCain guy in it? <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, John McCain, of course. Jesus, I dude. gotta check that out now. The, Ob the Obama's pretty good, too. But I don't want to have to pay for it. Can I just go on one of these illegal tubes? No, 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 you have to it? buy You have to buy the Blu-ray. <laughs> you think oh, she's geez. specifically still making money off of the Blu-rays? I hope so. I hope so too. They pay taxes, huh? They're stimulating uh, people? America. Yeah. But now what's weird is like now porn stars are like partnered with the tube sites, right? I don't know. I don't know the inner workings of the adult entertainment industry. Like it seems industry. like Pornhub, like there's like a bunch of like companies that like have their own branded page now. I'm sure, yeah, right. They've right? uh, adjusted to the new way that uh, people ingest content, right? I don't know, man. I hope that you know, she's getting paid and making big bucks. To be fair, I don't watch porn anymore, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. All right, Lou, you can go ahead and pick whatever kind of pizza you would like. Uh huh. And hand uh -huh. that right back to me. Let's see what else. If you watch adult entertainment or any content available on the internet, the people that create. Yeah, uh, with Patreon, by the way, uh, shout out to all the patrons out there who support independent content creation. You guys 
help make this possible. And at the end of the day, you get something in return, which I think you guys enjoy. Look, he's blowing you a kiss, Pops. Mm. I don't want to kiss anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't you want to blow a kiss back? He's nah, I don't want to blow anything towards nothing at this guy. I, 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 I knew someone that was on a plane uh, where he was on a plane, and they said he had a particular smell. Like what? A heavy body odor. Oh, I bet, dude. Heavy cream. <laughs> Papo? Oh. I brought my own lunch. You good? Oh. Yeah. I want you lunch. to enjoy it. They just need you to pay for it so we can continue to make the product. Cousin that Stevie! You enjoy watching. We in the adult entertainment family love. And Why is that our his, fans. like, porn name? Cousin? Uh, that is a little fucking creepy, right? I... We in the adult entertainment family love and appreciate our fans. But eventually, if no one's willing to pay for the movies we make, they won't exist. We work That's not true at all. That is not. That's further from you. the truth than so ever, right? Isn't like amateur porn like crazy popular? If yeah, it's really this, popular. Chances yeah. are people just filming their own ding dong. Don't people say that like yeah. porn is really bad for your mental health? I mean, everything with, uh, you know, consideration and uh, responsible consuming, right? Like, having a lot of people come out saying that they can't, you know, enjoy sex with regular people because they're so weirded out by regular porn that these people made. What about those, you know, all those victims? <laughs> Coomer rights. What about them? Coomer rights, dude. Stand Coomer up for rights. your rights. You sure you don't want one, Papo? I'm good. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, Louie. Gotcha. <laughs> Cousin oh. Skip. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Chet. Where's, uh, the, where's the PSA for the Coomers? Billy Mays Blue Balls with 100 Biddies. Uh, Ron Jeremy did a porn debate at my college. Did he win? <laughs> Probably not. He's or did he just start sucking his own dick. And then He's like, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Long Wage Douche Canoe with the 75 months. Thank you. Thank you. BKD with the double gifted subs. Happy 420, man. Uh, OG Nut with the 19. How you doing, man? Genial Chris with the 5. Uh, he's my favorite plumber. Yeah, don't let him check your pipes too long. Uh, Watch out for him. Quartz set, thank you for the 30, uh, three years, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Delicious set. Uh, Maymarn, thank you. And for the record, I don't know who any of these uh, performers are. I I only um, I only watch... Uh, Order has been sent. Uh, Christian sermons on YouTube. I only know who Lisa Ann is because she was all in the news during the McCain thing. So please show your support by buying our product. If you're watching this, Jeremy, chances obviously. are you did pay for your entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Enjoy it. We made it just for you. Enjoy Never bought porn it. once in my life. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Not even we once. We made it just for you. Don't tell me to do Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this ad's really gripping, isn't it? It's yeah. really sending a strong message. I really miss that Sarah Palin ad. It's an ASMR thing. I fall asleep to this. <gasps> it's falling asleep. Oh, oh. no. Whoa! 99.9%? .9 I don't think that's a true stat. Yeah, that can't be true. Yeah, that's not even... No, that's not true at all. Maybe 99.9% .9 of people who reported falling... Wait, they couldn't report if they died. So huh? there's like one guy... That's not true at all. So there's one guy who's like, bro, I was... And I just went... Pulled it back together and I was fine. I mean, there's nothing more terrifying than being so exhausted where you feel yourself nodding and you're like, Fuck! That is an anxiety that is just like worse than like being like the late to school wake up anxiety. That's scary. Oh my God, that's real scary stuff, Ugh. man. I yeah, remember uh, blast the music, put the windows down, feel the wind. I was uh, coming back from a road trip with me and my buddies, and we did like an all nighter. And I was driving. And I'm like, I'm gonna nod off, and I do not want to be that guy. Uh, we have to pull over, and <laughs> I'm glad we did because that is just too scary, man. Yeah, it's not Ugh. worth it. Yeah. Go to sleep, wake yeah. up the next day, and go. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you going to save? Like, six hours time? Big fucking deal. Yeah. yeah, pull over, take a little nap. 
even then, like, I don't trust myself to nap because, like, I can't take naps. I sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> it's just too scary, man. I mean, I, I pull off to the side and we, we took a break and stuff. Real spooky stuff. Yeah. Pull up to a Walmart, take a nap. There you go. Mercedes Benz. And a Budweiser. Feels European. It's like a high art. Maybe the best cars in the world end up like this. That one's pretty straightforward. It's a long one. They didn't really show. What the fuck uh, are we looking at? Pops. <laughs> you watch these. It's fine. It's fine. Just chat a minute ago. Alien bud. <laughs> Boy. Yo, 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 yo. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, we just found the new meta for Twitch. Is that it? It was the pools. It was the bikinis in the pools. Then it's sucking on the microphones. Oh. Blowing balloons. Balloon art stream. Balloon blowing stream. Pool there are people side who have, balloon uh, stream. There's people who have fetishes for people popping balloons. I'm telling you. Then you, you get that demographic too. Mm -hmm. Sucking on balloons till they pop. Yo, Justin, I think we found our new demo. Call in the meta, dude. Go ahead. I just put that out in the universe. Pop off. Feel free to be the first. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god, I'm never smoking, dude. Why would you ever smoke? Then you can't blow balloons. Why would you ever smoke, dude? You'll never be able to make a balloon again. Hey, can you imagine? Ever, dude. Oh my God! <laughs> Louis have a hard time blowing balloons. Not that kind of balloon. No, you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> you want to try a couple? We have I some. blow up my balloon at least three times a day. <laughs> oh, all That's right. a healthy Easy. balloon, man. <laughs> Not before or after. After what? Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger Yo, warning. What the fuck is gonna happen? What? Trigger like warning. What's gonna happen? Trigger warning, that's all I'm saying. Huh? Okay. It's a sharp, sharp blade. <sighs> Don't touch it. Don't even. What are you displaying it? Continua difícil encontrar a cura da AIDS. Enquanto isso, não demorou em ponta de vaca. What? 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 Why are you punching knives? I think they're trying to do like a break in the skin type of a thing. Ah. Put a sheath on it. It yeah. still hurt if you punched it with a sheath. Yeah, but it'll it's go gonna... through it, won't it? If I you mean... punch that, it would hurt. Yeah. Ouch. Do you want to go in raw, though? Good point. And that dude's fisting, so, hey. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm super loud. Hello. I'm here to tell you about anal fisting. Hello, I'm George Bavard. Suppose you're eating with a friend and he suddenly begins to choke. Would you know what to do? Yes. If he can cough, leave him alone. Don't pound on his back. But if he can't cough, talk, or breathe, or if he only makes a high-pitched squeezing sound, you must take action. You got it. Here's what to do. Move behind your friend and put your hands like this. Right between the navel and the rib cage. Yeah, that's then, sweet, oh, sweet, tender little spot, dude. Yeah, the diaphragm. Oh, that's sweet. Right that's under that life saving button spot. I mean, spot. we're just whoopee cushions, right? We're just like a big sack of air, right? I know I am. I fart a lot, so. Then pull sharply in and up as many times as necessary. What's happening is this the food is acting like a cork in a bottle. <laughs> when you pull it in the stomach, you force the trap. It's funny to tell you, you can't really do it to yourself, huh? Uh, Not with the chair, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. The chair, yeah, the chair yeah. move. But I mean, just as you are, you can't like just 
push there. You don't have enough leverage. You right. can't push no. that spot, yeah. dude. Yeah, you have to fall on a, the back of a chair and kind of like press you it out of you. You can't whoopee cushion yourself. But that'd be That's scary. That's one of my biggest fears is like to start choking and then nobody's there. Oh, my God, no. That's why you never eat alone. Yeah. That's, well, choking in, in, in just instantly causes ah. anxiety and panic, right? Oh, it's the worst feeling, dude. Did you guys know the most choked on foods is hot dogs? Really? Yeah. So if you, you guys are at like what? a barbecue, make sure you're watching kids and stuff. Like if you feed your kids hot dogs, chop them up before you give it to them. Just be careful. Because it's so slippery, huh? Not because it just fits perfectly down there. That glizzy is so slippery. Flip, flip, Don't choke right on your, your glizzies. I would have thought it would have been uh, whatever's got like a real thick cheese. That's like the last thing I had to like reach oh, back. Oh, dude. We need to reach back around the corner, fish it out, and pull out like this the huge long, thing of, like, cheese. stringy mozzarella. Those fucking oh. cheese, like the cheesiest cheeses where you're like, this is dangerous. Yeah, like on a pizza, like a really cheesy yeah. pizza. The thick, yeah, the thick, cheesy, heavy shit. Just oh, be careful. That's like the mozzarella last Mozzarella sticks. Go slow, that, boys. Yeah, I think I've had that happen with mozzarella stick before. That's the last slow. Thing. Yours was a tortilla chip? Oh, a st- spiky would hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Hold on, ah. let me just punch you in the throat and break it up. Ah. Yeah, that reminds me of the last commercial. The, the, the fear of biting in a tortilla chip that's pointed straight up. And you go. Oh, yeah. dude, I've done that before. It, it is goes fucking worse. right up your gums. Right between your teeth. Woo! And it's just like jammed in there. Yeah. And you go, oh, and you keep eating because you're like, I'm hungry. Toothpick kills people? <sighs> Don't fuck with toothpicks. See people doing that all the time because they have like, they need something to like get the oral fixation. They need something uh, on the lip. Listen. It's okay something. to have one. Just don't keep it in your mouth all the time, like you're a freaking greaser or some shit. What if you're if you're you're picking your teeth? You got the, the the toothpick in your mouth. You're walking. You slip and you go forward. Why are you walking around while you're picking your teeth, getting your fucking nasty old hey, meat I, everywhere? I gotta go places, man. Get the fuck out of here with that. Do that shit in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, man, you don't tell me I'll live my life. Oh, Blue Ball says he hates when it. Well, if you're eating a sandwich with a toothpick. You, oh, no, I hate that. I oh, actually hate yeah, that. Dude. I actually hate that. You have to move it to the halfway point. So if you're here at 100%, take a bite. you got to move it back because you're going to get closer and closer. No, you just take oh, it I out before that. you start eating it. But Justin. it keeps everything together. You oh, hold my. it with your heads. Bro, uh, bro, I, I, I think we should ban toothpicks. And I'm not even lying. I saw a video of, like, the birthday cake. And they like they're doing oh, the no, happy birthday, up, and they, they did the, the cake head into the cake, but the cake had things to prop up other things. Ah, oh, goddamn! No. Don't smash somebody's face into a multi-layered cake. And tooth toothpicks and face smashing. And why would you put something sharp inside of a cake? Unless you're trying to break somebody out of prison. What a horrible ah. idea for a fucking cake. Also, oh, don't. Don't spray silly string near lit candles at a birthday party. <laughs> I've PSA's, seen that go PSA's. fucking bad a few times. There's so much good advice in this one stream, man. Whether it's AIDS or toothpicks, we got it all covered today, Wear boy. Wear a condom when you use your toothpicks. Eat a condom if you're eating a sandwich with a toothpick. Oy. What's this boomer going to tell about fucking popping corn? When you pull in in the stomach, you force the trapped air. PC tech, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. When you pull in in the stomach, you force the trapped air to pop the cork out. Oh, felt that. <laughs> felt it watching it, huh? Oh. Air to pop oh, the cork warn out. me. You can even do this to yourself using the back oh, of the chair. Oh, there it is, You can dude. even do this to yourself. Uh, Lou, you called it. Uh, uh, yeah, you need that leverage. You can you really work the gut there. Hey, shouts to self-love. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm licking myself. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh, I'm oh licking God. myself. Oh, I'm licking, I'm licking, I'm licking, I'm licking, I'm licking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh. And the best part about that is whatever comes out ends up right on a nice surface, right on a nice chairs. Technically, you can eat it. Yeah, it's already just been in your mouth. <laughs> just chew it up better this time, right? Look <laughs> at a chair, your own fist. It's simple. Okay, yeah, there is the oh, self. I guess you can. The self-standing That's one. That's probably not as effective. <sighs> you really right? got to really jab. Yeah. You got to like punch yourself yeah. almost. But it can save lives. The Will Rogers Institute has a free booklet about this technique and the variations you should use for pregnant women. Oh, it yeah. It also shows how oh, to reduce... God. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Never thought about that. Yeah, how do pregnant ladies do it? Pregnant ladies, stay away from, uh, what is it, hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> stay away from them, pregnant ladies. You don't want to run any risks, right? That's not that's chokeable glizzy number one is number one. So I also heard grapes are pretty dangerous, especially for kids. Ooh, oh, uh, 
Do you guys remember the, uh, I think they might, uh, either we have this or I just saw it recently on Reddit. Remember like the uh, Burger King Pokemon balls that, that broke in half? Mm -hmm. They banned those things because like three-year-olds would swallow and choke oh, them out. Oh shit, yeah. It was a perfect size. But then how does the pregnant lady do the, the solo Heimlich maneuver? Really scary, dude. You just gotta always have people around. It also shows. Guy, you get like nowhere to push. It's like the top of the chest. Pregnant women. It also shows how to reduce the chances of choking, especially for children. For your free copy, write the Will Rogers Institute. Oh, it's like the biggest fear ever. If you ever yeah. have kids, it's like the choking kids. Choking. kids. Oh, it's so terrifying. Oh god. Uh... And they just they, they they intentionally just swallow stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's why we had a PSA yep. that was like, "Don't put anything in your mouth <laughs> ever." Well, what's this guy got to tell us, huh? Massive legend. Thank you for the prime. Thank seven, you. Seven, dude. Hey, Twitch if Primers. We don't, if we don't slow down global warming fast, it won't be inconvenient. It'll be intolerable. Chicago now gets two weeks of 90-degree weather. In just 60 years, it could expect two months of it. Much of Florida and Long Island could find itself underwater <laughs> as sea levels rise. Florida will soon be the city of Atlantis. A thriving yeah, underwater city with a metropolis full of everybody. We need to adapt people. now. <laughs> we need to adapt now and how to live amongst the fish. Oh, Chicago gets six months of summer now? Pog. As sea levels rise. Right. Every man, woman, and child can help make a difference. And that includes you. The Sierra Club can show you how. Find out nice today mustache, your kids, dude. their kids, are counting on you. That's I wonder what his forehead tastes like. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that with everything now. Find out today your kid. Oh, geez, fellas, I think I might have cystic fibrosis. Here, <laughs> let me lick you. <laughs> Find out today your kid, their kid. That's John Ritter? Oh, my God. It looks so different. Who's That's John, John Ritter? Who's wow. that? Wow. Uh, Three's Company and uh, Problem Child Dad. Yeah. I'll throw it up for you. Turn left. Oh, God. What was that loud-ass noise? Sorry. Something was loud. I didn't oh, have time Jesus. to turn it down. I got it. Oh, he's opening a beer. Oh, that guy. Oh, wow. That's him? Holy shit. He looks way different. God mm -hmm. damn. A mustache changes some dude's faces up all the way. It doesn't, doesn't even look, like, look like the same guy. At all. I think he passed away like 20 years ago. Rest in peace. Getting foamy. Mm. Whoa. Mm, making me thirsty. Oh. Wait. Was that how it oh. works? Oh. Yeah, when you're drunk, everything's flip flop. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, as soon as you start drinking, your, your lefts are right and your up is down. And Drinking is right. That's what I. <laughs> Turn that left into a right, brother, with a butt light. <laughs> you know what's crazy thing about? People used to drink and not be like, Oh, I can't drive a car right now. I'm really fucked up. Like, they were just like, yeah, let's get in the car. Let's go. It's like, how do you not know you're fucked up when you're like, oh. But you see, the thing is, with the alcohol, it's also a confidence booster. So people are like, I could fucking do it. True. Woo, 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 sheesh. And they think they can. Because they got that liquid courage that's also the doomsday. I our fishing fun. Are you saying that these online services really aren't that great because of this? No, I'm not saying that. They're very good and very useful. All I'm saying is that you have to be careful. That's it. Let's check to see how... <laughs> that is that... such re reading the script in his head. Uh, to this? No. Cadence right there. To this? It looks no, like he has not... the, the, the freaking page taped to his forehead. No. <laughs> to this? No, I'm not saying that. They're very good. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're very good. <laughs> yeah, this guy, the other kid. This kid is the script on his glasses, no, and he's reading. Good. He's reading. <laughs> he talks like Bill Burr. <laughs> They're very good and very useful. All I'm saying is that you have to be careful. That's it. Let's That's check it. to see if I get any mail. I'll just go into my mail room. Well, let's see who it's from. Dear online member, hello, I am a worker for the online connection. There has been a mix-up in your credit account. We need your credit card number to fix this error. Please send us a message right. that includes your credit card <laughs> number and your password. Thanking you in advance, the online connection service password. manager. Where did you? Uh uh. I don't think so. <laughs> that was great. Got him. Uh -uh. Do you want my uh -uh. password? I don't think so. Uh -uh. Don't think so. That'd be a great meme. Just like, uh uh. Uh uh. 
I don't think so. That is really good, dude. I don't think so. I don't think so. Somebody posts a bad take on Twitter, you just post that as a response. Oh, it is a young Kit Boga. I don't think so. Yeah. Trying to scam me? I don't think so. I don't think so. And Aaron? Uh uh. I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so, pal. Sean is legendary. What up, dude? 48 hey, months. Hey, happy 420, everyone. Gillum and Gerald with 84 Gilly months. boy. Yo, God Gil. Damn. Thank you so much, man. We Gilly go, boy. 84 months. We go way back, boy. And Ham, what up, Ham? How you doing, Hammy? Ham Majera coming in. Oh. Ham Hope y'all's day is going great, dude. Having a good time. This shit is awesome. Nah, don't think so. <laughs> No booze. This look. This guy has that fucking look. Where is it? The backwards, like mm, this hat, hat with a vest over a t shirt. My yeah. God, dude. The vest over the t shirt look cool. Crazy as fuck, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. And the suspenders that aren't being used. Oh, I thought he had a tail. I was like, what is he? <laughs> the drip. Just the most insane drip you ever saw in your life. That was sick. I mean, there I was walking down the hall, and who comes Whoa, around the corner? this is weird. It's like stop motion. Yeah. Around the corner? Jason Whoa. Evans. I almost died. What do I say? Hello, Jason. Good afternoon, Jason. You don't know me, but I love you, Jason. I mean... He's coming right towards me, you know, like in slow motion or something. We look right into each other's eyes. He has the most beautiful eyes. And I those say, Nickelodeon Hi, bumpers. Jason. He sort of stops and says two words, breath mint. I mean, what does that mean anyways? He's got braces on. When you smoke, oh, your smoke? breath stinks. Whoa. A message from health partners. From health partners. So weird. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Heavy D. <gasps> Big Thick D. Heavy D. R.I.P. The in heaviest case. of the Ds. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Heavy D. Heavy Whenever you D have sex, so you should real. always use a latex condom. I do. <laughs> he keeps Yo! it under the hat, dude. I he keeps keep it under the hat. I got that heavy D. on me. <laughs> Literally Ooh. on me. Wow. Use a latex condom. I do. <laughs> Life beat. The music industry fights AIDS. Yo, so he's fucking. Need. That's cool as fuck. Heavy D throwing it up to the t He didn't have to take anything out of his pocket in a wallet. Just like right here. He just goes like that and it fucking <laughs> falls down on his dick, dude. Perfect. Perfect. Every time. Time for that heavy D. I do. <laughs> what happened to heavy D? How did he go? I don't know. I don't want to say. I don't know. I don't want to say know. it's AIDS if he's doing a. I, he's a big man. He's a large man. He's a large like, uh, feller. The, his D got industry. too heavy. He couldn't carry it around. Too big? D. The music industry fights AIDS. Strong don't need guns. Oh, this guns dude. Tools Henry Rollins. Weak. This is true. If you disagree with me, it's okay. You're wrong. That's like every Twitter argument. That's just Henry Rollins in a nutshell. <laughs> it's okay. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> That's also a good meme for everyone. <laughs> You're yeah. wrong. It's okay. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, miss. A couple questions. When was the first time you saw someone smoking cigarettes? I, I was at a party or something. Some of my girlfriends were doing it. I, How you old know, were you? if someone asked me when's the first time I saw people smoking cigarettes, I'd be like, uh, my aunt? My aunt? When I was three, <laughs> my dad was smoking in the backyard. Uh, Louis' dad, maybe? Uh, <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Like the smell still to this day makes me think of being a kid, being in yeah. our aunt's car. A family like, member. Oh, this is what my aunt's right? car just smells my like. My babysitter used to smoke in the car when I was in in the car with her. I remember that. Whoa, dude. That was before like all the secondhand smoke ads things became a thing, though. Mm. Some of my girlfriends were doing it. How old were you? Thirteen, I think. Do you smoke? You no. were thirteen when you saw your first you cigarette. Break? That was just I was at a party or something. Some of my girlfriends were doing it. How old were you? Thirteen, I think. Damn. Y'all were going to parties at 13? <laughs> With cigarettes. <laughs> A cigarette party. I was fucking, I was like sleepovers in Halo. Yeah. We were just eating pizza. Fuck? Who the fuck yeah. was at a party with cigarettes? I was playing dude. Goldeneye. God damn. Yeah, dude. We were playing time splitters and shit. The fuck? <clears throat> 13, I think. Do you smoke? Actually, no. I smoked weed before I ever smoked a cigarette. <gasps> 
That's how you. That's how you smoke cigarettes. Is because you smoke marijuana. Drug. That's why, dude. Gateway that's drug. why. You know, it all makes sense. All the things they say about weed, I have to admit, the <gasps> gateway drug thing is sort of true. And the reason is uh -oh. because they I'll lie take. to you about weed all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. make up this shit saying like, dude, it's gonna ruin your life and all this shit, and you smoke it, and you're like. It's not that big of a deal. And then you're like, what? I wonder what all this other shit's all about. Oh, hey, Louis. Hey, Louis. I see the angle you're going with. It's okay. You're wrong. You're wow. wrong, but it's okay. You're <laughs> it's wrong. okay. You're wrong. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody. Yeah, exactly. I would actually say uh, maybe alcohol is probably more of a gateway to, uh, you know, uh, indulging into the uh, stuff that makes me feel different. The things that alter your state of mind. And if anything, I actually had alcohol before I had weed, so that's more of the gateway. I think that's a common thing. And then also, it's like it's in advertising, right? You watch beer commercials all the time. Yeah, beer's more like mainstream. Yeah. You get that at the fucking restaurant. You get a Red Robin, yeah. you get a beer and a burger, boy. Yeah. Do you smoke? No. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah, smoke? No. Do any of your friends smoke? Most don't. Um, okay, well, I mean. It's okay. You're wrong. And then fucking dance. <laughs> it's okay. You're wrong. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> you can be wrong. It's fine. You can just be wrong. Circle Girk coming in with the 58 munch, boy. Woo. Woo. Sheesh. Any of your friends smoke? Most don't. Um, some. Okay. Well, I mean, few, I guess. Why do you think it is that they do it? I don't know. I guess they just, like, think they think other people will think it's cool. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I got better do things Do people to do. think smoking is cool? Nah. Mm. Uh, I think some people do it for social. Uh, I think so. The cool things. thing now is vaping, right? It, is it cool? It I is mean, cool, dude, man. Is I it? see a lot of like young teenagers. Hmm. Like I remember when I worked at like uh, retail jobs, I would see a lot of teenagers like vaping before they could even buy them. Oh, well, yeah? I think vaping definitely has the uh, the candy uh, things where you get different flavors, right? You get cotton candy, birthday cake flavored vapes. So in that regard, maybe it's cool. It's cool. You're wrong. <laughs> it's cool. If you're like a bad guy in a movie, then yeah, it's cool. In the it's same cool. way, in the same way, like it's a bad guy. I don't want to be like the Joker. You know, no one wants to be him, but he's cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Is the same person cooler if they did not smoke? Or and they're just cool. standing there. What do they do with their hands? You know, nothing. They're just. Do you guys remember hookah bars being cool? I hated hookah bars. <sighs> Never liked it. I went like one time and I was like, eh. Never but I think it. it's mostly because I did it wrong. I think I smoked it like a bong. Yeah, I was no, like, yeah. I'm supposed to do that. power slamming it, trying to <laughs> get fucked up. And I was like, oh, I feel sick. Yeah, I just thought, man, this smell, this, this doesn't taste very, I don't know, it didn't taste good. Like, But it's like it's like a social experience. Exactly. Sure. You go in there There's with a your ritual. friends, it's like you're 18, but you're in a bar. It's a thing to do. And they come around with those hot-ass coals, put them down. The, the lighting of the coals is kind of a cool thing. You have to yeah. flip the coals. Yeah. And they look cool. I mean, they, I mean, cool. Uh, you guys can, right? you guys can say it's not cool, but I mean, we all know like the truth. Let's be real. Like when you see fucking John Wayne smoke a cigarette, like dude, that guy's a badass. Yeah. Like yeah, it just, cool. it's just a, a thing that happens. I mean, they de like tobacco companies. Their marketing made cigarette smoking look cool. Like they buy a design. Cause it's like that guy doesn't care about nothing. He's just. Stomping it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, gives you a whole thing to do with your character. Like, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. 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 You need, like, the guy. It's, like, always it's a guy in a suit with, like, wet hair. He's, like, combing it back. And then he's fucking, like, working his hands. He's grabbing the thing. He's lighting it. He's talking. He's, like, lighting mm -hmm. while doing it. Mm -hmm. It's, like, dude, that guy's cool. And he's robbing banks and shit. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to smoke, right? Slicking his hair Only back. Only tough guys smoke. He's always slicking the hair back. It's, all, it's, like, wet for some reason. They haven't even showered or anything. You know? Dookie you Lord. <laughs> Lou, you don't know about things. You're an engineer. <laughs> you need to make up your goddamn mind, Sir Dookie Lord. Why, thank you. Got him. <laughs> Love you. Most of us feel pretty safe when we're at work. But every year, highway and utility workers are injured or killed on the job. That's because drivers aren't careful and don't slow down when they approach work zones. Think about it. How would you like it if someone drove through your workplace at 65 miles an hour? Chill. Oh my god! All oh. the crews are just doing their job. Holy shit. <laughs> what are the odds we were just filming a commercial and that happened? <laughs> that is amazing and no one got hurt? 
and drove through your workplace oh, at 65. Did that guy barely get <laughs> out of there? Fuck, he's man. Stunned, man. He's okay. At 65 miles an hour. Work zone crews are just doing Oh, their boy, job. we really should have not built this uh, cubicle right yeah. here on the road, too, huh? I mean, I definitely have, like, a, a respect for people that do construction on the side of the road. Yeah. I mean, my God, what a fucking crazy yeah, job that's that, got to be. That shit looks tough, dude. Uh, I, you, know, I, you know, streaming, I've always said this. Streaming is, like, the hardest job on the on the face of the planet, you know? Uh, so it's like, <laughs> so to see other people struggle the same I way that we do, it's <laughs> tough. The tough. Tennessee Department of Transportation. <laughs> Get ready for the home fire safety test. Raven! Okay. That's Electrical so fire. Raven! Okay, it's me, Raven! For the home fire safety Isn't that test. right, Raven? Okay. Electrical fire. What do you do? Use the fire extinguisher. Great. Grease fire. What do you do? Have you guys ever had to use a fire extinguisher? I've never used a fire extinguisher ever I in my life. I almost used ever. it the other day. Really? I have one in my kitchen. And uh, like some butter melted into like the thing and then like caught fire. Oh, shit. And I just turned off the heat and it went out real quick. But I almost was going to grab it if it didn't go out. And oh, man. Luckily, man. it went out. So my, my biggest fear is like a, like a fire pops off or something like that. And then you go for the extinguisher and it don't work. Yeah. And like, oh, what do I do? I didn't know what the fuck. The last time I saw fire, I think it was back at home and mom was cooking and something went way up. And I was like, is this where we all just leave and all of our things burn? And, and she goes, no! She grabs a blanket and just goes, Phew. the whole thing was gone. I was Whoa, like, Damn. that's risky. She like just covered it and it was like, Phew, gone. Was yeah, like, yeah. Shit. You got to smother it. I forget exactly use, what it was, but you what, can use what was on baking fire. soda. Smother it. You can smother it. You can use a lid. You can do so a many different things. A baking sheet. A baking sheet will smother it. My dumb ass. Like, Take it off the heat. Take it off the heat. Quick, give it more ass. fuel. My dumb ass. Like, oh, this is where the house just burned and we all die. No! Goodbye, <laughs> just let it slowly overtake the whole room. Don't oh, throw no. water on a grease fire. Do not throw water on a grease yeah, fire. Yeah, don't do that. It'll spread. Wait, what um, do they do? What do they do? They have a grease fire right here. Great. Grease fire. What do you do? Smother it. That's what it was. Smother. Yep. That's what I think it was what my mama was doing. It'll drop all the oxygen out of it, so yeah. it won't be able to burn. It was a hot oxygen keeps it a going. Hot greasy pan. What are you gonna say? But you it's really smart to go buy a freaking fire extinguisher. To have one. And just put it in the corner or something of your kitchen. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's I mean, like the most said, effective, right? Like a electrical outlet? Yeah, you need that. You know, I, I, need that. I don't know if I own one. I have one, yeah. I think about it. Like, I don't I don't know where my personal fire extinguisher is, if I have one. Looks like you need to make a purchase later. Pops. I'm going to do a responsible thing after this and buy a fire extinguisher. Yeah, they're like 20 bucks at Home Depot. Take a it's class like on how to use bad. <laughs> Good. Trash fire. And now use the water. For more information, write the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. I got hot, wet trash. And for the uninformed, you know, if you're like frying bacon, you know? Yeah. Mm. If you throw water on that thing, it's going to go, psh, right? Yeah. Same thing when it's on fire. Yeah. Yeah, and all the oil will spread out and yeah. burn everything, not just oh. what's in the pan. You guys seen those like cooking, like restaurant fails? Dude, the those worst are ones scary as fuck. Are dude. when people try to um, fry a, a frozen turkey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, that's bad. That is the worst. Yeah, I think there's bad. quite a number of people who haven't survived that act of trying to do that shit because yeah. they explode right frozen turkey yeah, it shoots out like yeah. freaking like a like a i don't even know how to describe it like a jet engine yeah and it causes like a little explosion yeah shit. because like uh you think you've gotten all the water off the turkey thing mm. but you're just dumping a giant giant frozen turkey into boiling grease Oof. that is gonna go up fucking scary dude really scary stuff it's the water and the ice yep Will Rogers. What's a German schlager? I think they're movies. Is that a what German? kind of movies? Are, no, not shites or no. Oh, okay. German scheisers? She's making illegal copies of German scheises. Give me a minute. Do you think, Lou? Oh, excuse me. Uh, yo, Ted from work. What up, dude? Yo, what up, Thank Ted? you for stopping by, man. Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, 
sick hair. His taste in music is crap. CD pirates get punished. Oh no, not the music industry. Luckily, I've never had the old uh, internet service provider come a knocking and go, what's this fucking Disney dot whatever yep. Emperor's New Groove was downloaded through yeah. Kazaa at this local IP address. What's I had going uh, on? I had my internet shut off. I, I was like, what the fuck's wrong with my internet? I called and they're like, looks like you've been flagged for piracy. It says here you've pirated the crudes. Oh, the DreamWorks crew. Yeah, the crew. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's not me. I don't even know what the crudes are. I would never. Maybe my unsecured Wi Fi is uh, the, the culprit in this. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Who's his next one? Damn. Oh, the sound on this is fucked. Quiet Turkey, what up, dude? Yo, what up, man? New sub, by the way. Thanks for joining us. Happy 420. If you're new, appreciate a follow. And we'll all guess what's going to happen to this guy. Hey, let me run and grab the... You mind if I grab this pizza sitting outside real sure, quick? Sure, sure, sure. Before some random person goes, Oh, fresh piping hot pizzas on this doorstep. I'll quick. do my spiel for, uh, you know, following the Patreon, which is a great place. We just did the uh, Two Towers Lord of the Rings. So if you're looking for something to watch after today's stream, I highly suggest you check out our Patreon. It also uh, helps us create more content, things like that. Uh, also, uh, shout-outs to Bergie with a three-year boom. Thank you, man. Much love. All Abandoned Hope, 32 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dookie Lord. Gert Turtle, welcome back. And uh, Twitch Prime, everybody. Twitch Prime is a free sub you get with Amazon Prime. Uh, it's a great thing. Uh, you get all the emotes that we got. But there's a kicker. You have to use your Twitch Prime manually. It's not set up automatically. You have to manually press it or else uh, billionaire overlord Jeff Bezos gets your $5. Don't let that happen. Loving the drip. Thank you, Billy Mays. Doing it for the community. You guys impressed us on our charity event, and I figured might as well go all out. You know what I'm saying? Wow, they got pizza going, and it smells good, 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 good. Jesus Christ. Well, Louie, what'd you get? I got the drip. Ah, uh, smells good. It's got, like, sausage, cheese, salt, peppers, onions. Show up the hair. I'll give you a little demo. I got pesto added on top. Ugh. Got the flying V mullet going on. Ugh. And we got plenty of content. We will be doing a Mario party probably in uh, about an hour, let's say. I'm going to just take a guess. I got to set that up, though. Anybody else eating some pizza on the 420? Louie, how do you like your pizza? Um, I mean, normally I don't get this kind of pizza, but from this place specifically, they have a like oh, wow. really good, like, fancy pizza. They got, like, the ricotta thing on there. Yeah, nice thin yeah. crust one. Meatloaf? Nice. You know what's an underrated topping for pizza? Meatball. Ah. Yeah. Meatball's an underrated, underappreciated topping. Business Otter, thank you for the six months in a row using that Twitch Prime. Uh, love to watch you guys while vibing on the couch. Yo, enjoy yourself, man. Oh Have a good one. John O. John O'Gab, thank you for the 28. Uh, Psychotic Snakes, thank you for so much of that Twitch Prime. Nine months. And a new sub, Simpy. Simpy Armpits. Yo. Love you, Armpits. Much love, Simpy. Enjoy your 420. Uh, also, check out the Patreon. Or not the Patreon, our Discord. The Discord's where I got most of the stuff from. And shout out to Straight Hype. Mm -hmm. Corn on pizza. I know the, the Swedish do banana pizza. What? Yeah, banana on your pizza. I know Teller River says he puts ketchup and tuna on his pizza. Yeah, yeah, the EU guys, they get really fancy with it and kind of weird. All right, we got pies. Let's go, boys. What's going to happen? What the? He's got his head in the sand, man. Mattias, I'm going to show off the pizza, but just for you. Don't spill that pizza. I will flip the It's all good, out. Lou. You don't need to show oh. it. I'm going to get skin cancer on his back sitting there all day. Yeah, Yo, Mattias, thank you for the 10 gifted. Yo, 
Oh, Big Matt. What are you crazy? What are you out of your mind? Yo. Oh, this this is floppy. I need a plate. Yeah, it's a little bit floppy. Be cool about floppy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Urkel. Jaleel White. Jaleel people White. That have great oh, Absolutely free. It's my library card. Drop by your local library and check it out. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. Japanese. He has a very like, adult face. Yeah, Why, you, can, adult you can face. tell he's like before Urkel here, but he's got the same face like as an adult. Yeah. Crazy. Drop by your local library. You know what? Uh, it, libraries uh, need to kind of oh, redo. Like, libraries could have been a cool place for, like, kids to go get exposed to, like, literature and stuff like that. But then it just turned into, like, a place for, like, homeless people to look at, you know, Google image porn. It's a place for the homeless to figure out what's going on in the world. Yeah. To access the internet. Yeah. Like, if I think about going to the library, I'm like, no. There's going to be a bunch of scary homeless people there. Yeah. It's terrifying. Like, um... I remember as a kid going to the library and being like, oh, this is cool. It smelled like a library. Homeless masturbation center. <laughs> shelter. Oh, that's a shelter. Well, hey, it's better than doing it inside. It's true. YouTube is a library now. Yeah, that's it, man. Libraries got taken out by Wikipedia. Motherfucker looks 14 and 34. That's what I'm saying. He's like old, but also young. And he still looks like that. Even though he's like, what, 40 now? He looks like he's 12. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, the homeless go there to print out. The go, homeless go to the library to print out pornography, and then go back to their camp. Encampment. The library and check it out. I, I saw some libraries you can oh, rent like Nintendo sixty fours and stuff, like oh, a PlayStation, no. oh, <laughs> a right. PlayStation two. You can rent a or uh, what do you do? You rent from a library? Borrow? Yeah, you borrow, right? Yeah, gotta bring that shit back, boy. I'll get you. Hi, お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。お母さん。
it's easy to get exactly what you want for like a relatively fair price. Now. I don't mind watching a bunch of ads if I'm going to get to something. That too. I really you know? don't mind. Yeah. They make it easier now. But back then, dude, it was like, I got to wait for 7 p.m. Friday to watch Family Guy? Fuck that. Like the, like the way we uh, intake music is so different than... 20 30 years ago where you had to buy a cd and that's like i don't even know if i like this music exactly yo what's up this is jodeci and all the things safe about jodeci is the way we get our freak on but jesus oh this dude's clapping yeah, they look like they're about to get their freak on. Yo, what's up? This is Jodeci. And the only thing safe about Jodeci is the way we get our freak on. But if That's the way we get our freak we on. We do freaky stuff. Get our freak on. But if your partner is not with it, don't risk the infection. So put on the jammy white. Don't risk the infection. <laughs> Ain't the worst. Hey, you make it sound so sexy. <laughs> getting, getting gonorrhea sounds kind of hot. Infected. Don't risk the infection. Put on the jammy, wear your hat, you know what I'm saying? Because AIDS is killing. Brought to you by Urban Aid for Life Beat. Peace. Peace. Man, they're very loose and relaxed about getting their freak on. I mean, that's all they do all day is make songs about freaking you. Getting the freak Yo, the on. Every time jealousy, I close my eyes. The way we have sex. Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> I just got young Dave Chappelle vibes out of this, this fella here. Yo, the only thing that's safe about Jodeci... Is the way we oh, it's the only thing the safe. The only thing safe about Jodeci is how they fuck. Yo, the only thing that's safe about Jodeci Yo. is the way we have sex. <clears throat> it's like this. Don't think that AIDS is only for gays or for drug Whoa. users. AIDS is for drug anybody users. who's not aware or who's not safe. And if you want to keep getting your swerve on or getting your freak on, just be safe about it. You know what I'm saying? You a Chad, are you trying to get your swerve on, huh? I thought getting your swerve on was drinking, but I guess it was wrong. <laughs> You trying to get your swerve on? You trying to get your freak on? Don't be a fool. And if you want to keep getting your swerve on or getting your freak on, just be safe about it. You know or saying? freak on. Are you trying to swerve or freak? You got to pick one. Well, both. Well, you, you well, now you're do doing that. ass to mouth? What the fuck you Damn. doing over there? You can't do that. You know, that's what you want. You can swerve and you can freak all you want, but you got to wear a condom. Just yeah, I just ate that it. whole pizza. Holy shit. Yeah, Did you I wear a condom? Safe. I should have. You know what I'm saying? You was Looking at the napkin there. Yeah, you should have. Like it it wasn't left, very safe. Left a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? Use a latex condom because AIDS kills you. So protect yourself. But what if you're allergic to latex? Well, there's other options. Then you get those ones that are made out of, like, goat stuff. Oh, that's so gross. Good luck convincing a girl to let you put goat skin inside of her vagina. Yeah, they got the lamb stomach one. You can fuck a lamb stomach. Yeah, it's like the casing of a sausage. Mm. Smell like pork. <laughs> <laughs> Man, your dick smell like a bratwurst. She won't know. It's really simple. Keep your head up, aim, shoot. Oh, 3D. Joe DeMars. It's really simple. Keep your head up, aim, shoot. A good follow-through is always crucial. Wow, wow. That's why I take my film to Arbor Drugs for Picture Picture. Arbor gives me great service, great choices, and great looking shots. Hey, when you got the shot, take it. Then take it to Arbor. Wait, take that wasn't, a, that wasn't a PSA. That, that was, was just an a, advertisement. That was just an ad for uh, straight hype. What are you trying to sell your, uh, your photo with? He's like, I got take stark to at Arbor. Arbor. What do you want from me? That snuck in there. Take it. <laughs> then take it to Arbor. Hey, this is Juicy J for Life B. Yo, Music Fight H I, I guarantee J. you, Juicy J smoking hella doinks right now. Mm -hmm. My man Music created a whole HIV career on doinking. Be an AIDS. Oh, don't AIDS fight HIV and AIDS. Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. Visit lifebeat.org for more information on how you can protect yourself. Tell them, Juicy. Stay flying. I feel like these Life Beat people, be like, just like, uh, we're like, filing in during like photo shoots like media pr like pressers and like hey can you do this quick thing uh it's a it's a it's a f <laughs> i don't know quick little ditty you quick can write thing. it off on your taxes yeah quick little ditty and they're like sure, sure. let's talk about fucking sure i'll do it hell yeah child abuse is simpler it works like this someone beats the crap out of their kids and they beat the crap out of their kids and they beat the crap out of their kids. 
and baby the crap out of their kids. And baby the crap out of their kids. Oh no, and so it doesn't on, fucking and so stop. On, and so on, and so on. Uh, and I like how I said beat the crap out of. Beat yeah, why crap. do you have to say that? Beat the crap. <laughs> I Jesus. Like, I felt like anytime I played Overwatch, I've had that same kid, so he's going to beat the crap out of I'm me. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. I'm Doomfist. Beat the crap. I'm going to grab another slice real quick. <laughs> Boy, beat the crap out of this next slice of pizza. GG Easy, beat the crap out of you. <laughs> I'm going to beat the crap out of you and your kids. And I'm going to beat the crap out of them. We need blood by the time we reach 72. Don't, don't bother me. I'm, I'm having a big idea. Thank you. I'm in the process of closing a buy. Plus, I don't like the idea of needles. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm on the line. I'm sorry. I can't right now. Oh, she I double phone call. I gave blood once I and I almost passed out, bro. It was fucking terrifying. Really? Yeah, because I'm afraid of needles. Oh, yeah. And like, dude, it was bad. And they're like, you need to calm down. And I was like, okay. I was yeah. like, I just want a Chipotle burrito. Can you just hurry this up? I when I when I got my haircut, uh huh. Um, a grown man, older than me, right? And I'm a boomer. The guy was trying to line him up. He's like, <laughs> Oh, that's kind of sad. I was like, holy shit, that's gotta be so rough to yeah. just like always have like these phobias and stuff. His dad probably like smacked him around when he was like oh giving him a God. haircut or something, dude. That's fucked. Ugh. But yeah, being like afraid of needles is probably rough. But like when it was in, it's not that big a deal though, right? Or is yeah, it always bad? But <clears throat> then you're literally watching your blood drain out of your body. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of fucking freaky. So I don't I don't look at the needle going in. I have to yeah, look away. I looked for a little bit and I was like, oh, this is fucked up. And then I'm like, I'm not going to look at that anymore. Yeah. But once it's in, it's like, meh. It doesn't feel anything. Get, a, get, get back to me. Thank, Thank you. you. Nah, that's not cool. I'm worried about AIDS. What? Thank, Thank you. you. No more excuses. Join the JWG Blood Drive. It'll hurt a little. It'll help a lot. Thank you. Yeah! I haven't donated blood in a long time. Yeah, I did it once in high school, and I was like, that was too much. I did my part. I think when I was doing it, I was, like, really overweight. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Uh, Thank you, Tony Smiles. Thanks, Tony. You're always smiling. Uh, when I did it, I was overweight, and my blood pressure was too high. And they're like, hey, you're fine. Get out of here. The court. And they're like, what? You don't really want this my blood? This young man is clearly guilty nah. of all the charges. Probably got a whole bunch of cholesterol yeah, and shit. Yeah, you man. got fat you're guy blood. you kill somebody. Get out of here. Sheesh. That <laughs> shame me at the... Too many pepperoni pizzas for you, <laughs> pops. Get out of here. Your blood sucks. <laughs> there are witnesses. You have not even cleaned your room. How many times have I told you? And then, and then you broke my Barbie doll. And then, and Oh, it's then, a Barbie's head. Get your rack, my skateboard. There are witnesses. <laughs> you have not even cleaned your room. How many times have I told you? And then, and then you broke my Barbie doll. And then, this is top and notch then, acting. get your rack, my skateboard. This is like the type of person I think when they write their band appeal for when they get banned. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you are a rotten, inconsiderate, non thinking Whoa. criminal. But I'm just a kid. Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> young man, you have just been found guilty of being both young <laughs> and imperfect. Damn. Wow, True. it's tough, man. Being in this world as a kid, you're just... The, the governor just wants to put you... Jeez, he's just young. He's trying to live his life. God, he's going to go to jail forever. Oh, well. Unfortunately, you must now be electrocuted. <laughs> Sorry about that. What? <sighs> See, what is this about? Kids these days, they got it so easy. Yeah, back in my day, if you <laughs> stole a skateboard, you get electrocuted. Oh, man, you get the death penalty. What the fuck? Give him the chair. Give him the chair. Give him the chair. Stop it. Jeez. Do you ever feel like everyone's out to get you? Well, you're not alone. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be a kid. Kids talking to kids. Hold on. Wait, what's Are they just basically saying it's okay to destroy other people's shit and there should be no repercussions? Wait, what's the PSA for? That's what I'm trying to fucking figure out. Being kids? 
Wait, were they were they actually in were in Florida? Were they jailing kids just for kids? I'm very fucking confused. Whoa, that's fucked up, man. You know what to do. Wild party last night, huh? So what happened Cheryl. to you? Last I heard, you were headed for some body piercing place. <laughs> Oh, like nipple pierced. Too weird for me. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't do anything too stupid. <gasps> hey, you're the man, cool guy. Kind of likes it. <laughs> See you at the beach. Oh, oh, Cheryl. Cheryl got him. Yeah, dude. Cool guy? Cheryl on my back, dude. The teddy bear. Fuck What's my Cheryl, tattoo dude. say? Ray. What's your tattoo say? <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat. Sir. Thank you, pops. You got a papo. Let's we'll start up Mario Party too once you're done. Wait, what's going on? You can jerk off a cigarette. What's happening? So there's like a, a little packaging around a cigarette box. Oh. Oh. Oh, dude, they're going to do the thing I used to do all the time. Oh. Looks so cool. I need that in person. Oh. But it gets a bunch of plastic all over your cigarette. You got to do it with the cigarette butt. People jerk off their cigarettes all the time. Big stuff. Breathe easy. Stop smoking. Pew, pew, laser. The League Against Cancer. I like their logo, actually. It's kind of sick. It's like a fucking anti-cancer fucking sword. Yeah. So I think you should wait for some help. Are you kidding? I can put up a TV antenna alone. <laughs> don't want to miss that ball game. Oh no, Looking the guy who's like, no, 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 we don't need a team or nothing. I'll go up to the top myself. Grab a little ladder. Let's go. Working around your home requires oh, good safety fuck. practices. If you come in contact with overhead power lines or a service connection, you can be killed. <laughs> Can be killed. What the fuck was he You're thinking? Important to your family. He was like, we don't need Donald. I'm going to save that 50 bucks. I'll do it my damn self. Oh. That guy, well, yeah, he'll take out the whole block. You can be killed. You're important to your family and they need Fucking you. stupid. For those who love yeah, dude, you, somebody, some dude crashed you. down the street from my house. Yeah. And hit a power line. Yeah. And it, like, fucking zapped a bunch of people, dude. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty Ouch. bad. Fuck, dude. It's gnarly as shit. It was really gnarly. How do you deal with anger? Wait, Linkin Park? Students. It's a different Linkin Park, okay? <laughs> they got bowl cuts and shit. Let's go, Linkin Park. How do you deal with anger? How do you deal with anger? I cannot take this anymore. How do you deal with anger? Deal with anger. Count to ten. Start over. Go to war. I'm so fucking angry. Ten. Nine. By one. Two. One. Oh. Start over. Go to room and hit a pillow, not your friend. Control. What do you say? Oh, go back to that. What do you say? Go to room and hit a pillow, not your friend. Go hit a pillow, not your friend. Uh... Go to room and hit a pillow, not your friend. Dude, sick bull, man. Woo! Sheesh. Pop's next cut. Yeah, the Lloyd Christmas. The fucking Dumb and Dumbers. This is classic right here. Sup? Oh, not your friend. Control your anger. Don't want to turn into violence. If kids are being violent, walk away. Go to a quiet place and blow it off. When you fight... She's like... Fem I get like female Neil Breen vibes. Yeah. Don't trust the government. Walk away. Place and blow it off. When you fight, you won't like what happens. Hey, you won't when like you what fight, happens. You won't like what happens. You won't like me when I'm angry. You won't like what happens. Violence will get you into serious trouble. Violence is a serious Big trouble. Up. That guy Kilo, what up, dude? Glow boy. What up, man? Best bit with the Djibouti boys. Hell yes, dude. Thank y'all. Trouble. Children don't choose to be beaten. Never this kid's got like a 50 year old face. You know what I mean? Like a, man, a real man face. Yeah. Be beaten. Never hurt a child. Violence makes problems worse, not better. How do Don't you let it deal turn with into it? violence. 
Don't let it turn into violence. Sick, man. Nice. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Well, duh. That's what happens when you get stung. Ugh. Hated what? That. I hated that one. What the fuck was that? I don't even want to know. So what's, uh, what's going on about that? I'm waiting for you. I thought you were going to... Boys, want to buy some DVDs? It'll be free for a tenner. For a tenner? This guy's selling bootlegs at the bar. Hey, you boys look like you want no more. No, you want to buy National Treasure? Well, you look like a kind I of mean, guy... Maybe I you do want... want to see what happens with the Declaration of Independence. It's been a while since you saw uh, Abraham Lincoln versus the werewolves or whatever the fuck. I got it right here. Vampire <laughs> Hunter and <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Yeah, look, 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 kind of guy, uh, you know, you fancy a little bit of uh, you know, Galaxy Quest. I do like Galaxy Quest. I've got it right here. Yeah. For tenner. Free for tenner. Come, Come on then, let's have a look. Free for ten. Okay. That's not a very good deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. not even out yet. Yeah. Have you got Little Man? I've got some standards, mate. Don't you listen to Mark Mode. That film's evil. You look like you want that new Medea. Or perhaps Joe Dirt. Boy, why'd he say that Little Man is evil? I've got some standards, mate. Don't you listen to Mark Commode. That film's evil. <laughs> New Mark? Think again. Don't Wait, fund what? evil. Report fake DVD sales. Damn, it sounds weird. If we have the effort to call a number and go, yeah, this guy at the bar is fucking trying to sell me National Treasure with Nicolas Cage on like a CD, uh, a CDR. Dick. I'm so confused why he wouldn't sell him Little Man. Little Man's evil. It's evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even out yet. Have you got Little Man? I've got some standards, mate. Some standards, mate. These days, a lot of drug deals take place oh. in locker rooms. Unfortunately, a lot of these drug deals end up in a different kind of locker room. Oh, no. If you no. or someone you know has a drug problem, contact Habilitat. We can help. Habilitat. Scary. Oh, scary. Oh. This guy needs to pay more attention. He's around some. No, what's going to... Uh... Oh, is it... Wear your protective gear? I don't know. Someone's about to go through a wood chipper. That's all I feel. <laughs> Make it cough. Make it coffins. Sniff your way to death. Oh. <laughs> what? What if it was sucking through a straw? Hmm. Ah. Pixie stick fell on the table. Don't want to miss out on that sugar. A, these commercials are getting really fucking weird, man. Mm -hmm. It takes a big person to say Mark Henry. Henry sexual chocolate. Even if you I'm, a, I'm the sexual chocolate man himself. I it takes fuck a big young. person to say I'm sorry. An apology, even if you believe you're right, can do a lot. To diffuse an explosive situation. We can do it together. <laughs> he should have sang that last riff, dude. It was an awesome. Situation. The world's strongest man. Oh, Naked hello. gunman. Have you heard about 1 800 Medicare? Yes, you have, because I just told you. <laughs> uh, must be broken. You can find out what Medicare Nielsen, right? covers. Get information on staying healthy. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> They'll even tell you what Medigap is, which is important to those who have their gap in their medic. Oh, oh, the bottom line is for health care questions, turn to the experts at Medicare. 1-800-MEDICARE, <laughs> helping you help yourself. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you start a commercial. Yo, this music is <sighs> lit, though. He just made that sound, too, if you're listening. Go... <laughs> oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just doing a <laughs> swinging back kick. You know, there are people in the world who believe that violence is the answer to every problem. They're always the first ones to clench Shut. a fist or throw a punch. They're always the fun to talk the most shit and do that. They think they always have to fight. Tough motherfucker. The gang and I ran into the claw and some of his more nasty friends while we were transporting a uh, state-of-the-art robot on what turned out to be a T-1000. 
terror train. Wait, what was the last bit? He's trying a robot? Oh, He's shit. Doing a commercial. He's throwing hands. God damn. The best part about going back and watching his movies, I've never really seen him, but we've started doing them on the Patreon, is he's just like so short and he's got kind of like a sweet little voice. Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah, he's not that threatening. Like in my head, I always thought he was like super scary. He's just like, yeah, wear tight jeans. I can throw a back kick and fucking knock your fucking socks off. Bitch. You ever seen when he's in the Bruce Lee movie where he fights Bruce Lee? Uh, I know that's uh, that's where he rips his chest hair. He kicks ass. They kick movie. ass in that yeah. one, but I'm telling you, the one that we saw, the like Invasion USA and all that. Sometimes you're gonna meet people who'll do. See, you hear what I'm? You see what I'm putting? I yeah, it, you get I it. Hear. Sometimes you're gonna meet people who'll do anything to get their own way. You'll meet people who do anything to get their own way. Like he's not that scary, but he'll fucking kick your ass. You know the kind bullies who pick on other kids in the schoolyard. They never like to play fair. Just like the claw when he tried to bully me. It's like that goddamn Back claw. <laughs> and that's, he needs to start like 999, 1000. Self control. You need it in the martial arts, and you need it. Is he still alive? Yeah, I think he's doing cameos. I think you can still book him for a cameo. I love Chuck Norris. Remember on Damon's birthday, was it last year or whatever? He's like, you're the weakest at Fatter's Z. <laughs> and you need it in everyday life. Self-control may mean giving up something now or something more important later. It also means a lot of hard work, and sometimes it's not a lot of fun. But self-control pays off at the end, as you'll see in this adventure. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> God damn. Hey, that's his fucking machine, isn't it? This is like his little the Bowflex. The Bowflex machine he did. Or whatever the fuck it is. Total gym, yeah. That's, right. that's what it gym. is. Total gym. In the crop top. Have you ever made a mistake? <laughs> of course you have. Around. What's that? So it just lets the thing fucking bang around while he's trying to record <laughs> audio. Have you ever made a mistake? Of course you have. We all have. Many times it's hard to face up to that mistake because it means you may be laughed at or punished. But when you do face up to your mistake, and you know you'll never do it again. And you become a much stronger person. And we needed all that strength on the island of the walking dead. Whoa. Is it, this just intros to movies? That was an intro for a fucking scary movie? Named your son after Damon. Oh, wow. It'll be five? I'll make sure I tell the dong man that there's a Damon-inspired child running around. There. I remember, I think, an early donation of somebody mentioning that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love starting off every commercial like that. <laughs> what was that snap? Did you hear that? That's him kicking us. Oh, wait, what? What did he snap? Is, he, is that just the fabric of his pants? He just, his leg is like a whip, dude. Ah. Oh, he kicked his own fucking hand. So fast I didn't see it. He made, <laughs> he made his pussy clap in I the air. I thought he was doing a thigh slap like a wrestler. He fucking high fives his own foot. Holy shit, million dollars. You think you kick your own foot, Lou? High five your own foot? Oof. How Oof. low does my hand have to be? <laughs> Oof. Hey. I'd be permanently out if I tried this move. Sometimes Son. things we want most are the hardest to get. That means you have to be even more determined to succeed. That's what it takes Yo, to be a winner. Fucking can you have to want it. The fucking sure you can key, dude. Look you have to that. want it bad enough to stick with it no matter how tough things get. And things got pretty tough for us down in Florida with the deadly dolphins. With the deadly dolphins? What the fuck happened? Is it the is it the football team? I wanna know, man. I wanna know what he got into. It sounds Easy gnarly. Tiki, thank you very much. Easy tiki. What up, dude? Oh shit, this one's a little bit loud. What's this? We're late. Oh boy. Daddy, the train's coming. 
We can beat it. We can beat it. Fuck. We can beat it. Oh, no. Please obey the law. Don't risk your life trying to beat the train. You can't win. Oh, gross. Michael, gross again. God, that's so gross. We can beat it. Last words. Oy, oy, oy. Chusky, what up, dude? Think of the biddies, man. And you may not even see what hits you. I think I'd rather be late. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Sorry I was late. I didn't want to get crushed by a train. You may not even see what hits you. You know? Look how short that train was. Yeah. Did it wait 30 it was, seconds? It wasn't even those fucking 30 minute ones. Jeez. It was like a two minute train. What hit you? One, two, three. It was like a four car. It's, it was nothing. Now, you died for that? What is with people who speed and like fucking cut through traffic to get to the red light? Yeah. Like, dude, why did you? I'll, I'll see that all the fucking time out here, dude. I'll see people zigzag through cars in a car and just fucking go right to a red light. It's like, thanks. Way to go, idiot. We all get to sit right behind you. My favorite is the people who have to cut you off so they can get in your lane, even though they fully knew they had to be in that lane like 10 minutes before they got there. Well, they're more important than you, Louie. It's like it. you don't see all these people in this lane and you want to just cut me off. Dude, honestly. Without even signaling. Exactly. Twin Hollow. Exactly. Driving like that, like a 30-minute trip. If you drove like that, it'd probably shave off like a minute. Like not even. Oh, yeah. Bobbing and weaving and cutting th just to get to the red light. It wouldn't cut off any time, dude. And now, a message from the power ring. Mm. Yes. Right. Even the bullies? Hi, kids. Hey. Skull. Skull went to the movies. Why didn't you go with them? I'm with them all week on Power Rangers. <laughs> this is the bully, dude? Skull yeah, yeah, and Bulk. um Bulk and Skull. Bulk. Hi, kids. Bulk. Where's Skull? Skull went to the movies. Why didn't you go with them? I'm with them all week on Power Rangers. Today I'm hanging with my niece. You're an uncle? Of course he is. Uncle Paul's the best ever. And he's a good friend, too. <laughs> well, there he is that right movie. there. There he is. He was at the... He's a fucking liar. I uh, said I was going to the movies, but uh, oh boy. And he's a good friend, too. <laughs> Nah, the movie was lame, so I thought I'd uh, pick up some ice cream and join you guys. Oh, it was okay, lame. Okay. He wasn't lying. He wasn't Thanks, lying. Jason. Okay. <laughs> oh! Sorry. I want you to smash him. Yeah, get him, Bulk. You're confusing me with my character on the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I knew this was going to be it. Uh, I'm actually a uh, strapping young Christian man. I'm actually very well educated. I graduated from uh, Stanford. <laughs> and uh, called acting. And give all glory to God. Jesus Christ. You know, it's like it's totally one of those things like, hey, can we do a spot where kids could see me not being mean? Because everywhere I go, kids throw shit at me. They and throw fight. ice cream at me. People want to fight me. <laughs> Television is full of make-believe guys. In real life, Jason's my best friend. He is? Absolutely. But you better Friends? <laughs> but you better watch out. I can turn into Bulk at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actor. When I play Bulk, I'm just pretending. And I'm an actor also, and when I play Skull... I'm actually Skull. That's just me. I hate the Power Rangers, and I want them to die. I hope they die. And I'm an actor also. All praise be Skull. Lord Zed, or whatever the fuck. And I'm Rita an actor Repulsa. also, and when I play Skull, I'm just pretending too. Of course, I am the better actor. Damn. No, you're not. No, no. you're not. I no, have to not. say, just from this commercial, Bulk is definitely the better actor here. I'm Bulk. I'm an actor because he's he's not I'm acting actor. so good. Yeah, because he's not acting so well. You know, he's just that sim. I know I should drink milk because it'll help me grow up big. What? <gasps> Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones Ew. and stuff that's good for my muscles. Holy huh? smokes! Damn, this kid's ripped. Milk does that? Oh yeah. And I guess that's okay. Boy. What was that last one? Boy, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> also makes other bones grow too. <laughs> Look, it does. Arm, arm. Yeah. The whole and thigh areas, okay. balls. But I'm more interested in having fun. Boy. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool. So it can be a real pick me up. Okay, you drink too much and you lose your head. That is the worst description of milk like crazy. ever. It tastes cool. It tastes cool. <laughs> About it, good. Milk ads do make milk look really good. They do, yeah. Mm. You think, oh, it's gonna be like a milkshake, and then you're like, oh, it's just drinking milk. Ugh. What if you're lactose intolerant? 
Or get the feeling you're just part of a process. Or even things you eat have been laser designed or punched out in the name of progress or convenience. Whoa. Well, I'm a natural person. So for an excellent source of calcium, I naturally choose cold, delicious milk. Robot milk. Milk. Is that milk. Samus? Just milk. Refreshing. After all, Refreshing. why should I take my calcium with a glass of water when I can enjoy it in a glass of milk? Wow. Milk. You your life is your business, but if you get AIDS, I love drinking tons of hormones. <laughs> what you do with your life is your business, but if you get AIDS, you're putting your life on the line. You can get AIDS by having sex without using a latex condom, or you can get AIDS by sharing needles to shoot up. In fact, by sharing needles, you get two shots of death from the drugs. And from AIDS. Todd Howard, where's that fucking Skyrim, man? <laughs> so what are you going to be? Smart or dead? It is Michael Bay. So what are you going to be? Smart or dead? Somebody's cell phone is interfering. So the facts or about dead. AIDS and how to protect yourself, call this team number. Or Yo, talk. rut nut butt, how you doing, dude? Cheers, dude. Or dead. Ouch! <laughs> Real hospital footage. Ah! Sorry. Let's try that again. Please slow down. Please slow down. Ah! There goes. When you drive, don't drink. It seems more like bad, uh, like a bad nurse, more than a, like alcohol. When you do your job, don't drink. Ooh. Miss Piggy. Look at here, frog. Chat might not have audio on this one. How long till she gets canceled? Miss Piggy, geez, how do we help the environment? What can we do? What is this? Oh, wow. When is she going to get canceled? Find out what you can do to help the environment. It's basically all he's saying. Call this, mail a thing over here and we'll tell you how to help. And she's just like always super horny for him going, Come yeah. I'm just saying, if Pepe Le Pew ah. is canceled, why isn't she canceled? Ah. We are all taught that stealing from a store or an individual is always wrong. Just like Starbucks, you wouldn't go in and, and get uh, food and coffee and walk out without paying. You wouldn't really go to a car salesman and expect them to give the car to you just because you like it a lot. We can make a living sick. on our music that way. And it's only a dollar a song. Help us restore dollar the value song. of music. Join me and take the pledge at SaveTheMusicAmerica.org. Save the music was a, I thought this was an anti-free porn ad again. Yeah, they pour, I, was, I, was con, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't know who they were. I was like, I don't know. Are they like the Dixie Chicks or are they like porn stars? I don't know. Oh, this is my era of porn when I was getting out of the game. <laughs> Mickey James? She's a wrestler, right? Who? I have no idea. I think Mickey James is Country a wrestler, singer. right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, music. Oh, music. SaveTheMusicAmerica.org Save the music. Hey, it's easy to get the Yo, imagine day, walking man. in the locker room and you see this. <laughs> hey, I didn't see it coming in. I was helping Johnny here get a few more reps in. <laughs> He Isn't seems right? a little too excited. Isn't right? that right, Johnny? Hey! We were just working on your form. That's all. Cream pie, what up, dude? With the tier two, how you doing, man? Yo, what up, man? Thank you, dude. Happy four twenty. Hey, to get the Steelers training camp. Just make sure yeah, that guy's throwing it up. <sighs> Boom! Oh, I want to do explosive. Ten and your school will be in line for five hundred. this guy. Ten and your school will be in line for five hundred. I like this uh, Hank Hill looking fella. Bah -ha. Bah -ha. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> bah -ha. Yes, coach. I'm going as fast as I got dang can. Bah -ha. Bah -ha. Bah -ha. Bah -ha. <laughs> it's got Hank Hill's head shape, you know. Uh. And your school will be in line for five hundred, maybe two thousand dollars from Landmark. Some recognition from uh. WTAE uh. and the Steelers, uh. and a day at camp. So pick up your entry at Landmark. Where am I? Ninety-three. I lost my place. Start over. One. Hey, get oh, my no. two thirty. You gotta start over. The shock. Oh, jeez. The shocking truth. 
about electricity. Whoa. Climbing is great fun. If it's a tree near power lines, stay away. Spreading limbs near electric wires can be deadly. Climbing metal transmission towers. Oh my God! Towers, no. What the fuck Fortnite. are you doing, Why dude? Why did this kid do this for the video? What I the fuck? I learned this from Fortnite. I mean, like we've all thought about it, right? I never thought about it. I really thought golfing, about it, boys? but uh, thinking about it as far as I would ever fucking go, because I know it's up there. Yeah, but you always say, you go, man, it's like a fucking jungle gym up there. Gym yep. towers or wooden poles <laughs> also Here can we be go, dangerous. Dude. Electric lines carry high Oh, dude, I'm way up here, care. man. Oh, I'm going to get this free cable on. I just need a, a simple <laughs> <Yeah>. grip. <laughs> Toss me the football. It only takes a moment for a <laughs> I'm open. to strike. So stay away. <laughs> oh, a safety yeah. from MB Power. Oh. Play end your life. Garfield and the National Safety Council have some tips for a safe I Halloween. Love Garfield. Wear brightly colored costumes, short enough to prevent tripping. I'm wearing this orange cat costume. Use face I'm makeup. wearing cat costume. <sighs> Louis, why do you like Garfield? You like He's Garfield? He's wearing an orange cat costume. It's funny. Hey, Louis, you want to get some lasagna? I, my pizza I just ate was kind of like lasagna. Yeah. I had ricotta cheese on it. By the way, you fucking destroyed that pizza. Dude, I ate it within like. How long was I gone? You know what it looked like? I went in the kitchen. Minutes. It looked like you opened up your pizza box and you just started punching your pizza <laughs> until there was nothing Did left. They put too like, much sauce on it. There's sauce everywhere. Oh, there's like no. four rags out and they're all done. Up. Like you but they're in the box. Destroyed I didn't that. destroy the kitchen. I destroyed the pizza. I'm cleanly. just saying what it looked like. It looked I like know. I don't want people to get the impression that I destroy your kitchen. No, no, no. It okay. looks like you destroyed the pizza. Yes, okay. It looks like you fucking went toe to toe with it. Like it, it definitely lost. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> but you fucking good job. Crushed it. Like the box is like fucking destroyed. Dude, punch I like, had to go in. It looks like you just punched the shit out of it, <clears throat> and then mushed it into a paste, and then ate it, and then wiped your face with a rag and threw God. it in the box. Like fucking take that stupid yeah, pizza. <laughs> Yeah, and I was <laughs> laughing in there. Throw towel for you, motherfucker. I was looking at your box, dude. I was just fucking laughing. I was like, holy shit, you fucked that pizza up. Louis pees on the toilet seat. How dare you? No, no, no. Louis is very clean. No, no, But no. he just fucked up the pizza. He didn't fuck up anything else. Look at him. Not How scratch on dare him. you? It's like I a lift crime up the scene. seat 99% of the time. No, he's not a slob. He just fucked that pizza up is all I'm saying. I'm wearing this orange cat costume. Use costume. face makeup or wear masks that are easy to see out of. Trick or treat but in daylight and the only seat back down. This is crazy talk, okay? Hmm. Go ahead. Ninety percent of the time, like in my household, there's three uh people of the male variety, <laughs> right? Sure, okay. And we're gonna have to go pee very often, okay? Why should we have to put the seat up and put it down? Every time we go pee. Yeah, what about men's rights? Like, I mean, honestly. Come on! What about male variety? Come on! Come on! Come on. About time start, people start thinking about men. So you're saying out, you're outnumbered, therefore it should always be up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, if it's, if it's the other way around and there's more females in the house, put the seat down. Majority of variety rules. Right. Exactly. A or, amen, brothers. What chat. if we always put it down? No matter That's what. That's what you're supposed to do. But it's crazy talk. But it's crazy. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? Why not just hover? You know, then you don't have to worry about the seat, you know? There it is. Learn to pee standing up, ladies. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Get a funnel. Trick or treat in daylight and only visit oh, the homes wow. of people you know. Because you know they'll give you more treats. Finally, more only treats. give or accept tightly wrapped candy. Mm -hmm. And use proper trick or treating etiquette. Gimme. Give me. When I was a kid, I... Uh, boo! I don't want to hear any stories about this man's life. Don't you want to hear stories about me when I was a child? Can everybody boo this man? We've boo! heard them all on Little Bill. Okay? You monster! Boo. Do you guys remember he had a cartoon? Yeah, uh, yeah. Multiple. He had, few. he had Fat Albert and he had Little Bill. Little Bill. Little when Bill was... was still airing on Nick Jr. until the freaking accusations came out. They're like, oh, well, you got to get rid the of these The next day now. it was off. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. jeez. When I was a kid, I saw myself as Bill Cosby scientist. I begged my mother and father to buy me a chemistry set for Christmas. What was he making? I was making some uh, drinks for the ladies. I was <laughs> cooking up some good stuff. I was good. having the time of my life until the fire. Nope. And my chance for the Nobel Prize went up in a big puff of smoke. 
The first fire was nothing compared to my folks. I thought they were going to explode. I never saw the chemistry set again. My father put it away somewhere. It all makes sense. But now I wish I had, because today scientists and engineers are having all the fun. I mean, how would you engineers. like to explore outer space or discover a new planet or, or maybe find a space. dinosaur skeleton or a way skeleton to make or people skeleton. well again? Yeah. Did you ever think about diving to the bottom of the ocean in a submersible and actually getting paid for Whoa. it? Oh. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, rich or poor, or any color. If you love science and math, you can do any of these things. You know, I might even give chemistry another try if I could. Mm, maybe put that chemistry set down for a little bit. I ain't gonna stop just yet. I'm keep playing with my chemicals. There's a couple no. chemicals I'd really like to use. There's a few chemicals. A beaker here, a beaker there. <laughs> Educated cylinder here. Get my dad to tell me where he hid that chemistry set. He found the chemistry set no. from his dad. He could have prevented the timeline. The National Science Foundation. Yo, what up? This Naughty by Nature. Here to let you know the 90s is just a different kind of decade. I don't like how I'm like in this dude's crotch. <laughs> We're in a full spread, folks. I can see his dude's inner thighs. Yeah. Mm. And he's smooth. <laughs> 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 Hip hop hooray. Yo, what up? This oh. naughty by nature. Here to let you know the nineties is just a different I Gotta say though, the fit right here is crazy, man. I like that. Denim crazy on denim fit. Denim yeah. vest. Nice, dude. Nice. Yo, what up? This naughty by nature. Here to let you know the nineties is just a different kind of decade. Word up, being promiscuous and just having sex just ain't what it used to be. You down with man, OPP? Man, the good old days, man. This is uh, other people's privates right here. You down with OPP? Uh, not anymore. Nope, not Only anymore. Only with Louis. the condom, please. No. OPP? No, not in the 90s. Not for me. Two million brothers and sisters in the U.S. have the HIV virus, which causes AIDS. And here in New York, 70% of the people with AIDS are black and Latino. So if you have an unprotected sex, protect yourself from HIV. Word up. Use a latex condom. It's the only way to fight it. Got one right here in a full spread. Just waiting to use it. Whip it out. Spreading this shit right now. How about that? Well, folks, it is about the time. Should we get into Mario Party? Yes, I gotta uh. get going. Okay, let's do this Mario Party. Boys. I may need to do a little setup. Um, shout out to the VOD gang for watching all of the PSAs. And a huge shout out again to Straight Hype who sent these in. Dude. We Lucky didn't even man. scratch the surface. We're going to be able to do another day of this at least. And I showed another you that other folder where oh, it's just movies. Oh, there's so much other stuff we have that we're going to be looking at the next few weeks. So <clears throat> if you're new, hit the follow. Uh, you know what to do. VOD gang, we'll see you guys in the Mario Party VOD, huh? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. All right.